Guess what, folks? It's Kojima time. Or is it? It's not. This is not a Kojima Metal Gear. Which means it joins the hefty ranks of Metal Gear Survive and Metal Gear Acid as uh, carrying the torch. So what's weird is this game is just called Snake's Revenge. Maybe this is... hold on. This is the cover art on Wikipedia, but that doesn't... I swear there was like Metal Gear written here before. Maybe not? No. It's always just said Snake's Revenge. Interesting. So it's never even been branded Metal Gear. Look at how cool this dude is, though. <laughs> He's got two guns. Gear, grenades. Some sort of, like, those little loopy things that always turn the wrong way and drive you mad. This this is actually pretty sick. I like the, like, orange to, to blue gradients. The airbrushed cleavage. Yeah, OG, this was a bad idea. I had the same experience. I, yeah, this is essentially my experience with Snake's Revenge. Um, I got it. Oh, okay, it just has the same layout. That's really interesting. I got it because uh, it was used in just like an empty cartridge. And no child. Oh my god, it's louder. It wasn't necessarily the best pick for a kid. This is cool though, it's got like a little wireframe readout thing going on. Metal Gear 1, codename VRC4, capacity 1, 226 tons, 22 feet tall, 31 miles per hour, armor 3.5 and a heavy duty tank able to attack from all angles and carry nuclear weapons. I like that it's in uh, miles per hour and feet, because this is an American game for Americans. Yeah, I need to do, let's see here. Oh, that's interesting. It actually cuts the volume when you click out. So let's see here. Konami produced Snake's Revenge. This is from the Wikipedia. Konami produced Snake's Revenge following the release of the NES version of Metal Gear as a sequel produced specifically for the Western market. Hideo Kojima, the designer of the original MSX2 version of Metal Gear, was not involved with the production of Snake's Revenge. According to Kojima, one of the developers working on Snake's Revenge informed him of the game. He then asked Kojima to develop a true sequel to Metal Gear. This inspired Kojima to direct his own sequel, Metal Gear 2 colon Solid Snake for the MSX2, which served as the sequel to Metal Gear in Japan. Snake's Revenge was released in North America and Europe with no corresponding Famicom version. The game has been referred to in publications by the alternate title Snake's Revenge colon Metal Gear 2, although this title is never used in the actual game. Um, yeah, it just says Snake's Revenge. There's not, a, there's not an ounce of Metal Gear apart from this saying Metal Gear. Really interesting. When interviewed by Stephen Kent in 1999, I remember Stephen Kent, Kojima stated that he enjoyed Snake's Revenge and thought it was, quote, faithful to the Metal Gear concept, end quote. While Kojima once jokingly stated that Snake's Revenge was somewhat of a crappy game during the 2009 developers conference, he later stated with an interview with Nintendo Power that he doesn't consider it to be a bad game. Dead Trooper, thank you for the sub. Wow. Yeah, I'm curious to see, uh, I guess I'm always fascinated when a game is low low resolution, like low fidelity, and that's either a retro game or a game that's interpretive or whatever. If somebody then has to like adapt that into another medium, what choices do they make? How did their imagination fill in the gaps? Um, so I'm kind of curious to see. Apparently this was produced internally at Konami. That's what it sounds like, which is kind of interesting. Push start, okay. Oh yeah, there's there's like a hideous password system, I think, with this. It won't let me continue. Ah, I've clicked out again. If you want to return to the operation point by Heli, give me your password. This is cool though. Because the only the only character art in Metal Gear 1 was for Snake. So it's cool that they're adding more dudes. All right. Can I not get out of this menu? Maybe not. All right. Cool sounds though. I'm 
not too familiar with this emulator. There we go. Control R. Okay. The day when a console exclusive game came to PC is always the best day. Or that day. It's always the best day. Can't wait to play Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, I'm excited for a lot of people to play Ghost of Tsushima. It's a very, very well-made, well-crafted game, and it's gonna it's gonna sing on PC. Um, unless it's just a bizarrely busted port. That would be weird. Lieutenant Snake. We received information from our intelligence man at the enemy's base. They have a weapon. <laughs> Is it Metal Gear, which you destroyed three years ago? Go to the enemy base with two men. God damn it. Hold on. Let's roll it back. No time for dramatic pauses or, or giggles here. Is it Metal Gear? Which you destroyed three years ago? Go to the enemy base with two men. The pilot knows the route. All right. I got a crew. Oh, this is a briefing? John Turner in the Navy's info center for six years is an infiltration pro. Nick Meyer, a Marine, is an explosives disposal and weapons expert. Oh! Lieutenant Solid Snake is a martial arts expert. He destroyed Metal Gear 1. <laughs> and is now Operation 747 leader. They call it Metal Gear 1? Why would they call it that? Before they know there's a 2. Whatever. Because the name of the game is Metal Gear 2. Yeah, this shit! Like the flares going up? That's sick. If you have- if you hit select, you have to pick something. Snake, the purpose of your mission is to infiltrate the enemy's stronghold. You must collect information from your co-workers. Return... So the- the, I guess, transceiver only calls one person. I guess if you just go to it on whatever given screen... Weapons. Equipment. Return. Okay. Oh, look at how beefy his sprite is! Holy shit! He's got like a... He's got like a bicep on his forearm. See that? Urgh. This is... This is American Snake. Yeah, does... Does Snake's Revenge Snake have like a snake name? He's like the Snake Slayer. He is so jacked. Ugh, look at that definition. They pixeled in all of his fucking muscles. The pixel art of him, like, slamming in his knife. He was yoked. You can't crouch, though. Which is interesting. It's only punch and shoot. So no crouching, no crawling. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, are the, like, turban dudes? Yeah, this shit. Look at this! Imagine being a kid and playing this crap. And you're already at half-life and you don't know what's going on. This game has no chill, man. There's no, like, alert either? It's just, like, dudes? Okay. Alright, so if you kill the guys, it clears it. But there's no, like, UI to tell you there's an alert on. Artesia Hecate. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Swole Snake. I like that. Shock and awe snake. Yeah, and this? This is like the first... This is the beginning of the game. There's nothing. Like, there's no there's no screens. There's no warm-up. Your warm-up is walking through screens that already have a gimmick, which is like the flare going up and lighting everything on. Lighting everything up. His arm is so long. I like how there's perspective on the arm when it's punching. It's like getting smaller because his arm is so huge. I got rations.
God, this music is going hard, though. What do you think there's going to be a new ration there? Yeah, boy! Oh, you can skip the window, kind of. Yeah, uh, you know what, Iceman? I did see the Fallout teaser. I kind of don't care about Fallout as a brand. But it kind of looked like a good show. I was kind of impressed. I thought it was going to be boring as heck. Maybe it will be, but... I like it. It was kind of... There was something that was like... A little dumb. Wait, I, I may only still have one food. I do admit I groaned a little bit when it was like they were doing the Blom version of Ink Spots. I was like, all right, all right. Okay. I know it's a trailer, but do we have to rub it in? Okay. But whatever. Um, I thought it was cool that they got like the, the Fallout 1 song. I like that song. Shit. Dude, these guys are killers. Holy cow. They can shoot you through stuff, it seems like. So I wonder if I have if I have a ration equipped if it auto if it'll auto use. Dude. Will they not spawn on this map? Maybe not. interesting is the that like the game runs at a higher frame rate though the bullets move at 60 fps uh okay so you just gotta like book it <laughs> i want to get off this screen with full health and three rations i feel like it's possible <sighs> this is the beginning of the game beginning of the game Very first, very first screens. Oh, okay, so we got hostages to free. Thanks for your help. I was hoping he was gonna say thanks for your service. Okay, there's the ranking system. So you just can't, you just can't, you just can't. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> that pixel art, dude. That guy looks so homeless. Excuse me, unhoused. Are you okay? Hide at the main gate to receive information. Okay, okay, guy. Ammunition. Huh, okay. I wonder if it's the same... It's got to be the same thing, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I I can see, like, especially at the time, if they were like, it's got to... There's got to be a lot more shooting. Just make... Just find a way to make there be more shooting. You got to shoot more guys. Hide at the gate to receive information. Lieutenant, I arrived at point A. Let's put the plan into effect. Good luck infiltrating the enemy's base. Sure. I can't move. Okay, cutscene. Oh! Okay, he's gonna lead the dudes away. Nice. Oh, they got him. <laughs> Immediately! I'll take you. Go on ahead. I I'll take you, go on ahead.
A cutscene, though. An in-engine cutscene, not a cutscene. Oh, the sneaking song. Sort of. It's like a remix. That's cool. Oh, thank you, Hogwilden. Yeah, sensitive subject, obviously. But, uh, we did our best. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Can't please everyone, but that's not a surprise. It is what it is. Oh, wow. You can remix? There's cheater buttons enabled by default, but I'm- Oops! I shot my gun. Did a little- did a little Metal Gear pop. Did you just turn a man into rations? No, I beat him so hard he became rations. Boom. I wonder what the drop rates are like in this game. Eh? I got key card one. Okay. So... I remember... Okay. I remember getting to the building as a child. I don't know that I ever got inside. I don't know that I understood about, like, using the codec and what all that meant. And how to get that to work. Even navigating these menus is rough for a kid, to be honest. So that's interesting. Okay, we're on our way, though. Card one. Oh, boy. It's gonna... Uh, I did it again. It's gonna be real fun. It's gonna be real fun. Can't wait to have a lot of fun switching cards in this game. Because there's not a... There's not one button to get to the... The uh, inventory. I have to go through... T there's always two... I have to open the sub menu and then <sighs> we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, I should probably backtrack. Oh, 60 FPS doors. The enemy has a truth gas. Better clear my internet history now. Oh, Captain, my Captain, thank you for the sub. Thank you for hard gaming. If you find some, you can get classified information from the enemy. Oh! So like an early mechanic of interrogating enemies? Oops! Sheesh, I should maybe just... Well, I keep getting my buttons backwards, but I'm not sure why. No! Okay, well now I get to see what happens when you die. This is Punch. We got it, we got it. Yeah, there's a checkpoint. It's not bad. Who knows what the password, how horrendous the password would be. Okay. Oh! It did the thing where if I change the screen... Ah! Maybe if you change the screen or kill everyone before the, the alarm sound finishes, it doesn't go into an alert status. I was kind of catching on to that in the other Metal Gears, that there actually was kind of a... Uh, like a, a window, where if you change the screen fast enough, it wouldn't actually go into alert. Ah... Uh. Okay, I mean, I'll take a silencer. I got a silencer. Yeah, that's gonna help. That's gonna help a lot. Already back outside. I'll go back and uh, free the hostage over there and see what else is in this building. I'm wondering if it's also going to be, like, more smaller buildings? 
as opposed to Metal Gear, which was fewer, larger, more labyrinthine structures. I'm also wondering, like, am I going to have to go back and comb... That was interesting. Am I going to have to go back and comb through that, uh... jungle area again? Game. It's so fascinating to see this stuff. Oh, really? Card two already. Okay. Does this version of the game come with manual or packaging? Because wow, they say some weird and wild shit on it. Um, no, this is a ROM. I just downloaded it off the internet. Do you mean just like the box or the manual? Or all of it? Shit. Yeah, I like the punch animation. It's really fast, too. It's interesting because there's there were a lot of like incidental animations. Oh, there were a lot of incidental animations to Solid Snake in Metal Gear 2 that seemed pretty intentional and kind of made him move in a slightly more quote unquote realistic way. They're, that's gone in this game. Snake, this snake moves very, very like uh, actiony, very much like punching dudes, shooting dudes. Much more direct control. Oh, your version of Metal Gear 1 had upscaled text? It's from the HD collection that just came out. Alright, let's see what this guy's up to. Oh, he's holding his arms up. Don't shoot! I didn't know anything! Really? Oh, you need truth gas, I bet. Yeah. So, okay. Ah! Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look like an exit down. There's a wall there. Huh, okay. I'm gonna have to be on the lookout for that. That line at the bottom of the screen is not a wall. Ugh. John moved to a different spot. Well, we gotta go find John. Oh, there's an elevator. Damn. How far are you on rebirth? Uh, I did. Hey, what the fuck? Hold on. I did the, uh... Oh, shit. Look at Snake. Oh, this is where you can crawl. Okay, weird. Oh, man, are they, like, full-on... Oh, you can knife, dude! I like his little eyes. Oh, you can see his battle bandana, too. Look at him stab, man. He's so ready for combat. All swollen, ready to go. Um, sorry. I did the, uh, the Junon parade. And I'm on the boat now. So that's where I'm at. Chapter 5, I think. Yeah, I'm moving real slow. Real, 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 real slow. I mean, look at this. How can Snake's revenge... Or how can Rebirth compete? Also, I got a big old snack here. I haven't I even tucked into it yet. I gotta eat my battle rations. Is that light behind him voice activated or am I going insane? No! Smoke weed for life 420. That is in fact a audio activated light stick. You are correct. Yeah, Queen's Blood rules. I just got to the Queen's Blood tournament on the boat. I'm excited to rip that shit up. <laughs> 
Godzilla won an Oscar? Damn, that's awesome. Oh. Don't shoot. Yeah, yeah. We'll see about that, buddy. Yeah, Javi, I hope that's... I don't know if that's what they're going for, but I do hope that Final Fantasy XIV is just included with Game Pass. That would kind of be clean. It's sort of piggybacking on Xbox Live then. I don't know. Is that how it's going to be? I don't know how they're going to work it out. Or do you have to buy all the f damn expansions again? That would suck. <sighs> There's a basic version that's on Game Pass. Is it the like free version that everyone else gets? Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna start a note and start writing down where the, these dudes are. Finally started 14, when do I get the god killing? It's gonna be a while. But it feels good. All right. Got a submachine gun. Can it use the silencer? Doesn't matter. What's the difference between punching and knife? Oh, shit, you can. What? Okay, so you can make calls. It just doesn't do anything. Maybe if I do it out here? Okay. Lieutenant, be careful. That room on base has a trap in it. Thanks, Nick. Nick's saying what we all need to hear. I got plastic explosives. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe you have to punch the walls to figure out which ones to bomb. Knife has more range, but punching is secret revealing. Ah. Actually, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, knife is a one-shot, by the way. Yeah, that's a room. I need to go do that one first. Any Kojima update you can tell us? Update, Kojima is napping. Kojima is currently taking a nap. Oxygen tanks, okay. I don't like that it says one. I looked it up. The version of 14 you get with Game Pass is the same as the previous starter version. You don't have some of the restrictions like trading items and a cap on how much gill you can have. Auto bills you for the subscription cost after 30 days. Huh. Oh yeah, he's definitely watching the Oscars. You're right. You're right.
Shit. Okay. That's not so bad. Interestingly, like, unlike the other Metal Gears, if an enemy spawns on screen, they can leave. And that can clear an alert. The other ones are like, if an enemy was running around in a little spot you couldn't get to, it would just be alert forever. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I feel like I might need grenades. Yeah, I think Kojima is actually pretty, pretty wholesome in using social media. One of the few good, one of the few good posters out there. It's a weapon. Thank you. I guess that's probably as many as I can carry. But if I know my Metal Gear, there might be a boss that needs exactly that amount. Or like that minus one. Ugh. So wait, how do you... Jesus! I'm, I'm also dreading having to go all the way back out to refill my rations because I haven't seen another ration anywhere. Yeah. Him being goofy, being a fanboy, or saying to support media. Yeah, just like spreading the word about something he finds interesting. Yeah. Blissfully free of, of posturing or uh, ego, I guess. Or promotion. Self-promotion. I guess some of that, but like, people are interested in any self-promotion he does, so. It hardly counts. Snake's Revenge doesn't look bad. Definitely made some different decisions. But in context of Metal Gear 1, I don't think that they were bad. I think it made some pretty amazing decisions given that even back then, it was considered that kids were probably playing this. They go hard on your ass right from the start. Very little like easing you into anything with like natural design. Yeah, arrives post leaves. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate though because that means like, from his perspective, you, he's probably he's volunteering a lot of effort. I don't know. Social media is weird. Theoretically, you connect with people and everyone is enriched, and that's your that's your payment for investing the time to like curate something or create a post or write something. <sighs> but when you're Kojima size, it's just like not possible. Oh shit. Oh, it's tactical time. I was hoping there'd be like Zelda 2 style side scrolling sections. So yeah, for somebody that has a platform that could be used for an agenda, the fact that he just volunteers his time, or maybe he has a creative that does it for him, whatever. The fact that he volunteers any time or effort into sharing that way, because it probably yields him nothing. He doesn't engage in the comments, which he shouldn't. Oh! Oh! I laid that. Oh no! Oh no! Ugh. Yeah, Snake is hella caked in this game. It's act he's actually the beefiest snake, and it's awesome. It's it's this it's the coolest thing ever. That that already wins a lot of points. How absolutely yoked up Snake is. Uh, I like that they yoked him up hard specifically for the American Metal Gear. Oh, this is the furthest you made it. Man, I never got this far, so. 
Got him. How do I... I'm holding a gun. I can't... Oh, oh, there we go. Wow, okay. make the game happen oh select okay Jesus Christ wow that sucks man this interface is astounding okay got Castlevania jumps basically you just kind of vault yourself huh is this hold on is this the first Metal Gear with jump until five? Ground Zero's had a had a, a dive. This is the thing, like, American Snake is so jacked, he can he can use his massive legs to propel himself off the ground. He's carrying a hundred pounds of guns and ammo, but he can still just flex hard and leap into the air. Oh shit. Damn it. Bro, for real? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so I have an oxygen. Do I have to equip the oxygen? I hit select. Where did my oxygen tank go? Did I not pick it back up? I must not have. But I gotta try, right? Let's try. Alright. Ah. But you don't get your oxygen back until you leave the water. Or go to another screen. Okay. Interesting. I used it up. When did that happen? Also, like... Oh, look at this. God, how intimidating for a kid. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, clearly I need the oxygen tank for that. So I'm gonna have to go get, like... Do you have to get more than- you have to get, like, stacks of it? Like, ow. Ah, that was not- My oxygen never came back. What? Uh. <laughs> uh. All right. can't open my inventory here. Uh, my god. There's two different side- well. Never mind. I got mistaken. I don't know what I was about to say. Just forget that. Just scrub that from the record, please. Oh. Oh, it doesn't- it doesn't go all the way up. That's odd. Okay. It says one! Unless, oh, when I restarted the checkpoint, I probably had an, it probably gave me my, my thing back. I understand. This was, wait, this was the grenade room. Yeah. Clipped and shared. Uh, well, at least I'll get a million followers. At least my humorous gamer gaffe will profit me in the end. Because that's all I care about. That's what I got into this for. The profit. The money. Somebody actually asked a, qu an, a question on that regard. About like, when did you know gaming was your thing? I apologize. Um, I, th I don't know what the specific wording of the question was at this point, but... 
I shall attempt to answer anyway. Yeah, Joe, actually, could you could you repeat your question, please? It was a good question. It slipped from my grasp before I was able to answer it. Dude, that's horse crap. They blast you. I, I picked up another one. Okay. At what age and why did you decide that video games are going to be your thing? Um, I, I think I knew the first time I saw a game that it like, it did, it made something happen inside of me. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there were a couple of like specific moments. There was a. Uh, I remember the, the daycare I went to had an Atari hooked up. And I think it was supposed to be nap time, but they let me stay awake because I was old, older? Or I didn't want to sleep, and they were like, whatever. Um, and they were playing Pitfall. And I remember seeing it being like, oh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I think I need to backtrack and get rations. Or I just, I yeah, maybe I just go with the checkpoint. And then just try to get through everything with whatever health they give me. There was that, and then I remember, uh, oh Christ, that was terrible. Well, it doesn't matter. I still had the one air tank. So, hold on. Yeah, let me just go back. Maybe I need to get from the checkpoint... I don't know, maybe maybe I, I tripped it out by, like, ducking into the water and getting back out or something. Yeah. But anyway, we uh, did a field trip to a nearby high school, and there was, like, a computer in the back of the room that was running Wolfenstein 3D. Oh, god damn it. It changes your weapon to the knife. Okay. Okay, I have one tank. Can't shoot the mines? Okay. Oh! That is the tank. Okay. I see. I can't carry more than one tank. Um, unless there was an O2, O2 tank behind you? What? Where? Um, Unless I have to explore more f and find more hostages to rescue so that I can raise my rank. That didn't alert last time. And uh, potentially carry more than one tank. Oh, behind you, IRL. I see. I guess the plant is kind of like an oxygen tank. Ugh. Uh, referring to the mines? Are you referring to the mines that blow up and kill you? That's the only thing I saw floating in the water, but maybe I'm off. Maybe there was something else. Ooh, God, you gotta sprint. Also, make sure to equip the knife. I sh should have called people while I was in that. Maybe they had something to say.
Oh, no worries. Hey, I was... Hey, if there was going to be another oxygen tank, that would solve a lot of my problems. I want there to be oxygen. Ugh. God, they appear and shoot immediately. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. D do some more, like, cleanup exploration. Because there was that other, like, jungle area I haven't looked around in at all. I know this is here, though. Uh, I have been down here. And then there's there was some, like, there was a door in the earlier part. Yeah, I need to find gas for these jerks. God! There was another elevator I didn't go up as well. Yeah, it's basically just like, I have to just run from elevator to elevator. Ugh. Have I been over here? I'm trying to remember. Been in all these. Yeah, there's a guy. There's a dude to interrogate in that one, and I'm trying to remember what's in that door. I can I can check. But yeah, there's checking card number two. There's I thought a uh, I thought there was a elevator back here, but I think that's the one maybe I just took. This one opened. What if it had a map, though? Wouldn't that be sick? Maybe there will be an upgrade eventually. Yeah, that's right, because there's the door, the north exit out of here. And then I think there's... This... I might open with two. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh! Oh! I got a truth gas! Okay. That's cool. I'm gonna hope that this is a checkpoint, and then I'm gonna explore the uh, the jungle out here a little bit. Maybe I can find a source of rations? Some snacks, maybe? Oh, wait, is this the beginning of the game? Oh, that's, yeah, that's the entrance. Oh, that's right, because I didn't have the key before, and I had to run in after the guy. I've been down from... I mean, I guess while it's like this, the uh, screen is full bright. It makes it very easy to see where you're going. Yes, sweet Jesus. That's not the worst. That's not the worst backtrack of my life. Oh man, the truth gas has stacks. I don't care though. I kind of want to see all the screens. I don't think there were any more branching paths back here. Still say the same thing? Yeah. Okay. It is a cool effect. 
except there's like like a helicopter dude spawns on the left. It's the very beginning of the game. You've got no clue what's going on. Like, it's amazing that that passed any kind of playtesting. Any players that's going to happen to. You're going to immediately get seen by these stupid helicopter man. Why put those on the first screens? Why? It's just, ugh. It's just mean is what it is. And then I guess technically the first item is is the ration, which is what it ought to be, but it, it's also very missable because it's like a full black screen. Ah, God! They're annoyingly good! Okay. Is there an exit to the right here? There is. Wait, I knew. Hold on. I'm just gonna keep getting alerts so I can get a real, try to get a real map for this area of the game. All right, there's nothing over there. What's up from here? Mm. God, they're so good. It's annoying how good they are at, like, running around and shooting you. Okay. Yeah, Turbo Z, yes. The unofficial not sequel. Okay, so that's... There's, like, two entrances. And if I go left and then north, it'll take me to the other one. Keep getting the buttons backwards. Oh, great. Hey, there we go. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your service, Snake. Okay. All right. So now potentially, I have I have truth gas. It did two two fucking pips of damage. Bullshit. Oh my god! Immediately they did more damage. The second I got another bar of life. Assholes! I'm gonna go back and get more rations, see how many I can stack now. Makes you wanna play Fester's Quest again. I could see that. This is a similar, a similar uh, vindictive energy. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Alright. I have one. Let's see if I can hold five. I can. Let's see if I can hold six. I'm gonna guess it's five. Five feels like the next rank. It's six. Okay. I doubled. So maybe that means I can hold two oxygen tanks? Ah, damn it! I'm trying to give him this movement, but it's tough. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Are you faster now? I don't think so. Doesn't feel like it. Vipers. Let me try something. Great. It does two. 
fucking... I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. It's been a long... Oh my god. Oh, it's only the elevators. It's only the elevators. It is not doors. Dude. That sucks a lot. Well, I guess I know what to do. Huh. Yeah, good time for a gamer stretch. Good time. Oh my god, okay. Got up, scooted around a little. It did feel good. Take some deep breaths. Mm. <sighs> yeah. I understand why I did not spend much time with this game as a kid. Like, you you rank up, sure, but the rank and file enemies immediately start doing more damage. Or like the way that it divides out your health over your health bars <coughs> is different, but um, good God. It is pretty, pretty straight up and down. Uh, all right. That's mean, man. Baron Kurda, ah, uh, thank you for the 12 months. I really appreciate that. Appreciate your patronage. Uh, all right. Well, that means I have to make it to the... Okay, yeah, you can't carry more than one truth gas. Uh, I gotta make it to the... I gotta make it to the... <laughs> To the ration without dying. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. This is the door I want to use. I gotta remember how to get back to it. There we go. Okay. Alright. So I, I really just need that guy. And then go to the ration screen and, and tank up. And then I'm set. If I can remember, if I can run this route cleanly, that'll uh, help my prospects quite a bit. Okay, so it's it's up from the three-way screen, which is right from this screen. Oh my god! So it's up, right, up to get back. Boxes are brutal. Oh man. <sighs> ah, I did it. Okay. Right. I don't. Ah! Uh, 
okay. I thought it was another turn right. Hey, hey, ah! Ten. Look at that, two bars, two bars. If they can like take two bars off me, then ranking up was actually way worse. It actually lowered my health. Yo, what's up? Oh, wow, okay. Steph, this game is brutal. I'm getting brutalized right now. It's fair. Yeah, when, when, when do I get celebration for all that I do? I mean, that happens every day, I'm being real. <sighs> every day I get to stream to all these wonderful viewers is the day I get exactly what, exactly the things I need. What's up? What's that? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yes. One of the... I actually just ate my last one. Chicken and turkey sticks, folks. Like 50, 60, 70 calories. That and then like a, an apple or a little tub of yogurt. It can, it can, uh, it can space out meals. It can get your calories under. That's what I've been using. I mean, I have, I've yet to get some really solid results, but... I have a couple of weeks of hitting my calorie goals, so it'll be clicking in soon. And I've been beefing up, like I said. Big beefing. I'm hoping I discover some kind of consistency to when to call people. I don't know remotely how, uh, this is equipment. Three truth gas. Let me see if I can get more than three. No, just three, okay. All right, well, that's good, because there's only two. Two soldiers to gas. And uh, hopefully I can pick up a second oxygen tank. I think two, two should make, get me through. It's just like, they make you bleed off the first one. Yeah, Artesia, thank you for the encouragement, by the way. I. Don't, I don't, uh, I don't mean to oversell it or anything. I'm not, I'm not getting, like, hecka frustrated. Oh yeah, I need to, I need to touch, touch this elevator real quick. There we go, boom. Progress locked. And then the, uh, the get, the dude I need to guess I think is on the right, yeah. I was thinking about it though, it's actually really cool that a lot of the story elements- Oh! A lot of the story elements in Revengeance pretty much came from Metal Gear 2. And that- uh, Big Boss's motivation stayed pretty consistent. And motivation and methods. They turned his speech into like multiple games worth of stuff. Revengeance was the same thing, like turning kids into soldiers and creating a cycle. Except instead of being emotional, like about about soldiers having a place to be and worth and value, it was just about money. Oh yes, happy Mario Day, everyone. All right, so let me see if I have this equipped, and I walk up to him. Our weapons are ready. Ah, oh, okay. He's been gassed. Their weapons are ready. Maybe I have to tell somebody. But now I know. It used a gas. Yeah, I thought about trying to do Dark Side of the Moon today. Or Darker Side, excuse me, in Odyssey, which I've never done. But then I couldn't remember if I had actually exported my Odyssey save. Because I kind of want to do that on an emulator? And then I was like, well, maybe I should get Ryujink set up. And I was like, eh. Has the, has the, does anyone know, anyone out there who maybe is in the know, does anyone know if, uh, if it's still pretty easy to find the tools to set up Ryujinx? Oops. Or has, like, everyone been driven to ground? Okay. Okay. Good to know, thank you.
Okay. Let's gas this fucker. Weapons are ready to be shipped. It's difficult to get near the port. That sucks. That sucks. I hate that you said that. You said those meaningless words. Ugh. God! It's so awkward! The hitboxes are so funky, you just get caught on everything. And then none of your shit hits. I think this was the oxygen tank room? does just hurt you. All right. All right, three. Okay. Given given some of the design concepts in Metal Gear, I'm going to guess that th that's the intention. You have to get rank two uh, to be able to carry enough things. Hey, Harry. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. No, don't worry about that. I kind of like the, uh, I kind of like the process of doing it myself. Even though it's, it's virtually meaning, like, it's, it's meaningless. But I appreciate the offer. Um, I just, I'll figure it out. I like the, I like the knowing. I like the process. I think there was ammo in one of these? No, I should stop doing this. Going in and out of rooms is respawning the guards, which is clearly costing me a lot of health. Ha! But I'm just... Paranoid. Ah, uh, well... Oh! Yeah, yeah, that's the... That's the trick. Well, that's interesting. The sound of the empty gun. I like that there's a sound effect for it. through rations so fast. This was ammo and grenades. This game would be pretty cool if I were an adult, but I can't like. It's pretty. It's pretty rough, even as a grown, a grown seasoned gamer. But yeah, the music kicks. Music's real good. I don't. I like. I. I think the the visuals are really good. The sprite works really good. Snake is mega beefed, and I like that. I like that a lot. The good news is, there's nothing left behind. I don't think there's a single door or path I haven't explored. So the only thing to do is to go forward down this this water tunnel. <laughs> Give me a break. Sheesh. All right. And luckily, a checkpoint's right there. So I only have two rations, but I think it'll be okay. Switch to my pistol.
Those drum kicks? But yeah, just, just the thing of like, you don't even know what rank ups do when you start the game. So the fact that one of the first gates is needing to rank up to get more oxygen is, is such an arbitrary connection and no one tells you that. Actually, speaking of, I don't think I can use the radio here. No. Oops! Ah! Uh. I keep thinking I can shoot while crouched. Okay, that's how you have to ration. Alright. Alright. Ah! Hey, hell yeah, Tallich. I'm in Fort Worth visiting my family for a wedding and their house is like five minutes from the House of Blades. Yes, that place is awesome. I just really like their sign. It's like the switchblade opening up, or at least that's what it used to be. I am amazed that it's still there and been like renovated and still in business and stuff. It's great. But yes, sweet, sweet House of Blades. I'm trying to think of other Fort Worth landmarks near there. Jeez. That's kind of near a Whataburger, I guess. It's kind of... The House of Blades is kind of not next to anything. I guess it's like there's a, there's a highway on-ramp. Oh, look at the life bar glitching. No one can avoid our attack. Oh, we got bosses? All right. Here they come. All right. We got some linebackers here. Surely I can dial up some friends here. Nope. Nope. Jennifer? Nothing. Just unavoidable attacks from a football team, it looks like. The most American shit. Alright, well. Maybe I need to put plastic explosives down? Where do you think it's gonna put me? Where do you think it's gonna put me? It didn't seem like they were being damaged, no. Yeah, maybe it's time for the machine gun. Yeah, you know Snake's a gamer because no one answers the phone when he's calling. No! Ah, I want to crouch and shoot so bad. I guess this is why you need the knife, huh? Dude! What the fuck? What is with this screen in particular? What are they thinking? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, 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 no one can escape. It's making little, it's making a sound. Interesting. I can't really DPS race them. Maybe it does seem like it might be like you have to drop, you have to run in a line and then drop a plastic explosive. You have maybe grenades? I guess I'll just have to start start dropping the fancy feet. And uh seeing <sighs> so astoundingly imprecise. 
Yeah, well, you can kill them. I did get one of them. I thought about just trying to run around, but I think you do just shoot them to death. You just have to not get tagged in the process. I think. die so quickly and you have so little iframes. It just takes me by surprise every time. I fully don't know how to not get seen on that one screen. Maybe I'll figure it out this time. Yeah, the music's good. No complaints. That's the one thing that makes retro games tolerable <laughs> is having like good music and sound effects. where it's gonna go into like Ninja Turtles at some point there. You're still a pothead. Hmm. I don't know. When you cross the line. I wouldn't say it's a lifestyle thing. Oh, you just shoot him in the fucking head. All right. I don't have a lot of a uh, weed related memory or a uh, paraphernalia. That was terrible. That was terrible of me. Um. I'm not even using my rations. Um. It just, it's. I don't think you can dodge them. I don't think there's any way you can move that they don't touch you. I'll try to run through to the door. It almost feels like I need more rations, like they intend for me to ration feed, or I need, like, armor or something. I would think that I just, like, run and leave plastic explosives in my wake, and then they run and charge over and get hit with it. But they just run straight to me, and I can't move fast enough, so I don't know. That doesn't seem right. I got one of them when I was just sitting in one spot and firing. Maybe if you thin out the numbers, it's easier to dodge? It's not a... I don't know if nades are going to do anything because it's still a question of, like, taking too much damage. They're going to kill me before I kill all of them, no matter what, unless I can find a way to not get hit. Or, uh... So hold on, if I have the food equipped, does it auto-use it? It does not! So you have to manually use rations, no matter what. Okay. I got to re-equip the gun! about the UEVR injector mod for Unreal Engine games. No. Sounds like VR. Homebrew VR seems like a pretty, uh, a pretty cool scene. It also seems like probably where things are gonna, where the most activity is gonna be. Turns any Unreal Engine game into VR. Nice! I remember in the early days of VR, dicking around with, the. Uh, a mod that would turn, like, DX games into- Ah! Uh, why did- Um, it was a little rough, though. It was a little rough, I had to admit. Like, individual games not tuning them for VR didn't- It, it wasn't automatically good, I guess. So, I don't know if- I don't know if that ends up being the same case with, like, Unreal. 
Okay, so hold on. No, that doesn't open it. That doesn't open it. All right. Let's... Maybe something like grenades will do so much damage that they kill them very quickly. Use the wrong button. I miss. I think there might be... I might have discovered a pattern there. To be able to... Let me let me try. I, I think I got it. Let's try it. Oh, high on life, satisfactory, Deep Rock Galactic. Oh, Deep Rock Galactic, yeah. Gonna try with Forgotten City. Oh man, what a game, yeah. I'm amusingly, I'm just thinking of Unreal 1. Maybe that's like too early. <laughs> I've been, I've just been thinking about playing Unreal 1 again, I guess. I've been playing through Bolt Gun on Game Pass. That game, that game's so good. On the hardest difficulty too. It's, it's being a motherfucker, but it should be. Life is not easy in space. So close. Damn it. Well, I'm dead. I can kind of get down to one hit. It's so hard to tell where your stupid hitbox is. I think I can get this, though. I'm not sure about grenades. I'll just spray bullets and hope that I can get, like, a steady string of hits. Yeah, I think we got it. And I'm I'm guessing that they'll drop card three. But again, there's no there were no doors previously that we that we didn't open, so luckily, that doesn't mean we have to backtrack. As long as there's a new room with a ration in it. track is so hot though oh okay the composer for this dude did or did, did the gi joe games and turtles in time and turtles in time is so good all right knife machine gun turn uh I don't think this is this is going well enough. God damn. Okay, that's like the the perfect one right there. How did I do that? Shit. Maybe, uh, maybe knife? Oh, no, nope. Ah. I got one. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a better route you can run 
to more reliably avoid damage. Hmm. Maybe grenades. Maybe maybe if you like if you land a grenade, you one shot them. Because that would that would be much more doable. If it's just like a question of precision. Maybe maybe plastic explosive. In a, running the route that I'm running, maybe I can drop plastic explosive and it'll get one or two of them. Yeah, they change formation when you kill somebody. It's really cute. Uh, I'm curious to see. Like, surely there will be one for two and one. Or three, two, and one. It's a little. Ah, uh, I thought he turned around faster. That didn't cost me too much. Didn't do anything. All right, so plastic explosive is probably only for walls. Yeah, maybe, maybe grenades? I'll try to land a solid grenade and see what it does. Yeah, they just fall off the stage. And it can't die. They just get bounced out. KO'd. This is a game for Americans. The Americans are sensitive with violence, clearly. And this is a game about a beefed out man infiltrating a base and slaughtering hundreds. Oh, you can- you can leave? Huh. They just say the same thing again? That's weird. There's more, there's more surface going up and down on the sides. So let me see if I can work that angle. Uh, I think I've pretty much ruled out anything but shooting them to death at this point. I think I just have to use bullets and kill them with bullets. But now I'm kind of concerned about the amount of bullets. Because I... I shot my machine gun dry. That's only half, and I took out one dude and, I don't know, maybe damaged others? It's hard to tell. Who knows how close they were to dying. I guess the, the other possibility is that I've just missed an item. Missed a door, forgot something. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can knife them at all. <sighs> this is truly Snake's revenge. man <laughs> Carmine thanks for the sub snake is absolutely cheeked up in this one 
Probably more than any other Metal Gear, which I know is saying a bit. But look at this man! Rrrr. Look at that beefy... He's got like a- he's got like a forearm bicep. That's how beefed he is. It's too bad he's wearing those baggy pants. Look at that cake. Look at that ass. There it is. Boom. Yeah, this is the Metal Gear for Americans. So Snake is extra chunky. He was- he was completely huge in the intro where he was suiting up. He stabbed his knife into his knife holder, his sheath, and he was like, let's do this. And here we are doing it, kind of. More like it's getting done to us. Um, I may have to retreat and see if I can make it here with more rations. That may just be the thing. Fuck! Found a written strat if you want to try it. Yeah, sure, why not? See here. Switch to grenades. Go to the right a little, then go to the left when they start closing and stay there until they go away. If they run towards you again, repeat. Use grenades first. Always go for the one in the center. If the men start dying, I'll change formations. Once you be out of grenades, use your machine gun next. Switch to grenades. Go to the right a little when they start, then go left when they start to close in and stay there until they go away. Yeah, I guess there's there's some like magic movement going on. I'm gonna guess grenade grenades must be doing damage and I just am not noticing it. I don't know how you do this without getting damaged every time. Okay. I guess you can't be- you can't be all the way south in the room. Seems like part of it. Oh, I think- I think I might see. I think they run until they hit a wall and then they might bounce back, so if you like- if you can cut the angle right... I think- I think I might get what they're going for. By the way, the- the like... the buttons are reversed now. Now... B is shoot and A is jump, whereas A is shoot and B is melee, usually. So that's cool. Thanks, Metal Gear. Very cool. I wonder if it was like they had two games that they just- they had prototypes for and they just kind of stitched them together when there's other modes like this or scenarios. I don't mind. I like the variety. Weaver of Passion. Hello? Hello? We're, uh, we're trying to Metal Gear here. What the shit? <laughs> it's not easy. Mm, how metal are the gears? Sh uh, they're they're fairly metal actually, which is funny because this game is not technically called Metal Gear. Metal Gear is not in the title at all, which actually means it really doesn't belong in a Metal Gearathon. But whatever, whatever. Damn, what the fuck? 
Ah, how do you not get hit every fucking time? And it's like you. Oh god, you have very little time to experiment too, because they do so much damage. I might need to go back for more rations. That might be the thing here. But the, the trick is then you have to make it all the way back without blowing all your rations. Just from all the dumb bullshit. But it's not that long of a run, I guess. It's faster than trying this a million times. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Next time, I'm just gonna go back and get rations. Hello, Tony Midnight. Happy Sunday. Title change. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why did he turn around the other time? Keep thinking equipment will change my weapon. I don't know why. That one's gonna hurt, but I need to let it happen. All right. Ah, I didn't want to take two hits. That sucks. Nope, 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 nope. Timing was all off. No! Okay, well, I got to see their... I think once you get them down to three, that means they're further away, which should mean that their chase time is is a reduced. It is not still Helldiver's title, Pierce. It is not. It is not. Refresh thine self before accusing thy streamer of not refreshing title. you want to backtrack it takes extra long because you have to fucking wait for the cameras uh, it keeps resetting my shit so I have to go back to the knife and changing the buttons too that's cool love it love it all gaming gaming bloop, 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 bloop. Wait, be patient. Uh, interesting. I thought I thought that maybe this game would have like a way higher drop rate to compensate for some of the other ridiculous stuff, but uh, it doesn't. <laughs> it seemed like there were some drops from the get-go, but they dried up. Go up, snake! Shit! Fuck, man. Ugh. over here. Yeah. Their bullets cross the whole screen! Ugh. Want that one. That's the south exit. Oh, 
Which might actually be closer, but it's more dangerous. I could top up on gas. I don't think I've actually used it on this. Okay. Ration time. Time to go grocery shopping. What is this screen? Okay. Didn't look familiar with the lights off. Uh, all right. Two. Three. Four. Five. Alright. They're already hitting me. They're already hitting me. They're trying to take the rations I just got. They want them. want my rations. Although I, I guess, so if you die, you respawn at the el last elevator you went into with full health and all of your items. So I need to make it to the elevator without using a ration and then I can kill myself or let, let the guards kill me and then I'll respawn with full health. Just gotta make it to the elevator. I can do that, right? I'm solid snake. Hello, Chad. No! Oh, that's fine. The elevator's right there. The elevator's right there. Oh! Beefus McRib. The game is, yeah, it's hyper unbalanced for uh, for what they ask you to do. I'm surprised I didn't alarm. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, it is this way? Yeah. There's just a lot of shit where, like, if you don't enter a screen at the right pixel, it'll, uh, you'll get a detected immediately. And then a bunch of dudes flood out. And it's, like, very arbitrary, and it's in a way almost designed to make you lose life. And it keeps resetting my inventory! <sighs> okay. That's right. Quintessential gamer doesn't mean you beat every game first try. It means you never let the game beat you. <sighs> That's right. Gotta hold on to your dreams. So hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. God damn it. Hold on, let me 
It's about how you can not make it out of the first screen without triggering an alarm and losing half your health. That's what it's about. Now let's try again. Is there no- is there no perspective to this game at all? I think that might be the case. Like, there's perspective in times where it specifically doesn't help me. <sighs> Fuck you! Okay, fine. I'll backtrack to the rations a fucking again. God, I hate these searchlights so much. I hate them so much, you guys. I hate them. I hate them! Ugh. <sighs> Okay. There's like a very specific way you have to exit that screen or you will get seen. So let's see here. Okay, like right there. Fuck! <laughs> Snake. I'm just snaking it. Just solid snaking it. I could go up. Okay, so you can kind of fit between them. And then it's up again. Alright. Yeah. <sighs> we got it, we got it. There we go. 100% pure stealth. Yes, I'm snake leaving. The power of snake is entering me. Uh, Yeah, camel caps. This is the one Kojima was not involved with. He missed out. I think, I think they made some some blunt decisions to try to encourage more a action. I'm gonna make it. They can't stop me this time. That that bullet's gonna kill me. I have to do it. I ran into the same fucking guy again. I hate it. I hate it. They put him so close to the edge of the screen. At least he's not staring at the screen transition. Which happens a lot. Ugh. Who voices Snake in this one? Gilbert Gottfried. They did it again. Nineties funny man Gilbert Gottfried is here, everybody. God, and then they walk inside of you. They're ugh. they are razor tuned to be the most f annoying enemies ever. Just kill me. Just kill me, put me back to the fucking elevator, because you dickwads can't let me walk past. God. They do so much damage, and they move in every possible way you're not allowed. They shoot at angles, they walk directly inside of you and stand there. Ugh, oh, man. Okay. And it reset my shit. Ah. Symbiotic maple syrup. I could go for some of that symbiotic maple syrup. Thank you for the sub. It's soothing me, calming me. Gamer rage is subsiding. No. I got caught on the wall that tiny bit. So I, of course, of course I deserve an alarm. 
At least I made it to the elevator. Okay, I have three more rations than I had before. That's probably gonna be enough. Because uh, I could get in down to three. Now with the extra rations... Probably got this. <sighs> How could Kojima do this? They reset my, my shit again. Like, the menus are extra bad, and also they keep resetting my gear. So I have to keep going into the menus more than usual in a Metal Gear game, which is already a lot. <laughs> For a game about blasting dudes, they sure did create a lot of moments where you have to keep fiddling with your fucking inventory. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Kojima has done no wrong. I won't have his name be smirched anymore. I wonder if there's going to be any more cutscenes. Like that dude getting captured immediately. I'm excited to see the end of this boss fight because I don't know how it's going to go. Alright folks, it's game time. Still not the right not, still not the right menu. in here, baby. Ugh. Look at him, they got nothing. Well, I guess I could have done it on two rations. Well, whatever. Oh, he went closer to the middle. Well, the door opened automatically. All right. God, could you imagine dying in this room? Right before another, like, checkpointy elevator. Uh, well, we did it. Alright. Elevator. That means all, all progress locked in, verified and validated. And I'm excited to go to a new part, part of the game. New building. Because this is like, what the fuck? Those are like the little Zelda things? Okay. Great. Ah. What the heck? Yeah, try Skelly and uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a bookmark in this game soon too. By soon, I mean like now. I'm, 
I'm about to wrap the stream up. What the heck, man? What is this all about? Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I had a really fun time streaming today. I, uh... Wait, this... No, okay. I'm not gonna use sa save states to progress, but I will use save states to save the game. I don't wanna have to use passwords. What do you do? What can... This bugs me though. Like, I thought I would at least know what comes next. Or at least see what comes next. Instead, it's this room with two blocks that slam closed the second I walk inside. And that's the only door. And that's it! I didn't get a new card. I didn't get new gear. Metal or otherwise. I didn't even rank up. How BS is that? Ugh. Yeah, maybe I need a grenade? Wait, that'd be a real fun thing to drop on people. I tried plastic explosive. Nothing. Hmm. Alright, folks. Well, it's a mystery that'll wait until next time. Thanks again for watching. And uh, I'll be back soon. Probably, probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be a mystery. Uh, but thanks for watching. Hope to see everyone next time, whenever that is. And uh, hope you all had a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time. Bob. I need to look up who composed this, because it's definitely got the Konami heat when it comes to the music. <sighs> I was thinking about the the title song for Metal Gear Solid 3 a lot in the shower. It just came to me and then I just like started singing it, just like scatting it. I think that track is called CQC. And fuck it's great. Damn it's good. How does everyone feel about what is it, Slap Grunt? Slap Grundle for a Star Wars name. Swotor didn't like it so much. I think it's great. Maybe, maybe Droops? Droops McGrundle. R wrinkle Sag much. No, Wrinkle Sagmo? There we go, that's it. No names end with Uch in Star Wars, I don't think. Yeah, so I was, I was, I think my brain was trying not to think about the reality of my situation here. So, oh, thank you, David. Yeah, I'm excited to hear. I mean, I need to, oh shit. Honestly, I owe you, I owe you some feedback on the last round, but we're almost there. I actually could probably start putting it together now. Wait a minute. Eh? I, wait a minute, where's the, wait, where's the room with the weird Zelda blocks in it? Is it over here? Maybe you have to like, hmm, 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 wait, oh, it's not that kind of side scrolling. There's two different side scrolling modes. One's the elevator and the other's like the action thing. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, uh, I don't think I threw grenades at them, but I don't know if I can, like the way that they're positioned against these boxes. Pretty sure I punched all the walls here. Yeah, I'm out of grenades. I do have plastic explosive, but I don't think that did anything. But let me try it again. It's been a while. And I don't think anyone answered me on the effing radio, but I can try that again, too.
Damn it. Yeah, Sandsbuck, this is the weird spin-off one. Not not directed by Kojima. Not canon, but made at Konami. And pretty clearly pretty like clearly adhering to the design tenets of Metal Gear 1 in some ways. Like Kojima went a different direction, and that's pretty clear. And I really like the direction he went. I think that Maybe you have to be standing right next to it for the radio to work? I do always find it really fascinating when, like, two different developers or two different directors or whatever kind of take the same inspiration but go different ways with it. Ugh. The early days of, of, like, franchises in gaming, when franchises weren't really a thing yet, it was more of just a brand that could maybe help sales. And you had stuff from, like, like Zelda 1 to Zelda 2, in the US at least, like Mario 1 to Mario 2. Those were cool, those were cool experiments, and I think, uh, when what franchises meant in gaming was not really a, an established concept, it was kind of neat to see wider variations on a theme. Am I liking it so far? I like things about it. I like things about this game. This game is hardcore, and I think, I think not, in, not necessarily always intentionally. It definitely has that NES, like, ship it. <laughs> There's some stuff at the beginning of the game that is, that is, like, not, like, playfully brutal. It's just kind of mean. And some oversights that, that really would impact anyone's ability to get, to just get into the game and understand what's going on. Oh, fuck yeah, Booska. IT somehow whitelisted Twitch on my work laptop. You got it. You got it. See, that's the thing. Sometimes there's perspective. Sometimes you can't shoot above someone and hit them. Well, I guess this game's different than the other ones, but... What the fuck? Alright. So, uh, the biggest problem here is I can't backtrack, I don't think. Um, because there's water. And it's possible... I don't, I don't know if it's possible to just get fully softlocked here. If, like, if you don't have air tanks, and you don't have whatever item I... That's the thing, though. I don't think there was anything left to explore back where I came from. It was all just, like, funneling here. So if I can't get past these blocks, I've got... I, I should say it another way. Theoretically, I should have what I need to get past those stupid blocks. Where does Snake's Revenge fall in the lore? It kind of doesn't. It wasn't directed by Kojima, so its events don't really factor into anything. Also, there's no real, there's no real story yet, like nothing. They all they've said is it's my it's my uh, my mission to infiltrate the base. And I truth gassed a soldier who told me that the weapons were ready. That's it. That's all I got. There was another soldier who said some very something very similar. I think I tried to stab the blocks with a knife. I'm beyond thinking logically now, and I'm just trying to think of game states that I haven't... I haven't done on this screen. Because there's not really that much you could do in this game either. You only have so many actions, so many buttons to hit. No meat in the walls yet. Not yet, anyway. But like... If... It can't be related to ammo. Oh, you're fucking kidding me! You are f It makes a sound when you hit it, kind of. And it's a different sound than the one where you hit the wall. That's all you've got. To know that you have to stab it 35 times or... <sighs> See what I mean, though? <laughs> See what I mean? Why doesn't it make the twing sound? The bing! That's a very telling sound. The Konami twing. It could have done that. 
But instead, it was just like you're hitting a wall. <sighs> Whatever, proggers. Oh, shit. Lieutenant, it appears that John is a hostage on the ship. I'm on a ship now. I'm on a ship. Cool. This is where Metal Gear Solid 2 got it from, clearly. Am I on a ship? Also, the music has dropped in quality. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck! Thump. We gotta save John. Also, you take you take so much damage. It's <sighs> and the blocks are back. Who doesn't love having to punch through? Uh, how dare you, game over, you son of a bitch! You have to use the knife. Oh my god. For real? So not only do you have to hit it a million times, but fists also don't count. I do like that his his beefy arm gets like shading when he punches. Look at that. Boosh! Look at that roo! Look at that big ass fucking arm. Sucralos. That's an awesome name. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> the, the, the punch is giving off light. Also, holy shit, man. It's like shoulders bursting above his head and his muscles are shaded. See, this is like, this is what's cool about Snake's Revenge is knowing that the Japanese developers made it specifically for Americans. And so Snake is massively beefed. Whoa, dude. Thanks for the sub. Oh. That's kind of the most fascinating part about this. Oh, wait, it just died. In Was I just like one hit away? What the fuck? I think the knife just does more damage. But it has to be a melee. Alright, we gotta listen about Brian again, or Dave. John. John Gear. What was that noise? Okay, I'm on the ship. This ship seems to have started. All right, well, that's interesting. They're kind of removing the ability to backtrack. I mean, logically, I kind of already knew that there wasn't a reason to turn back, but still, once you get here, it's just like new start. Oh, ah, more truth serum. I got a truth gas. I guess I better stock up. Sugar was taken? I can see that. You gotta be- you gotta get like... If you want a dictionary word, you gotta be ground floor. Truth gas is just copium. <laughs> ah! This is an interesting swap of locale. I thought the entire game, like Metal Gear 1, was just going to be in a in a base. So, I got a boat. Neat. Is that a door? It's a door. It's an, what the fuck? Okay. Is it an elevator? Hey! Oh, shit. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Chip! Ass! That was bad. Ow! Fuck. There's gotta be a, a ration room around here somewhere. Does tune level mean upgrading? A badass song sound? Man, I wish. I am a huge fan of games where the music gets, like, more complicated or, or starts rocking harder the better you play. Shit! God! They look around really erratically. 
don't know if I want to explore the interior just yet. I want to. I want to get a mental map of the, the deck first. Basically, like I want to explore any one-off rooms that might be around. See if I can find like locations for ammo and food. Ch fuck you! God damn. Okay. Not ideal. But if it's here, I'm gonna have to use it, so... was like, why did I do that? Fuck. What the heck is that? I'm the tampon. Snake, don't touch that. It's weird. I'm scared of it. I got a flare bomb. Huh. Flare bomb, huh? Flare bomb. It's a weapon? It's not a weapon, it's not equipment, it's not showing up anywhere. I guess it- maybe it's just something that- it's like a key item somewhere? It, it, the game just knows you have it? Anyone got something to say about- oh, my battery level's running out. Man, the radio is just a pure gimmick in this game, huh? It, it hasn't done a damn thing. Is it the option? I can't pick the option. <laughs> it won't... Like, the cursor doesn't go there. But I need to... I was curious about that. I'll fiddle with that a little bit more in a minute. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I can't- I can't pick option. Hitting select or start here does nothing. I mean, select skips through the menu. So does A. And B doesn't do anything. Start doesn't do anything. So it's just D-pad and- and yes are the only kind of inputs on this screen. And I can't select that, so... Yeah, that's- that- this is, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. All I can assume is that later there will be just some interactable that it's like, since I have the flare bomb, it'll be like, I'm putting the flare bomb in this thing. Okay. Ah, uh, ADHD rides again. You got, you like, or you have this Doom 64 shirt? It's a good one. I think it was with the, um, limited run release? John has moved to another place. It looks like there's something important. In the bottom of the ship. Metal Gear. You think that's... Is that where Metal Gear Solid 2 got it from? Metal Gear 2 on a boat? Maybe Kojima really does. Oh, fuck off! Why did he turn around? Shit, man. This isn't gonna open. Oh, it did. I thought for sure. Is this thing I can't remember what that thing is. I know you break out the cum shirt again. Also, where did you get it? I just typed in like Doom cum shirt. Uh, yeah, I still got it in my closet somewhere. I think it, it kind of got rifled to the back at some point for reasons unknown. Uh, fuck. Oh, I don't know how far back that's gonna put me. I haven't- I guess I went into that one elevator. Fuck, that sucks. <sighs> They're getting, like, shittier about just hitting you with random alerts. Unless, like, I'm making noise and that's causing the guards to turn around, but I don't think that's a thing. 
All right, let me think. What did I not? I guess I need to get the flare bomb. Shit. Sorry, the left trigger was inventory for the other Metal Gears, so I keep hitting it. Ready for the internet healing if they ban TikTok? The internet will heal immediately. <laughs> First of all, they're not going to ban TikTok. It'll just sell to a US company that'll probably... That'll actually probably be a lot better about selling through ads, really. Anyway, um, I don't know if... An American company will probably not voluntarily start uh, adding rev share to the to the ecosystem if they don't have to, and they don't have to. But um, there's all kinds of other attention deficit catering experiences on the internet, so I think people will get over it pretty fast. They aren't talk aren't they talking about banning it? No, they're talking about forcing them to sell U.S. operations of TikTok to a U.S. company. Fucking shit! That's so annoying! Like, there's little loopholes like that that are just like, that's not balanced. That's kind of contrary to the spirit of the game. You should be able to, like, stab dudes as they walk around corners. Like that. But you can only do it when you're under someone. Because they got the hitboxes all fucked. Anyway. Hello, Ben? Yeah, we're gonna get ads for, uh, well, if they're targeting kids. Yeah, the Navy for sure. There are going to be army ads all over TikTok. Vapes? I'm trying to think of, oh, uh, gambling. Like, ga weird, weird crypto bro shit, maybe? Roblox? The idea is that, um, since TikTok as a service and as a company isn't headquartered in the U.S., they're not subject to any of our data privacy laws. And uh, there's a bunch of dumb kids using TikTok that don't know or give a shit about any of that. And I think people are kind of rightfully not super comfortable with the fact of a another country owning more data about the behavior patterns of our, our children than we have or can even regulate. Oh, someone's about to get gassed. Do I have it though? I don't think I went by the gas room. I did, excellent. Metal Gear has no weak spot. Let's destroy the ship and ammo dump. Okay, I like that. You gotta sink the ship instead of trying to destroy Metal Gear. All American social media companies are doing the same thing. Sure, but they can still be sued. <laughs> you can drag them into into Congress. Or uh, get money out of them if they violate US law. Okay, I think this is the other room. Or the other door. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go slap the elevator. Ah! It's, man, this shit. And then they just swarm you, and they can shoot in all directions, so you're just bound to lose health. Ugh. Our data is probably safer in the hands of other countries. They generally have better data privacy laws. Europe does, but also... That's... That is a, that is a bad thing to say. <laughs> uh, that's a... I don't know. People, people have grown to distrust the United States so much that now they're cool with other countries doing everything. That's bad. That's bad. We're supposed to be on a team. We're supposed to be on a team. <laughs> I get it, though. Um. Yeah. Uh. Somebody's been using a lot of TikTok. Like, that... It's creepy, because this is, this is, like, part of it. This is part of it. Fuck! At least I touched the elevator. Like, 
If a foreign- if kids get so attached to their stupid fucking videos that they start to resent the U.S. government, that's part of it. Like, that means another country jingled the keys so successfully that a nation's youth got enamored with them and, and their culture, and they prefer that to any kind of- any kind of social contract or society that they live in. They just want their stupid fucking videos. Ugh. We're going- we're getting there. We're getting there. This is- this is the future of, like, cultural... I'm not saying that, like, it's a- it's like a government-funded effort or whatever, but, like, this is- these are the things that are- that are moving cultural needles on the planet right now. And nobody, like... Uh, everybody's- everybody's caught in the weeds. I will blow my videos! <laughs> I'm making to watch my stupid fucking videos! I want to see 14-year-olds throwing jugs of milk on the ground and howling like an idiot in a grocery store. I need to see it! Whatever. I can be reductive about anything. I am- I'm- I'm barely doing much more sitting here and screaming in a video game, so whatever. Whatever. Damn it! Bullshit! How do they fucking- they walk down a long hallway and then snap turn around. It's not- it's not good. Also, it still blows my mind that, uh... Okay, I think I do have to go down the elevator. It still blows my mind that, um... That when I ranked up, bullets did more damage. Oh yeah, Chin Pokemon, that's right. Ha! Ah, I forgot about that. Big Dim Sum. Thanks for the sub. God, that's a good name. How's inflation affecting your food budget? Um... I, I don't order delivery much anymore. I did actually this morning. I, I splurged, but now I consider delivery like a like a once in a week treat when I want to really like live in luxury and not cook for myself. But yeah, I cook for myself a lot, and then also dieting. Like a, it's actually a really good time to diet. But I have been eating less. Uh, weirdly, if you like eat off the bottom of the food chain, just like buy basic staple groceries, and actually like. For me, I stick on like an 1800 calorie diet, 1700 calories. That's not much. That really isn't much at all. So my food costs have gone way down since I've just been getting like basic groceries and cooking for myself. So uh, I guess because my food budget was so bloated before, my finances have actually improved quite a bit. But I've definitely had my time uh, I've had my poverty meals for sure. I mean, in, in college, basically. Oh, there we go. I, uh, I ate like shit and also had no money. Frustratingly, I'm only just now getting pretty good at like eating well on a budget. I skip breakfast when possible. Oh, I, I can't. I can't and I refuse. Breakfast is the meal that I, I love the most. Uh, I, but unfortunately, um, I also like snacks before bed. So, what I've started to find is like, there's stretches of the day where I have the most tolerance for not eating. And it's kind of in the middle of the day when I'm like streaming, especially if I'm sipping on a coffee, it's good appetite suppressant. So I can go long stretches in the middle of the day without eating. And that kind of opens me up to, uh, to have a snack at night. And still hit my calorie goals, son of a bitch. Yeah, eggs and vegetables, yeah, eggs. Eggs, bread, um, yogurt is a, has become a staple for me. Savory or sweet breakfast? Usually savory. Sweet means sugar, and I'm dieting, and that can be tough. The sweetest it gets for breakfast now is I'll have just like a really thin, a thin sheen of jam on a piece of toast or something, like one piece of of a uh, hearty hippie bread. Hit me with the tips. Hey Snake, are you okay? I'll see you soon. You have my support, Snake. Thanks. Shit. It's gonna turn around. Uh. Uh. Yeah, these days my my breakfasts like I would say are largely savory. It's usually like one or two eggs, and then one other thing, either like a piece of bread or a piece of protein, sometimes bacon. Lately, uh. I'm doing like salmon and eggs for breakfast. <sighs> Trying to get my protein counts up, but man, 
Trying to hit protein num numbers on like 1700 calories is difficult. There's only a few foods that actually hit the right protein to calorie ratios. And it's basically like chicken breast and, and yogurt. And that's kind of it. <laughs> Everything else, even protein bars and shit, because they have a lot of sugar in them. It doesn't really work. Only certain kinds of yogurt too. Egg whites. Oh, I got a flare gun. Okay. That's why it wasn't showing up. Because it's ammo for a gun I didn't have. And I still don't have. <sighs> so if you pick up flares, they go nowhere. <laughs> Since Snake doesn't have a pocket for it yet, it just falls in the trash. It evaporates. Right. Whatever, man. Whatever, dude. I'm not gonna even pretend to be surprised about that shit. Right. Ass hole. I gotta learn that they keep. You gotta like wait for them to fully stop, I guess. Ugh. At least that door is a little more explicit. Super chill of them to put. Oh fuck! Here are the three graves for you. Ha ha ha! What? Is it just like is it like whack-a-mole? There's dudes just hiding in holes. Battery levels back up. No contact. Can I leave? I can. Cause I feel like I might need flares. Why would they give me flares now? God damn it. Oh, mines? Claymores? Yeah. Okay. I've eaten the same breakfast for the last three years. Miso, steamed rice, and a bit of seared salmon. Those are most of the breakfasts I had in Japan. It was kind of... Oh, wow, that doesn't cause noise. It was kind of challenging because... I'm used to like heavier breakfasts and especially if like doing the tourism thing, walking around all day, getting up early and all that stuff. I wanted like a, I wanted a rib tickling, gut burning breakfast. They don't really have those in Japan. Yeah. Huh, okay. There's a door I can't, hold on. I'm just keeping a running log of the doors that I haven't opened. Yeah, Captain. Uh, actually, you know what? Traveling in Japan was another pretty instrumental or instructional thing about diet. I had to trust that I wouldn't, you know, die <laughs> if I had a 300 or 400 calorie breakfast. Oh, I stout donut. I have, I'm lucky enough to have a home gym. I, I bought like a, man, there's a number of, there's a number of ways I got really like, I'm, Really lucky with timing. Okay, so left goes to the flare gun, right goes to the boss. And claymores. I guess I can dick around with the... Uh, well, let me... let me Shoot, let me dive in the elevator real quick. Just a checkpoint, and then I'll run and, and fuck around with the boss. See if I can do anything. There we go. Yeah, I was lucky enough to... Uh, Stephanie had a coworker who was getting rid of a bunch of gym equipment in late 2019 when I when I left Rooster Teeth. And I was like, this is perfect. I want to set up a home gym anyway. I'll be working out of the house now. So I'll have time to get jacked up. Um, so I bought like a couple of benches, a squat rack. Uh, that gave me most of what I needed for the workouts. And then I just bought some other equipment off the internet. There was like a combination row pull-down machine that was like perfect and then a leg curl and extension machine and then it's all plates and stuff um so i just have a set of plates that i move around 
I need to get a couple of more weights. I need some more um, dumbbells. I need I need heavier dumbbells, but that's kind of it. And even that's for like accessory lifts, so I'm not too worried about about lift maxing. They throw grenades. I don't know if that... There's no way that, like, grenades do damage to the dudes who throw grenades, right? Hmm. I could also just try to run past. Fuck. Well, I actually just heard my laundry, so... I'm gonna throw it in the dryer, start a new load. This won't take long. A couple of minutes. I'll be right back. Options are go up and uh, explore the deck or get flares and come back. I'm gonna try to go down though and see what's see what's going on. I think you have to hold down. Uh, night off bald man, you recommend boxing? I would too. Um I thought about it, I don't know. I kinda I kind of into weightlifting right now. I used to really enjoy combat sports. Um I did I did boxing for a while. Mixed martial arts, kung fu. A uh, little, little known Lawrence fact that I try not to drop. Well, I only work in uh, as a joke, not joke to humble brag, but I do have a black belt in Japanese jujitsu. I am a practitioner of deadly martial arts, or at least I, it's been a while. It's been a while. But yeah, well, I want to say like, as rec more like maybe five, six years ago. Maybe more like seven, eight. <laughs> yeah, uh, boxing is great. I would, uh, something with less potential impact, like judo or just wrestling, like collegiate wrestling, that shit is exhausting, exhausting, and uses like every muscle in your body. Even more, like boxing uses a lot, but when you're like wrestling someone and you're trying to use your entire body to like, and their entire body is pushing back against you the whole time. And it's not only that, but also their body weight. And just like trying to leverage and, and push in every direction at every angle. It really is just like a complete total workout. It's an, it's intense and amazing how utterly exhausting it is. Rock climbing, I also really like. Also good for like... Exhausting a lot of muscles all at the same time. Bought a black belt off Amazon. I think I still have mine in my closet somewhere. I think they're probably pretty similar in terms of value. Oh hell yeah, Frank the Dank. I love Trepang too. I haven't finished it though. But yeah, that game is legit. If you want if you want like an aughts extreme shooter, something that's very fear adjacent. Go for it. That game rocks. Wait, hold on. Now I gotta go back up to the top floor. Yeah, maybe the flare gun will do it. I don't know why it would. But maybe it will? Okay, just wanna make sure I have the fucking... I guess I still have... I have claymores, but those guys don't move. I played soccer throughout high school and thought wrestling would be a breeze. Man, was I wrong. Wrestling is exhausting. Yeah. It's like wrestling, swimming, rock climbing are probably the things that I've have shocked me at how completely draining they are. Stage Geek, I'm always bad at pull-ups too. Uh, I think my like my upper body strength to weight ratio has not been great. Because I'm on the heavier side, even if I think like my I'd say my upper body strength is like 80% of probably where it should be for a healthy man. As a, as a gamer, that's not the worst, and I'm also probably shooting high there, but... But yeah, I've always been... I've always carried around an extra, like, 50 pounds I don't need. That would probably make pull-ups way easier. I was always so jealous of kids that could just, like, hang from one arm, 
or just do do like full on monkey bars, like swinging one armed. I was like, that looks so fun. I never had the grip strength or the upper body strength to do that. I could just like hang from two arms and that was about it. Although now that I'm an adult and I've, I've worked out more, I can climb a rope. I can climb up a pole. Oh, that was really stupid of me. I can do a lot of like upper body stuff I was never able to do as a kid. Ugh. I'm trying to remember where the tampon room is. You ever fuck around on the row machine? Um, a little bit. Um, actually I did a lot of rowing and physical therapy just because my upper back was all fucked up and I had to be I had to be taught how to like pinch my shoulder blades together. Oh there it is. Um okay, so let me see here. Three flares. So I get three flares per pickup. Let's see how many I can get. Um I don't do really rows for cardio, although it would be good for me to just consistently work the my back muscles like I'm walking. To be a kid again? I don't know. I always felt... Maybe that's maybe that's where part of my infatuation with games came from, is I just didn't feel attached to the physical world as a kid. I didn't... I couldn't have, like, adventures. Because I was in rural Texas, so it was just, like, dirt and, and rocks. That's all that was outside. And that, like, you can use your imagination, and I had to. But dirt, rocks, and dying trees was kind of it. So there was no, like, amazing, wonderful, enchanted glades for me to find. At best, it was like a mushroom that would re release a spore cloud when you stomped on it. And then I'd be like, geez, are mushrooms going to grow in my head? Learning to pinch your shoulder blades is some real gamer injury shit. Well, I like, it's more like rolling your... Ugh. Rolling your shoulder blades back, so like gamers tend to like roll forward. It's like the gamer posture. And then the neck kind of comes out like this. And then you get the hump back here. It just, it is some gamer stuff, but it's also just like information age human stuff. But yeah, ugh, if you can, it's learning how to talk to those muscles between your shoulder blades so that you can kind of yank them together. And then also developing them so that they have resting tension so that they pull your shoulder blades back naturally. Excuse me, God damn. So that's, that's the kind of thing that I really, I need to be more conscious about when sitting and... I'm still developing my rowing technique. I'm still like, it's kind of interesting too. I never really appreciated how uh, mentally exhausting it can be when you're paying like hawkish attention to your form doing a complicated lift. I'm actually going to let myself get murdered so I can get my health back. And then I'll make a boss run and see if the flare gun does anything. Plump. You can see Snake's big ass bulge for a minute when he dies, when he falls forward. I swear to God, you can see his like bulge from the back. So, always reset your shit when you go through a checkpoint. Dermot! Fucking snake! Got caught on a fucking corner. Because again, perspective only works against you in this game. You can't like walk behind the wall. Ugh. Ugh. Whatever. Okay. Doesn't do shit, Captain. I guess that illuminates the room? Maybe I just have to shoot them with a gun. But there's no ammo. I haven't found an ammo crate on board yet. Maybe I can walk up. Maybe I have to walk next to their holes and plant claymores so that when they stand up, it explodes and hurts them.
Did it shoot backwards? Let me experiment with this. Put, okay, I put it down. I hit the button again to fire it. That's what happened. <sighs> right. This is delicate military hardware. the sound of, of damage? Shit. All right, new discovery. The Claymore fires in the direction you are moving when you detonate it. That, sure, that's how Claymores work. only somebody on the radio were here to tell me these things. I, I still don't even know if claymores are doing damage. And I likely won't until I use all my claymores and the enemy doesn't die. And that's it. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I wonder if the claim, well, supposing the claymores do damage, I wonder if, uh, I wonder if they can shoot through the sandbags. Cause it doesn't, uh, it doesn't show the sandbags stopping the bullets. Come on. I just had to get that one shot at, huh? like they probably just take a ton of hits from any damage source. Yeah. That might be true. I that might be true. <laughs> that might be true. But like uh, this is the problem with with ambiguous feedback or lack of feedback. What do I spend my time doing now? What's the objective? I don't even know. I guess I'm still scouting. But like there's no information to be got. I just have to dedicate to a plan and then eventually decide that it's not working. <sighs> I don't know why I keep going to equipment. Okay. Okay. Should probably focus on one of them. Nah, that looks like it's getting absorbed by the sandbags there. Fuck! Snake? That didn't look like it was hitting anybody. I have played on metal. I didn't finish it though. I really liked it. I thought it was funny. Um, Master of Shans. Snake's getting revenge. Getting revenge for all of us sinners out here. Oops. Plastic explosive? Maybe I need to put plastic explosive on them. As you can see, you are not dead. Your PCV absorbed the damage at the cost of some of its power. Keep your PCV charged and your chances of survival in the field are very high. Proceed Rick. to the next area. Okay, I will. Thank you. Richard Rainwhite, thank you very much for the super chat. 
I'm glad that you clicked on Snek. That wasn't the right button. Well, that's not the right button. I think. I think the I think that just hit them a lot from any source crowd was correct. sound. did it. Sheesh. And I'm probably not going to make it to an elevator because I have one health. <sighs> Unless there's like... Oh, it's a key card? Key three? Yep. Yeah. Well, that's good. I have to make it back to the elevator. It's not progress yet. I guess it technically is because I'm not dead. Ugh. And I now know the secret of the boss. Okay, gotta be real careful. Step. Nope. Step. Okay. Wait, I don't think I can go into the next screen without getting seen immediately. I'm pretty sure that happens. No? Okay. Okay, there's only one more dude. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, home free. All right, I'm gonna guess that this door is a key three. Mind detect. Okay. Anyone else having a crazy week? I'm suing a man who refused to seek medical care, medical care for his adopted dog, but then died because of his religious beliefs. That's really terrible. Action man. Is what? Forgive my ignorance, but what? Is there a law? Morally, that's terrible. I I thought that. I thought that that was actually legal in the U.S. though. I thought pets were considered property. Mm. Well, I guess animal cruelty is a thing? That's a crime? <gasps> okay, that's right. He's the only guy in here. Ah. Signed an adoption contract with the rescue. It stipulated he needed to provide vet care, and he didn't. Okay. That sucks. Ooh, that's really interesting. Wow! What an interesting way to enforce uh, having to see. A bunch of invisible mines floating around. Also, they fucked, like, I had the thing. Okay, so that's a really good example of how this game is kind of fucked. I had the thing. I had the right item. I figured out what I needed to do. 
and I still got punished for it because I didn't do it immediately. I didn't know beforehand, but like, I wouldn't say that that was a design decision. It was just, they made the room and then shipped the game or they only tested it on themselves when they're the ones who knew and they were like, oh, it's very thrilling to have it, have it like hit you this fast. Here. Oh, these Metal Gears. I have to use one for every room? I'm gonna... It must re... The fuck? Oh, it hit me. Because of the perspective of this shit. Oh, the ammo storage. Do I put plastic explosive on it? There's probably like a bigger bomb I have to find or something, right? Like a time bomb? I don't know if I'm using it all! Alright. Oh yeah, could be random mine spawns, that's a good point. But even still, randomized mine spawns is kind of a shit, shit concept. Wow. Okay. I got to go back theoretically and get plastic explosives. This is cool though. All the little Metal Gears down here. Which is funny because the NES Metal Gear didn't even have Metal Gear. <laughs> and now we got a whole boatload of them. And little boxes ready to go. So I guess also enemies just straight up do not randomly drop items in this game. And there's no rations on the boat! So you really do just play from checkpoint to checkpoint. Ugh. Yeah, that's true, Captain. If it's RNG, then at least they didn't explicitly design it to fuck you. I don't think a lot of NES games were like that. Some were. I'm a big fan of, of games fucking with you and being cheeky about it. Devil May Cry, you know, Hideki Kamiya loves doing that stuff. Kojima does a little bit. He's gotten a little less... He's gotten a little less uh, mischievous. Wait, wrong way. Pants Turkey. Thanks for the sub. Oh, no, that's Claymore. Shit. Plastic explosives... Oh, they were to the left. Oops. Guard doesn't care. Hey, it's not on this floor. God damn. Well, then I just need to warp back to the elevator. Blow it out sky high. Hello, love black girls. Good to see you. You reminded me I got to get back. I got to pick up Elden Ring again. I think it was there. I can't remember. <sighs> right. Not equipped. Eh. 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 Luckily, the like. Ex <sighs> Come on! Why did he turn around? That is some bullshit, man. Something's going on. Anyway, I was about to say, they kind of make. They actually are. They make the exploration space pretty small so far. The actual places I can go and the uh, the very the branching paths, the the total number of locked doors is pretty small. So it's weird. They they made they made it easier to wrap your head around it in that regard. It's 
game grinds your penis. You can say penis here if you want. I do appreciate the artistic flourish, though. Grenades. Get more flares. I don't really need them though. Is it there? Maybe it's here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you got into gun and model kits? Oh yeah, man. I need to make a, a Metal Gear Gunpla. Actually, you know what? I need to throw it all the way back. I used to make... My dad worked for Lockheed Martin when I was a kid, so... The w the one hobby he was kind of okay with me getting into was, was building airplane kits. I had, like, an F-117, an F-22, of course. It'd be fun to make, like, a, an F-22 nowadays, now that they're real. I remember seeing, like, photos of the YF-22 back in the day and being like, That's a fucking sick-looking plane! Went in this door. Are you a Macross kid? I would probably would have been, but I don't know. I grew up, like I said, rural Texas. All I had was network television. So basically, like, no anime at all showed. Telemundo, the, the Spanish speaking channel, would show Dragon Ball at like 5 a.m. in the morning in Spanish. And it was like the OG shit. Um, and it was awesome. Once I figured that out, I would wake up, set my alarm, and wake up to watch it. I think they showed Sailor Moon as well. Where the fuck are the plastic explosives? <sighs> I can't remember, and I'm annoyed now because I feel like I've been to all the doors on the deck. Is that why Mexicans love anime? I Mexicans love anime because anime fucking rocks. Yeah. It's exposure, but also, like, I feel like there's a ton of cultural crossover between, like, melodrama, telenovela, and Dragon Ball. Which actually is closer to Luchador, I guess. But the, the like, the drama, the family, the family lineage, uh, the multi-generational stuff. Like, I feel like it all reads screaming warrior men, yes, fighting for pride and honor. But also having feelings and crying sometimes. It's like, it's perfect. It's actually, like, it's really dialed in. Busting out crazier moves, changing form and leveling up as uh Yeah, Dragon Ball is totally wrestling. It's got heel turns in the whole deal. Whenever I like I started to realize how people do heel turns in in face turns in wrestling, I was like, oh it's like Vegeta. <laughs> it's a it's a heel that people love so much that he has to stick around, but you gotta kinda take the edge off. And then occasionally you can reintroduce the edge, a la Majin Buu, for like a totally rad slam down. Man, Piccolo, Piccolo v Cell is pretty good, but I think Goku versus Majin Vegeta is probably as peak as the series gets, as Z gets anyway. There it is, shit. I haven't seen Mega 64 Dragon Ball yet. I haven't even seen uh, Evangelion Abridged. I'm a bad, I'm a bad Mega 64 fan. Truth is, to be honest, like, uh, I feel like it would make me jealous. I would be, I would be, uh, I would be in awe and envious. Oh, 
Oh, Piccoloid Android, Android 17 was really good. I need to get back into it. I finally dusted off my Crunchyroll account because I need to start Double Zeta. Did the... Did the... Okay, okay, so he stops and turns a random direction. And I guess sometimes it's straight back. That was two directions, weird. can leave the screen. Huh. I guess if the alert's up, then the screens are... Okay. I don't even know that this is gonna work. Also, won't it kill me? Oh, okay. It starts a cutscene. Take that, Metal Gear. Eat my butt. I set the transmitter, climb up the deck and use the radar. Hurry up! Oh, cool. Oh, okay. We got like a time to exit sequence. This isn't the end of the game, is it? Usually this is like the finale. My knife is counting down. Snake, hurry up before your knife detonates. I was wondering when they would use the radar. Yeah, making you follow a map during a time crunch is kind of cool. Oh. What are you, what the fuck are you on about? Okay, so I guess I have to go down and around, and then back up? What? Cutscene. Oh! Wow. Okay. Random hallway explodes. Revealing a helipad. Great. Congratulations! Metal Gear is destroyed, but we have confirmed the existence of Metal Gear 2. Now Nick is missing. Contact your person at the enemy's base. What? I'm rank 3 now. Alright. Metal Gear 2. Battery empty. Wow, they just straight up turn off your radio. Okay. Okay, well, the game's not over, so that's something. I was like, man, only three weapons? They Or only three cards? They really did... They really did shortchange it. Alright, next mission. Metal Gear 2. Ow! Fuck! God. What'll be your next retro game? Uh, Snatcher. Snatcher. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. That's a cool way to do it. Snatcher. And what do I do? Maybe I can throw a grenade on it? Shoot it? Nope. Can I walk next to it? I can. Okay. The hitboxes for the mines are actually pretty small. Am I getting a call if the battery's dead? The fuck? Are you fucking with me? It's 
kind of sounds like Blade Runner. Bom 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 bom. I haven't played Police Knots. No, not at all. I played Snatcher a little bit, and I really liked what I played a million years ago. Um, I'm excited to explore Police Knots as well. Smoke grenade? What the heck are you? Oh, got a battery. All right. I wonder if it auto equips. You have a favorite eight bit track. Oof. I like Castlevania 2's soundtrack a lot. There we go. The secret entrance must be somewhere on the grounds. Thanks. I'm glad I got a battery for that. Yeah, there's still mines around. Love that there's mines and three cards to juggle for every door. All right. Hey, rations. Fucking thank God. Remote control missiles. Nice. I wonder how many how many rations can I hold now? How exciting! This looks very Game Boy. Uh, Game Boy Color, maybe. We'll get there. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with Super Mario Brothers theme. Most of Super Mario Brothers 3 soundtrack is incredible. Final Fantasy Prelude. What is... TRCVR? Transceiver, I think. It's the radio. Oh yeah, Game Boy 8-bit shit is incredible. The sound hardware in the Game Boy is immaculate. Which is sad, because the Game Boy Advance kind of sucks ass. In terms of audio. Six food. I bet I can carry nine. But you lose health so fast in this game, man. Hey, Ronnie. Mega Man 3 and 2 have some incredible, incredible bangers and blasters. Oh yeah, Iron Sword. Yeah, all of David Wise's stuff. Did you finally beat those five guys? I did. And I beat... I beat another boss that was three guys. Okay, so nine rations is the max for now. And battery. Battery is an item? Oh, it's just there. I didn't have it before, but now I have it. Contra, yeah. yeah. Nick says to be careful of John. <gasps> be careful of John, says Nick. Well, why do we trust Nick? I like that there's no guards. That's a nice break. It's it's a bit tedious that it's been replaced with mines and card swapping for a bit, but I I'll take that. Oh, what is this? Oxygen tanks. Okay. I thought they did I didn't think they looked like that. Five. 
Oh, um, fucking, what is it? I think, like, there's like a, there's some game show NES game that has just a blast in tunes, and I'm trying to remember which one it is. It's like Concentration or Anticipate, something like that. Yeah, there's some NES tracks that just fucking rip up. Go way hard. Oh, way harder than they have a, a right to. All right. Still got batteries. So yeah, let me triple check this door. Pictionary. I think that was the one I was thinking of. Yeah, okay, that doesn't open. So I'm gonna guess I have to like bomb my way in with plastic explosive. Or maybe try a wall. Start testing walls in interior rooms. They really do not need to fucking just like randomly assign cards. They could have just made every door here card one, two, or three. The only reason not to is to make the players swap a lot. And I don't know what the what the goal is there. Now I'm worried that it won't read unless I'm punching. Like, knives won't count. Or maybe this isn't the... Yeah, this 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 little, like, structure may just be that one room and that's it. So I might have to start testing exterior walls. Pictionary, Tim Fallen. Yes, thank you. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. They wouldn't put a mine directly in front of a wall that I need to explode, would they? They wouldn't do that. It was two, it was one. remote control missiles, but I haven't seen a reason to use them. I should swap. I don't... There's no dudes around, so let me... Just for the sake... It's making the same sound. So that's comforting. No, um, I don't know if this game does this. I've never, there's never been an abominable wall in this game yet. So it may not do that even as a design thing. You gonna play Star Wars Battlefront Collection tonight? No. I already did. Ow! I dicked, I dicked around with Battlefront 1 and 2 as part of my prequel thon. There's still a few games short of being complete, but. That's life. <laughs> Who can resist the siren call of Kojima? It said secret entrance. That's the only thing that implies a bombable wall.
So there's plastic explosive in this room. Yeah, it could be a sandbag bombable. Maybe it's on the ground. Maybe. Maybe. That'll be the next thing. I'll, I guess I'll just start bombing random shit. I mean, those sandbags are kind of suspicious, huh? Oops. Oh, Jennifer's got something to say. You are far from me, so the radio signal is still weak. All right, well, we're getting closer to Jennifer, even though we are yet still far from her. Whoever she is. Probably Jennifer Lawrence. Whoa, 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 hey! The fucking man's hiding under there. Oh, d Okay. Okay. Where's it gonna re- No way, bro! Well, I mean, it's- I guess it's not that bad. I just have to, like, pick all the- fuck! Pick all the items back up. Uh... Maybe I- yeah... Maybe I get a bunch of... fucking... Uh... Uh... okay. I go get a bunch of rations. It feels like I'm supposed to hide behind something. I wonder if I can blow up these sandbags. Feels like I'm supposed to hide behind something and hit him with remote missiles. Feels like what they're going for. What? Okay. Okay. Every sandbag has a missile guy. Hiding. certainly complicates matters. Are they all entrances? Or is that just like, that's not the right one, essentially? Oh, fuck off. I'm gonna guess that yeah, one of these sandbags is like a is a, is a ladder down instead of a rocket man. Uh, it's kind of useless to farm up a ton of rations before I have an elevator or like a at least a checkpoint that I can control. Heads peeking out. They're so excited. Now's their time. So what? I'm trying to remember what else was in these doors because it was nothing new. I don't think. Oh, well, this guy's important, I guess. Definitely don't want to forget about him. A 
lot of sick bags. This one, this one had oxygen tanks, I believe. bomb on that wall that looks like a sealed door which I'm not familiar with the wall you are describing really liking the collab with you and Kasim and Bruce if you had the choice to pick what would your dream team be uh Thomas Edison Uh, Oscar Wilde. Orson Welles. Not seeing a door. How fuck. Okay, so I think these are gonna be... Uh, these will probably be the last sandbags, I think. Yeah, they just both have dudes in them. I think I've tried every sandbag now. So I might have to, like, sandbag and then try to kill them, and then maybe it'll turn into a hole I can- I can't drop bombs on them, which is interesting. Ugh. And, and what's- what's extra interesting is there's no ammo here. It's just, uh, missiles. That's kind of it. Missiles and explosives. What's annoying is their missiles... Okay, it just turns into rubble. Can I shoot? Can I punch their missiles, maybe? That'd be cool. I don't want to have to, like... It'd be silly to have to swap. Ah, wrong button. Fuck me. Huh? What? Didn't that work before? Maybe I- oh no, I, I guess I detonated it- ugh, god fucking shit. <sighs> Use explosives and then missiles, god. Weapon. Is this gonna race the bomb if I swap? It did! Is that game's doing anything this Friday for the indie showcase thing? What is the indie showcase thing? There's a lot of indie showcase things. That oh, I shot myself. Oh, you can shoot them while they're hiding in their their cubby. Okay, I thought you could only shoot them when they were popped out. Um, unlikely. Games media is is a fickle bitch. It only really behooves you to spend time on things that people are already excited about, which kind of creates this this spiral where uh, games media is dependent on marketing spend to increase awareness of the products that they kind of report on. Anyway, long story short, is there an indie game in there that everybody's buzzing about? Uh, so yeah, all they're giving me right now is rations, rockets, and bombs. So I'm gonna guess I have to unearth and destroy all these rocket mans until I find the path forward. Hello, Joe. Wait, not yet. Oh, shit. Ah! Is, is so silly. 
Hello, hello, Joe. Nine G. Look on your left. Next to door looks like a, oh that little like extrusion from the wall. I guess. I mean I can try it. Why not? But that would just be the room. Like that. That's the room I can already go inside. I don't know if this game obeys any kind of map logic, but. Okay. Well, you have to reshoot your Friday, or you have to reshoot your video. Didn't have a script and it seemed too slow. Yep. Preparing some notes always helps. Okay, upper left screen cleared. Oh, there we go. It's a hole now. Uh, it's a hole though. <laughs> Which means I probably can't climb back out. Um, I'm gonna go get more rations and then come back. I have to equip the detect mines to cross the screen safely so that I can then swap to the appropriate key. Okay. Five bucks says you die if you go in the hole. It's the only thing that's not like the others though. That looks like a secret entrance. Yes, good luck, Turbid. I'm sure you'll you'll break break a leg, as they say. Alright, time for the hole that very much will definitely not kill me. Did not stock up on air. Who's this guy? He's dead now. There's like new new sprites for the enemies? That's cool. Let me guess. Let me guess. A door won't open now. Outsanity, or sorry, Captain, thank you for gifting a sub. Yep. Thank you for uh, for being a man of your word. Poning up those five bucks. That's about five bucks. Yeah, no, it's... Yep, great. One-way door. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, now I know the score. Uh, now I need to stock up on plastic explosives and air tanks. Just like Metal Gear logic is you need to you need to get max of whatever is available to you at any time. Because there will probably be a boss that needs maximum minus one of whatever item it is. Oxygen tanks. Can 
the blocky walls be blown up like sandbags? You mean these? Maybe, but I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of immaterial because they're only gonna put one way to progress in. And we found it. Oh, fuck, I did it too early again. Alright. I got all the air in the world. It's like my own personal microwave tunnel. Stealth Infiltration. That's pretty cool. Leap! I ate both of them! Maybe you can, like, crouch and stab them? you for real oh do it just constantly irritates the water huh What do I do about this guy? Fuck! Alright, well, I guess we'll just move Whoa! Move on through. Oh! Oh! Oh, right, you fuckers. Fuck off! Ugh. Whatever. They're giving me air so I can go back, which I don't like. This is uh, on the NES, Anthony. This is the NES exclusive kind of offshoot knockoff Metal Gear. Snake's Revenge. I still don't know what he's getting revenge for or on whom. But he's getting it. Look at him. That's the face of a man who's getting revenged. Avengenced. Well, it's an elevator. Okay. It's going to be tedious, but I don't think it'll be hard. Also, I think I can just sort of ration feed my way through since I can get infinite rations. Wait a m Oh yeah, no, I have enough air. Okay.
I'm wearing his vengeance pants. Put on his extra stretchy vengeance pants? Bullshit! The fucking grades come back. And I can't... You have to have the gun equipped? You have to have the gun equipped to deploy plastic explosive. Because if you have the knife equipped, you'll stab when you're crouched. Okay. Say the game's grinding your penis right now. Hmm. A little bit. A little bit. Why is that one dude so, like, unique? A little worrisome. <laughs> Why does he have baby lungs? I don't know. He's got too much muscle mass. He burns through a lot of oxygen moving that, moving that beef around. All right, where the fuck was the radio, or with battery? Was it in here? Yeah. Thanks on that pack a day training. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got the battery. I'm full on, full on rations. I need to re-get a lot of air. I think maybe I can skip plastic explosive. Back in action. Hey, JJ Cure 1015. Thank you for the raid. set up an alert for raids. They're happening more and more these days. Thank you very much. Get a little shout out action going. How was, uh, how was your stream? What were you playing today? Oh, they're, they're moving in different directions this time. Way more, yeah. Wow. Way more doable. Combat. 
probably faster to go up. Yeah, here we go. Three. Hell divers for about five to six hours, then wizard with a gun for another six or so. Nice. That's a good pair. How is wizard with a gun? A lot of boomer shooters. I, I, that is kind of boomer shootery, isn't it? Such a good title. Such a good concept. Okay. I'm all aired up. I have a fair amount of rations. I can answer this phone call now that my iPhone's charged. I've been captured in the transport train, but have set up the transmitter. Oh, is there going to be a train? That'd be sick. We've been warned Nick may not be on the level. Horrible streams. Thanks for the sub. 17 months going to Universal Studios Hollywood next weekend. Ever been? Anything in the area to check out? Tons. Uh, yeah, Universal Studios is fun. Um, in the area. Uh, depends what you're looking for. I think there's a Porto's up there now. If you want, like, some incredible food. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, that's up in Studio City. What else is in that area? Yeah, that's, that's kind of in the... That's in a charming, like, there's a charming stretch of the valley kind of left to that. You're, you're kind of near a lot of stuff there. It depends, it depends what you're, if you're driving, do you feel like taking an Uber? Do you want to, do you want to just walk? Uh, well, I don't know that there's anything walkable from Universal Studios, but... Um, but yeah, there's some cool stuff around there. It depends what you're into. Griffith Observatory, Lackman's down in LA proper. There's a lot, there's a lot of like glitzy shit in West Hollywood, if that's what you're looking for. The like, all the reality show shit is kind of in West Hollywood. We'll be in the area, likely Uber. Okay. Yeah, it just depends what your, what your Uber fare tolerance is. Oh, food racks? Uh, yeah, Porto's is pretty is pretty popular in the area. Um, let me see here. The thing is, in the valley, like, there's... It depends how far you want to go again, but there's, like, a ton of just, like, smaller cafes and restaurants and stuff. A lot of good bars, too. Yeah, I think, I think Porto's would be my recommendation to a... Let me, let me make sure that I'm not making it up. That there is one in that area. Okay, yeah, there's one in Glendale. Wait. Okay, yeah. Glendale might be the closest one. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, ridic Hollywood, West Hollywood is ridiculous. Holly Hollywood is pretty, oh, the train is beginning to move. Yes, train level. I'm Googling for fans. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not giving out bad bad recommendations or, or ones that are impractical. Um, yeah, there's some stretches in West Hollywood that are pretty walkable and uh, can be really fun at night. Uh, Hollywood is super touristy. If you feel like if you feel like doing kitschy tourist stuff, it's pretty good. There's like a I like the makeup museum. That's pretty fun. Uh, there's a wax museum, you know, just like. A lot of gift shops that sell little Oscar figurines. The Hollywood Walk, I... Oh, whoa! The Hollywood Walk, I think, is pretty boring, but... Ow, fuck, what the fuck? Yep! Did they hurt you as soon as they start fading in? Who puts this on a train? What the fuck, man? What's the goal here? Oh, this is awesome. Hollywood proper is less ridiculous and actually super sick IMO. They're there for a few years. Always great food. Always shows going on. 
Yeah, yeah. If you're like Hollywood Boulevard is its own thing, or that stretch of Hollywood Boulevard, but it, it can be a pretty like fun scene. I'd say it's probably good for like twenty somethings that don't mind living in a in a closet and like going out to a bunch of like smaller music shows and, and local performances and stuff. I'm in the third car. There are no enemies here. So yeah, if if you wanna, if, well, people have kind of mourned the death of the dive bar in Hollywood because there was a pretty good, like there was Powerhouse and a couple of other spots that were like still cheap and kind of dank. Those have been kind of remade to look more modern, maybe more tourist friendly. So I don't know that you're gonna get like sub $10 cocktails in Hollywood anymore. Um, but but if you if like if you have the wallet for it, you can go to some pretty ridiculous drinking spots. A lot of uh, it is fun to people watch. If you can go to a spot, if you can if you can like afford to be at a, or if you don't mind paying for it, if you can be at like one of the more ridiculous places. I took away the dank. There are plenty of dank bars in LA still, but they they kind of flee away from any area that's that's gentrifying. I don't know that Hollywood is gentrifying so much. Oh, you have been trapped. <laughs> Who is this? Is this Nick? Oh yeah, Irv's. Irv's is a very historical burger joint. Um, We used to go there all the time when we worked at Machinima, actually. Uh, Yeah, Irv's is good. Irv's is a good solid, like, affordable... Salt of the Earth, American Bedrock Burger, Hamburger Mary's is the opposite of that. Very expensive, but it's a, it's like a drag burger spot. Um, you can sit in a giant heeled shoe and eat a burger. So that's fun. How's Harold? Harold's doing okay. Hold on a minute, actually. Harold's been codec call for Harold. Harold's arms have become even more outstretched. What's interesting is they're kind of bumpy and wavy. You know? This one on the left here is kind of corkscrewing? But the main nubbin doesn't appear to have changed at all. Which is interesting. I was kind of hoping the main nubbin would keep like, growing up. It does seem to have curved towards the sun a smidge. So I don't know. Maybe I can like, trim the arms? I don't want to. I Like, I don't want to, but maybe I snip them off and replant them, and then they kind of grow as their own little nub and spires. Yeah, he's waving. Yeah, it's getting close to being a cactar. I'm definitely not, like... I don't know, it'd be fun to, like, try to grow succulents into video game shapes. Oh! He's using my tools against me! I guess the only thing I'm I'm likely to have at this point is missiles, so I'll use that. Dead. Dropped a ration. Was that Nick? Oh, shwoop! I got fully Kojima'd. Remember what this is? There is no trap on the train. Okay, so they're trying to do the big boss stuff from one. Um, Night Jams, thanks for the sub. hurt you even when they're fading. Did he really think this was going to work on 
solid snake. I've been betrayed too many times, pal. Oh, they give you grenades. Okay. Oh yeah, Fat Sal's? Holy shit. Yeah, Fat Sal's is really good. Fat Sal's is, yeah, like Joe Malik. The fuck? Said said pretty directly. It's it's a it's a stoner sandwich place. I've only been there once. It's amazing. I don't know that I could survive another trip. There hasn't been an ammo crate in the game for a long time. many bolts I can hold on rank three, but let's find out. If you want uh, something truly ridiculous, just like ornately just to ornate out the ass. Look up Barton G. That is another WeHo establishment. Um, that is, that is like kind of a. It it basically embraces all the ridiculousness of of like theatric LA dining. Everything comes out. There's like there's like screens and things. There's a there's a lawnmower that things get served on. Um, it's still, it's still quite kitschy, but a, a slight step up the dining ladder is a place called Yamashiro. It is a Japanese spot. Oh, we got another one. You have been trapped. Ha ha ha. Sure. Ooh. Yeah, it's uh, it's up in the Hollywood Hills, basically. So it has a really incredible view of L.A. Food's really good. There's even like a few scenic overlooks you can take photos at and things like that. So, does your knowledge, or does your West Coast knowledge extend to Portland, Oregon? No, oh. not at all. I've never even been to Portland. This is this is technically the third car, right? Let's see if anyone has anything to say. Oh, John. Hurry up. I'm hiding from the enemy while transmitting. Now, John is a good guy. Nick is the one we got to worry about. Oh, what the hell is this? An X-ray camera. Is that considered equipment? It is. Okay, you just see the screen you're you're looking at. Yeah, it's a train. We're on a train. Fuck. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't you save Nick and he said not to trust John? Is that how it works? I don't remember. I guess you x-ray without walking into the room. 
I don't think so, because you can't move when the x-ray is out. Oops. What did I just do? Hold on. It's normal to me. So yeah, I guess I have to get the key card to get in the room where John is. Wait. John. 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 Yeah, John. That's who we're after. Definitely said not to trust John. Okay, never mind. That was close. Espionage is a difficult game. Mm -hmm. Jump off the coupler between cars when the train stops. Okay, that's kind of cool. I feel like I need to use the x-ray lens on every screen now until I see something weird. Yeah, why would I trust Nick? What has Nick done for me? The very beginning of the whole train. Kojima got me. Kojima got me. The thing is you, maybe that's how you can see the holes if you use the x-ray. But that's like, anyone who thinks about that for five seconds knows that, knows that that's fucking dumb. What's the implication? That like every single screen you walk into, you have to go into the menu, equip the x-ray, stare at the whole screen for a second, and then go back and unequip it. What happens if I just do this? Oh. All right. Okay. I guess if I see any suspicious item just waiting to be picked up, that should set off my detector. I don't know if I have to kill those dudes in the... In those rooms. Does that matter? These are the rooms that have the dudes in them. I do need to find the x-ray again. Ah. I don't think, I don't think knives work. was too, too wrapped up in my stabbing. Uh, you know what? I gotta take a snack break. The, the gnawing of my tummy is, is getting to me, so I'm gonna have a little, a little, uh, yogurt, little yogurt parfait. Yeah, good time for a gamer stretch, too. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. False start. We're good, though. Okay, so if I, if I break the train down, Come on, ride the train and ride it woo woo. It seems like, um, I need to run to the back, get the card, and run back, open the, open the one door. Um, I need the x-ray, I guess. And I don't remember what room that's in. God, it's so much freaking card juggling. Hey, Bob plays. 
Uh, I'm doing okay. I just had a little break, so I'm refreshed. Had a nice little yogurt parfait with granola. Did some stretching, got some water. Uh, did laundry. That was the other thing that took a while. I'm not done yet. I have one more load, but... First load was the biggest. That's what they always say. I thought this was the first one. I don't think the first one is a brainwashed captive. No, grenades. Woo -woo. I thought this was a hostage room, but but I think I went into the third one. wrong. Good. Does he respawn? He does. Okay. So this is a way to get food, I suppose. Killed me. Okay, I'll just have to refresh my memory about what all these stupid rooms are. A lot of them are skippable. That's the takeaway. Uh huh. I need a few. I might as well get a few bullets. Fuck! Got all my grocery shopping done, including a bottle of Jameson. Weekend plans set. See you at the bottom of the bottle. I took it maximum easy today. Didn't didn't lift weights this morning. I guess there's still time. I need to get in the habit of like. I tend to, to think of like if I miss my my window, and it's like I'll just have to wait until tomorrow then. But I can I could do it in the afternoon if I want. In the evening even. I don't know. I used to work out like exclusively at night. It was like the last thing I did before I went to bed because I I used to have all this nervous energy at night. It helped me sleep. It helped me kind of process the day's events. It was kind of meditative. But these days, I'm completely the opposite. I love working out in the morning. And then then I kind of have that that sort of... I can carry that post-workout euphoria for a while into the day, which is really nice. Euphoria is a really strong word for it. It's more like a... More like a fuck, that's done. Oh, right, another one of these guys. It's interesting that when I pick those rations up, it doesn't ha pop up the window saying you got a ration. It just lets me pick it up unharassed. So the game does have the ability to uh, to drop items from from enemies. They just don't do it. They just choose not to. I think this might be where the X-ray was. Yeah. Yeah. Night jam. Sense of accomplishment. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, my uh, my post-workout euphoria used to be a lot more physical, but these days it's far more cerebral. It is like, I mean, I still do get like kind of a body high, more like body relaxation just from a good workout. But oh yeah, that's the that's card four right there. But it is it is sort of more like good. I've like, I, I was responsible today. It kind of feels more like that. This is another one I couldn't open. Oh, nice. I don't remember what he said. Probably wasn't important. Post oh no! Holy fuck. I got distracted by uh pressing statement that post-nut clarity is real. It is. X-ray doesn't even reveal that. Shit. <sighs> okay. How's that? How is that for a fuck you? 
The only way to know it's there is to straight up walk into it. It is designed to get you. So there's, there's ways that this game gets you that are just like omission of thought. And then there's ways that are very explicit. Even things like having a card one door. I don't know if I have any more gas. I think it just says don't shoot. Yes. Get ready to huff, boy. Don't shoot. I don't know anything. And why are you here? Hold on. Maybe I can x-ray him. Nothing. So it's like, they put, they put a card one door next to a card three door. Because you're unlikely to just jump to one, so they're kind of guaranteed you're going to fuddle with the inventory a little more. And then also it's for completely nothing. You have to use an item in a door that you had to fumble with cards to get into to get nothing. Kojima. <sighs> I was... I was... This game had less card shuffling at the outset. Wait a minute. Is this door not open? What? Weird. It can't be card four. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Quickly, release my rope. I'm just mad at myself now. Now I'm just mad at me. <sighs> uh, God damn. God damn it. I still don't fully remember which door had the x-ray behind it. like a bulletproof vest or anything which is kind of kind of a bummer i think it's this room yeah. are these mg playthroughs in preparation for metal gear solid 3 remake no not really more death stranding 2 to be honest i'm way more excited for that than solid 3 remake but i am excited to replay solid 3 don't get me wrong i love that game Solid 3 is actually like... Solid 3 and then Solid 4 on an emulator at 60 FPS. Those are some highlights that I'm very much looking forward to. I mean, it'll be cozy to play through Solid again. Solid's a fun ride. Looking forward to Snatcher and Police Knots, because I, I know less about those games. Oh, there was another... Shit, there was another hostage that I didn't free. Shit, I need to... That's in one of the stupid doors, isn't it? I will absolutely play Twin Snakes. There's no instead. I'm just gonna play Twin Snakes. I don't know why people don't like Twin Snakes. I think it's because it's even campier. But people can't people can't wrap their heads around the fact that Solid is is really campy to begin with. All right, you fucker. All right, you fucker. I'm going to get your ass. Release my rope. Don't worry, brother. 
I know what it's like to have a pinup rope. Shit! Okay, I couldn't tell if it was up or down. Oh, he hurt me! I am not John Turner! I'm a spy! I'm shocked you got so far! Now prepare to die! Alright. He got us, folks. Maybe I can x-ray him. Nope. He's in, he's in action pose, though. He's ready for it. Yeah. I was hoping he was gonna call himself the Shocker. I don't know why I keep looking at the Game Boy. Oh! It's actually, like... It's actually pinging on this guy. I don't... Sorry. Being on... Wait, being on GameCube made some people mad? But was it put on anything else? No. As far as I know, Twin Snakes is a, is a GameCube original. Exclusive. Alright, what are we gonna... Fuck, I didn't pick up any ammo. Alright, this kid's getting the missiles then. Whoa! Fuck! Why do they extend your life bar if he kills you in two hits? <sighs> I got shocked, you're right. You fully shocked me. Can't wait. You're pretty good. Can't wait to see the president grab Raiden's balls. <laughs> Great moments in gaming. Uh, I can't remember if there's a there is another tied up hostage somewhere. First person shooting pretty much breaks Twin Snakes, but it's still got the Giga Dumb cutscenes anyway, so it still rocks. Yeah, it, it does rocks. The only thing I'm bummed about, but I get it. And it's, it's kind of funny because nobody complained at the time, but they would now probably? Is they toned down the accents massively in, uh, in Twin Snakes, which I maintain was a bummer. I thought the, I thought the performances were like technically better in Twin Snakes. But the performances in Original Solid are too, too perfectly part of its experience. Feels a little sterile in Twin Snakes. And then, yeah, I remember using first person shooting in like the Revolver Ocelot fight. And yeah, you can just dome him. It's easy. So, I don't know. That fight wasn't like mechanically very satisfying in the first place, though. So I don't know that a whole lot's lost in the process. What's the worst AAA game you've ever played? Gameplay was unsatisfying, writing nonsensical, and the visuals off-putting. We're talking Transformers 2 levels of trash, Duke Nukem Forever. I kind of like Duke Nukem Forever. I don't know, I'm pretty permissive when it comes to games. Um, the games that... The games that bug me are the ones that are just, like, so soulless. Um, Mass Effect 3 honestly comes to mind. Dragon Age 2, maybe? Just, like... Extremely naked profiteering or or just like trading away any kind of artistic interest or merit purely for what's immediately satisfying to the audience. Abandoning any kind of like personality or creativity just for whatever works right now, just to sell copies. That's the only thing that kind of gets under my skin. I can I can kind of forgive a lot of other stuff. Oh wait, no, I have <laughs> Spy like, Spider-Man still has appeal for how fucking stupid it is. And Spider-Man, at least, is such a technical... Such a technical marvel, pun partially intended, that it it's entertaining despite its absurdity. What bugs me more about Spider-Man is, like, just everyone kind of... Everyone thinking it's high-class entertainment. Or that it's, like, it's doing something original or, or shocking or progressive at all. That's what, that's what is baffling to me. If everyone acknowledged Spider-Man for the giant, incomprehensible clusterfuck of nothing that it is, it wouldn't be so baffling to me. I, 
Uh, it's still a fun experience, though, and maybe that's me overthinking it. Maybe everybody else is just like, it's fun. Shut up, nerd. It's fun. Yeah, recent Ubisoft games have not been great. Skull and Bones. Probably not. I don't know. It's it's hard for me to get offended at a AAA game. Um, I don't know. Last of Last of Us Part Two. It, it, it's tough to say because it's like, it's actually that's one of those games that's technically astounding, and all the all the consummate parts are really really good, and even the gameplay itself is fun when you're allowed to play the game. But everything contextually about the game is so off-putting. <laughs> Okay, what I've learned this time is there is only one hostage. Gameplay was great, riding was shit. Yeah. Yeah. And performances were mismatched a lot of the times. The performers were like doing their Shakespearean best with without a whole lot of smirk which bugs me because Miss Mr. Lee like Mr. I, I I commented on this repeatedly while playing the game but like only a few performers I don't I don't think like Spider-Man himself or even Mary Jane should have smirks they shouldn't be smirky they should be in it but everyone else around them should be in on the joke a little bit with as stupid as the story is people need to be in on the joke Otherwise, you get this weird situation where the audience thinks it's like, thinks it's actually good, because they've been they've been tricked into it. They've been fooled. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty permissive. Uh, Starfield uh, was just kind of. I would say, like, disappointment more than being just like, oh, how dare they? But a little bit of how dare they? A little bit. When it came to the marketing and the sales pitches, I was like, how dare you say that? How dare you just lie? And it's working, and that's, that's just baffling to me. I mean, I don't blame uh, marketing or Todd for saying any of the things he did. But, like, for real. If, you, if you're, like technical dudes, if your engine level guys could not figure out how to make like space flight work maybe don't say that like players don't care about it I don't know, to me that rubbed me the wrong way, I was like wow that is that is some real shit spin he's covering for his team, so he's doing the right thing our, our mathematicians were not good enough to like get a 10 year old game feature into Starfield okay, but don't fucking say it doesn't matter I don't know, there's a better way to spin that, and that bugged me. That felt like, you, okay, now you're just like, you think you can say whatever, and everybody will buy it. You can come up with a better lie than that. And then, yeah, just a lot of the marketing about Starfield. The marketing was pushing an image that the game didn't, like a soul that the game did not have. I didn't... Aside from some flourishes of the music, I don't get an ounce of, like, interstellar joy from that game. Not, not, uh, not at a little shred. No, like, genuine boisterous joy of space and exploration. Maybe it's because the exploration in that game is so pointless. So it's like, if somebody can't play this game and understand that it doesn't deliver on its core philosophy. Yeah, NASA punk. God. The idea that anything about Starfield even remotely is punk at all. Starfield might be the least punk game I've ever played. It is toothless. It seeks only to make you happy. It's the least punk thing. God. Mm. Yeah, the cube snacks were good. We love our chunks. There was a quest to get chunk sauce, and I liked the idea, but the writing again was straight garbo. I brought the chunk sauce back and the guy was like, thanks. Doink. Couldn't even like wax philosophic about how delicious this sauce is going to be. 
erstwhile statement about how, like, life in commodified space is only made more interesting by a sauce? Nope. Just, thanks! Doink! 25 XP or whatever. Boink! Was it too hard? To just write a little bit about the sauce? Was it so complicated? NPCs were too chummy to the player? Yeah, because it's a player- it's a player masturbation game. Everyone's nice to you. Everyone tells you that you're awesome all the time. Release my rope. Should I shoot him? I don't remember. Okay. Okay. He hurts you when you let him go, though. You're an idiot! I'm not John Turner! Also, just like, hiding the standard set of Bethesda activities behind a grind. What? Wow, that did a lot of damage. Fuck! I thought I could take one hit and be fine, but I can't. It does more than half my health, so if I have any damage at all, I can get one shot. That's how I have to think about it. Fuck me! <sighs> Why do they do this, man? Why do they gotta do this, man? <sighs> I'm just... well, I guess we'll see. I... so far... Even though... even though things like that kind of... kind of pain me a little bit whenever... We're back, we back. We back, you back, we back. Sorry about that. OBS through an NVENC error, which is fresh. I've never seen one of those before. Encoding, shut down. NVIDIA said you're done. Which is ironic because AMD partnered with Starfield. Yeah, how about that, Starfield? Man, didn't even look that good, ran like booty. Well, booty is strong, but still. Gosh. I'm just baffled. No new f like, n it didn't do anything new. Oh wait, no, I don't wanna get tricked. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We, we move on, we move on. Huh. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is right there. Dragon's Dogma 2, right around the corner. Do you think it's time? Will people play Dragon's Dogma 2 and be like, oh, this is the real deal? Provided that Dragon's Dogma 2 is the real deal. We don't know that it is yet. I have to, I have to hope. Have to hope and pray. Why does Snake look like Ryu in this? Cause he's fucking beefed out, man. He's fucking huge. This is uh, a Metal Gear for the United States. So Snake is huge. I picked up the x-ray. Yeah, Captain, I, I want to believe Capcom's productions have been so high, high caliber. But I have faith that they'll execute Dragon's Dogma 2. Captain, I wanted a, a thought occurred to me. I was, I was musing about how uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 had that just ridiculously but tantalizingly absurd uh, game over system? Or if you got like a bad ending, you'd have to start over or new game plus. The idea being that you you really would have to drill the game a couple times and find all of its secret corners to get a true ending. Um, now, I'm wondering, did they... You think they're gonna do that again with Dragon's Dogma 2? I hope so. That would be really exciting if there's a game that's got a little more scale and heft, like a little, maybe a little more awareness of Dragon's Dogma 2. 
and also just gaming in general is is the scope has exploded. How how exciting would it be if over the first couple of days of the game's release, people are comparing notes about endings they're getting and new routes they're finding and, and different like criteria and flags you have to satisfy. I don't know if they're going to go full FromSoft with it. I don't know if that's even a good idea, but it's very exciting to think about. Okay, I'm going to let me see if I can just blast his ass. Nope. So you have to touch him and take damage. You're going to make Vin Diesel in Dragon's Dogma 2? Yes. I want to be Last Witch Hunter Vin. That's the idea. I should I should download the character creator. Or actually, uh, I'm glad you brought that up. If I may impose, because I have to admit, I don't know if my character creator skills are quite up to snuff, given the legacy of Vins we've had here on the channel. If anyone in chat wants to create a Last Witch Hunter era Vin Diesel, it can be the bearded one or the modern day one. Um, I'm not picky, but I, I don't know if you can share characters, but uh, there's a lot of sliders, but if you could like do that and then like maybe like screenshot all the sliders and shit, you know? Although I don't know if you can do that in Dragon's Dogma. Because you like, you start with a face and then kind of like spiral off of it though. So I don't know if you can just like set a bunch of sliders and get the exact same face. Anyway. Oh God, that's so much damage. I don't, okay. I'm going to run across the screen again because I think touching him is doing so much more damage than just getting sh getting hit with a, with a mine. Yeah, that does like four. Fuck! Hey, Samurai Spartan. Ugh. The fuck is that? I got a powered armor. What? Power armor. The fuck does that mean? I got a cyber suit? The train stopping. Okay, I need to go back and get the x ray actually, if it'll let me. Are all the guards gone? That would be nice. Ray Fox! It's weird because all the references to fighting Gray Fox are in a minefield. But it's more of a mine room? That was surreal. What the? Oh, the doors don't open now. Wow, well, I guess I'm not getting the fucking x-ray. Maybe it wasn't in there. What? Oops. <laughs> Forgot I had a fast forward button on the shoulder. that I forgot. Doesn't seem like any of the interior doors open anymore. Pretty sure it was that room, too. Sorry about this late communication. The military operation is a go. What have we been doing this whole time? Okay. Plasti explosives.
I'm worried about not getting that that x-ray. I'm gonna guess there's maybe just something that's easier if you have it. Yeah, I like me a good train level too. Oh yeah, man. Shadows of the Empire? Oh, what? Weird. Oh, power. Power suit, maybe. Yeah, Shadows of the Empire had a really good train level. I want to play Shadows of the Empire, man. The PC version that has the weird FMVs? No? Just a very suspicious rock, but there's nothing behind it, so it doesn't matter. On the train? Nope. Wait a minute. Maybe I have to bomb it multiple times? This is it. You ever put a coin on the train track? I think I did that, but with, like, abandoned train tracks in my neighborhood, so nothing ever happened. That's it. Dude. Oh, I used all my rations. Cool. Okay. The wall weak points is why you wanted the x-ray. Ah. Is it not, is there no way to see it apart from that? Like it doesn't do the, the wall punching thing? Doesn't seem like it. God, that sucks. Push the boulder thing if you have the armor on. I think I tried pushing into it, but I can try again. It is an awfully suspicious rock. Oh god, you just have to hold it for a while. Okay. It doesn't move. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Sisyphean. It doesn't move if you just, like, nudge it for a while. You just have to hold... Like, this game doesn't give you the proper, like, feedback you need. Oh, whatever. <laughs> this game rules. Uh. 
thanks for your service. Alright, that's it. Yeah, I guess if you had the x-ray and you could see that this is a bombable wall, it would make it much more clear that the rock has to move. Probably just gonna happen again as soon as I put a bomb. Dude. So they had you go from a boss fight to an area with forced alarms without giving you any health recovery. Is what they did. This is, this is what they did. Okay, let me think about this. Just have to like not get hit, I guess. Wrong button. Fuck you. Ugh. What? <sighs> I keep, I keep thinking that maybe fucking shit won't hurt me, but it does. Ugh. I think I can just run across the screen. They'll just get me or spawn inside of me. I think I do need to, to like figure out a way to, to screen transition and then immediately get into a spot where I can just knife them as they spawn. Uh, okay, well, I guess there's not going to be any... 
going to be any mans on this screen, so that's something. Oh. Binoculars. <sighs> Optic lens, of course. Okay. Door up and a door down. Hey, Ferret King. Good to see you. Hope life's good. This game is torture. But I'm I'm getting somewhere. Slowly. Uh Whoa, a shotgun? Cool. No shells. Fantastic. That's fantastic. <sighs> Get out of here. Oh wait, I don't think I can, I don't think I can go back. I like how they have you do this, ostensibly like instant death if you fall. Okay. And this is all after like screens of dudes, forced alarms, a boss fight. Thanks for your help. Uh, I, uh, Finding more hostages along the way is very, uh, tedious. It only stacks the tedium because I know I'll have to get them all again when I die. Or risk missing them forever and potentially soft locking. Alright. Oh! Dropped ammo. So wait a minute. I'm trying to remember what's in those two rooms. It's air and something else. Yeah. Oh, right. We'll need that. <laughs> I would have quit when I fell in the hidden pit on the train. That's what they want you to do, though. The developers hate you, and they want you to have a bad time. And the only way to win is to force yourself to finish it out of spite. No, Peek, uh, Kojima was not involved with this game at all. Kind of why it's, a, it's the black sheep of the, of the series. Fuck. God, fuck, fuck! They like, uh, it's so annoying. Your knife only works at knife point, but they just stand inside of you. So there's, yeah, the shotgun is up, the hostage is down, and I should probably get both. I don't remember what fucking card they want. Yeah. 
remember it was a trolley one. to do the impossible transfer. Maybe I'll ride it back and forth a couple times and see if I can co collect the timing for it. Yeah, the, the music is super good. Oh! No complaints about the music. Well, there's that one track that's kind of annoying. Fuck. Shit, man. The second I blow this open, I'm just gonna get annihilated. Like the the string of shit I have to do is getting longer and longer. I'm wondering if I can make it to this room in time and duck in before the alarm stops sounding. If that'll cancel the alarm. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, I think I got it. I gotta... Okay, if I enter on the left side, I can go up, stab the guy, come back down and stab the spawn... the spawns before they get me. Fuck. Ugh. It's sword of hand! Fuck! They can... Ugh. They shoot at the most oblique angles, and the bullets just snake their way through and get you. I don't, I can't, I don't know how about that screen. Maybe, um, I have grenades? Shit. Maybe I can, like, try to huck grenades over a wall and clear the alert? I don't know. Shit. Yeah, be careful. Working animals is not safe on Twitch. Oh, someone was asking about the headphones I'm using. They are uh, Sennheiser HD 58Xs. I actually received them for free as part of a, a, an ad deal at Rooster Teeth. So, you know, hashtag disclosure and all that. Okay, at least there won't be active enemies trying to shoot me as soon as I knock down that wall. Yeah, they're very durable. I've been using them for years. I wonder if I... Mm, 
I wonder if I can grenade this guy. No, when you uh, when you bomb, it alerts no matter what. At least they can't spawn where I am. But I'm gonna have to kill this dude without taking a shot. Uh. Fuck, okay. The problem is, too, all the, um, all the angles here are bad for me. I guess I can maybe do this, but they can, like, shoot on a diagonal line and get me pretty easily that way. Grenades are good though. I should probably. I think they're. Wait. No, it's just plastic explosive and air. The five grenades are all I get. Ah. Uh, okay. Mm, hey, Jeremy. See if I can get my knife skills. Not bad. This next screen is, is way harder though. Fuck. I have more health than I did before. CD Media. How are you on this fine gamer's day? Did I miss Snacky Snack? Nope, we're snacking. I'm trying anyway. This game's brutal, man. No wonder I didn't make it very far as a kid. Although I have to admit, it's not like the game was dishonest. It's pretty much like this from the beginning. Do I want to clear? Mm, no, I'll save my I'll save my grenades for the other screen. If I can, um, it's that one dude who's gonna be mad at me, and he's gonna shoot at me as soon as the wall breaks. But. Maybe I can find a way to, to dodge him. It's just like a narrow hallway. I guess I could use a grenade on him. Sure. I mean, that's better than getting shot. What is, what is wrong with me? There. The menus are vexing. Okay, now do I clear the alert with grenades and then blow the wall up 
No, I probably want to have have the grenades for after I blow the wall up. Like, shit. Now that I've done that, I don't think I, I think the plastic ex explosive is gone because there's no way to cancel out of the menu. Hell yeah. Now we're snaking. Tactical espionage action. Ugh. Christ, what's gonna be next? Actually, you know what? I can check. Looks safe. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Ugh! I still get the buttons fucked up because the but the button mapping is bad. It actually swaps on it. <sighs> Look at that! Look at that shit! The angles they can hit, man. Do Twitch subs help you more or patrons for inside gaming? Um, are you me? It really just depends, like, what kind of content you want to support, I guess. I wouldn't worry too much about the individual revenue splits. On, on, on you know, just whatever. Fuck you! Fuck you! Ah, God damn it. I hate it. God. Damn it! Ah. Dickwad. Uh huh. Okay. I love it. I love it. Solid Snake. Metal Gear. If you stop to stab, the other guy definitely runs into you. Like, there's no way to get around it. I am officially 0% mad. This is all for show. It's all character. This is called a character. It's called character work. I am in character anytime I'm mad. I'm really annoyed that there's like... I'm annoyed that there's room for a lot of keys in there. That's annoying. Because I don't trust that this game will stop using like keys 1, 2, and 3. It'll just have all of the keys and all the doors will just be random bullshit because that's what this game thinks is fun Yeah, they give you shotgun with no ammo. You gotta just hold it for a while until you can find an ammo crate. if like it just has a an enemy counter and since I, I haven't recycled the alert I wonder if this means I have to kill less dudes now no I fucked it up <sighs> I keep wanting to swap there
Okay, okay. I'm still, I'm learning some, some angles to work here. I need to unequip anything that's loud so I don't accidentally drop a bomb. There, that's it. That's all I can do. Click. I'm shocked he didn't like stop short and then turn right. You fucker. You absolute shitbag. God damn, man. Claymores. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck you! Uh oh. None of my cards open it! Does that mean I have to bomb the sandbags again? Battleroid, thank you for the sub. Dude. Oh, thank God. You motherfucker. can't, um, can't, there's a man under there, okay. Uh. That might be a checkpoint? God, if it's a checkpoint. Uh, uh. You wanna know where the WoW comes from? It's from a shoot 'em up It's from a Konami shoot 'em up actually. I think it's uh, one of the, I'm blanking on the name right now. From like, it's not necessarily the the hyper beefy Konami shoot 'em ups, but it's like adjacent to that. I don't trust that room. That was the exit room before, so I'm gonna go to the right. But it didn't look like an elevator door either. Fucked. Yeah. I guess we'll see if that was a checkpoint. Mm, mm, mm. Really takes your breath away. Sometimes. Gonna get on the new tribes that hit early access today? Yeah, I already, I got it. I bought it. It's installed. I'm excited to check it out. And here I am torturing myself, not playing tribes. Proteus Da, that was it. Thank you very much. Thank you. There is a new tribes. Tribes three and early access. That's nice. That's repeatable. Okay, well, I'll try to... 
I'll go the other way this time and go out that door. See what's going on down there. I I worry that it's just going to it's going to dump me out of like a one-way door that I forgot was up here. And then that's going to be like that's going to be such an enduro run. This whole checkpoint, man, is going to suck dick. If they also want me to go through a 2D side scrolling segment, uh, with no checkpoint. Forced alarms, all after a boss fight. It's just, it's like every bad thing. Mm. Oh yeah, instant death pits. Also, yeah, if you throw a grenade near spawn, usually you can kill dudes and then the dudes that spawn in will run into the explosion too. Oh, well, I didn't get lucky that time. But. <sighs> no! Ah, I keep thinking it's going to be so cool to plant the explosive and then swap to the grenade. And every time, I am, I am a fool. Shimungi, thank you for the sub. What's up here for the no ads? I want to thank you for having a love for games as a 100% contagious and being a massive part of my life. Had you on in the background of most for uni. Have not done anything with my degree yet, but watching you again is reigniting that passion for games again. Nice. I do care a lot about games. I do love them. I'm glad that, uh... Oh, fuck! Mm, well, that's probably it. I'm glad that that is infectious. Because it is genuine. I'm, I, yeah, I'm screwed. Can't remember what's in here either. Oh, clays? I worry that if I go left and go up go out that door, it's just going to dump me out on the other side. That one door that doesn't open. Okay, well, I'm getting more consistent with this. Ah, oh, this is terrible. I have seen the first episode of Shogun, yeah. I need to watch more of it. I really liked it. Uh, let's see here. wonder if I get your opinion on something. Sure. Uh, one of my friends is from back home, South America, is moving, so he doesn't have that much cash right now. Really want to play Helldivers with him. I've heard buying it for him, but he's just like, nah, it's cool. I'm not even sure if I want it yet. I could gift it to him on Steam, but I'm not sure since it could be awkward. Well, if he doesn't want it, that, there's nothing really you can do. Um... If, if they're in the process of moving, they may just not have, like, the, the headspace for playing games at the moment. Um, don't know for sure, obviously, but... If, if they're usually into games like that, and, and you're, like, wondering why they won't get on the boat, then maybe you could just send some gameplay or something. Um... Oh yeah, the fisheye lens thing. That's that's such a look these days. Uh, it was I noticed it most heavily in um, Rebel Moon, which I wouldn't point to for good cinematography. But yeah, Shogun's doing it. Um, I saw poor things. Apparently, Yorgos uh, does that in all of his films, so that's not a new thing for him either. But yeah, I've seen it pop up a lot more. Bokeh, uh, like blur. Making things seem like, like kind of almost like storybook, 
I mean, that was, I think that was the intention for something like Rebel Moon, but, but yeah, it's been used a lot. I did like poor things quite a bit. Uh, it was basically like Frankenstein, but what if Frankenstein was hot? So it's, it's like, it's like a Frankenstein tale that more deals with the experience of being a hot woman in society versus being an outcast in society. So in a way, it's a little more feminist, a little more feminine leaning and telling its tale. I think it tells, uh, I think the experience that is represented in that film is, is one that a lot of dudes probably don't know, but, but being treated as like a grotesque monster, I think a lot of guys can probably understand a little more readily. But no, I liked it. I liked it. Um, a lot of sex during a phase in that movie, but I think contextually it all kind of balances out. For a minute, I was like, God, this reminds me of Bicentennial Man. Like a movie that seems to possess both childlike innocence, but also a weird, a weird sexual obsession at the same time. But I think the movie balanced out that pretty well. Um, the sections that are are loaded with sex are also loaded with hedonism of every kind. So it's not, it's not just like just that for that sake. It certainly fulfills a role, or it, it plays an important part. Yeah. So anyway, I liked it. Um, it took me a while. I wasn't I wasn't on board immediately. Hmm. If you mix Young Frankenstein and the Lighthouse, interesting. Yeah, I guess it it had moments of that like kind of dialogue based humor, and, like dialogue based dark humor. All right. Oh, you think they're hiding using that to hide some poorer CG? I could see that. If you're if you're using CG to like fill in a landscape or something, or you're like putting an ancient Japanese village in the background with a computer, yeah, if you fuzz it out, you probably don't have to work nearly as hard to make it look make make it look passable. Could be. I don't know. That that stuff honestly fascinates me and I think is super topical to games as a medium. How like technological Technological aspects will enforce certain design elements. Things like the things like the lo Mass Effect loading elevator. They try to turn it into a thing, but it is a restriction of the mediums or the or what's being used. And you try to like put some paint on it, but nice. Okay, so there's. Mm, I don't think there's anything worth getting. In that room. That's just Claymore's. So I need to bomb this and fall in it. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that if I go this way and exit, I'll pop out of that right door. And it'll be a waste. And I'll get shot and maybe even die. Fuck! Well, I don't think that's gonna matter. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, it's an elevator! Oh shit, okay. If there, if I knew there would be an elevator here, I would have, man. Okay, great, great. Well, I was still correct, but in a way I didn't expect. I guess, I guess I should have logically thought that if I'm going down, I have to come back up. So yeah. Woo! Does that mean I have to backtrack to get, oh, I have air tanks. Oh, thank God. Hmm. That is not good. I wonder... If I crawl, can they not shoot me? <laughs> I forgot that it unequips my goddamn knife. Snake is so buff. Damn, that is correct. Accurate. Oh. 
trying out retro achievements for the first time with Super Metroid and have immediately run into what I was afraid of. Second achievement of the game is to escape from the beginning of the space station self-destruct in an amount of time that requires you to use dumb fucking exploits of bouncing off steam vents in just the right direction to get speed boosts. Yeah, it's for people who've been playing the game for 30 years. Comment on game design, I actually worked with a virtual production studio that built environments in Unreal. In real designers had to add post-processing processing since our shoot was shooting with anamorphic lenses to make it look less digital. <laughs> yeah, I guess you have to you have to like warp it out. Anamorphic lenses kind of have a distortion effect. That's amazing. But that's like anamorphic is also it's it's the same thing. It's just a different sort of like look. So anamorphic lenses are a look that's that's created by a particular kind of lens. So it's I love how like how like tools become technique become style and once it's style then it's sort of abstracted from the uh restrictions that created that that process flow in the first place so kind of like uh boomer shooters now they live in the style of technologically restricted shooters and sometimes they even play around with the same self-imposed restrictions which is fun mm -hmm. okay so I gotta make a I gotta make a run now. I think if I'm crouching, they can't shoot me. They can walk into me though. Look at him leap. Ha! 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 Yes! They don't even see you if you're crouched or if you're prone. Sick. This game rules. This game's gone back to ruling again. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Take back anything bad I said about this game. Uh, oh, bonked. Okay, this doesn't seem so bad. I'm just gonna have to. These are more like puzzle screens. You love the piss filter and the blue green haze style of P early PS3 games. Ugh. Yeah, desaturated. The thing is, when things are desaturated and darker, it's harder to tell that they're blurrier and shittier looking. That was definitely an aesthetic designed entirely around using this very short like the very narrow toolbox of options they had to try to cover the fact that the games looked like ass. Early Bloom was kind of one of those things. It's the go most garbage texture filtering. The cheapest, fuzziest anti-aliasing. <sighs> Why do I do this? That's weird. If they're above you, they can shoot down, but if they're standing, they just shoot above above your head. God damn it. Just just do it. Just do it. Oh, fine. Ah. All right. That was dumb. The game is is actually pretty punishing if you're not if you're not really meticulous. Do that more, please. God, if random dudes dropped more rations and ammo, this game would, would be transformed. If I walk, if I go into this stage crawling, I don't think it, yeah, I won't alert anybody. Ugh, stupid. I, keep, I kept thinking like a second too late that I need to, I need to change screens while crawling. Okay. God damn it. It's 
so tedious. It's so tedious. Any little thing you do is not like perfect. Any pixel over the line. This whole hallway is about the value of crawling. I thought, I thought that since they were like one layer up that I could stand up. No, the answer is no. It doesn't work that way specifically. Ammo this time. Oh, I had, that's right. I had food and I didn't even use it. I better get some sweet lore at the end of this. Imagine how sweet that lore is going to be. Yes, Mr. Snuggles. <sighs> I am, in fact, John Travolta. Star of stage and screen, John Travolta, here, playing Snake's Revenge. Shit! Why do I do this? Why me, famed actor John Travolta? Forgetting to crawl. Remember my many st screen rolls where I crawl. Gotta remember that. All of my actor's training. I looked at chat. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just, just fuck me up. God damn. Enemies standing right at a screen transition. So if you are holding the D-pad at all, you ro you walk right into them as soon as the screen moves. Mm. Okay. Watch from Escape New York and L.A. and oh my, the second one is so bad. It really is. Escape from L.A. is one of my favorite bad movies. Fuck. Wrong button again. <sighs> just, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Every single button has to be correct. Exactly correct. I hit the button before the enemies spawned. <sighs> mm. Yeah. What the fuck? You guys saw that, right? You like the part where Peter Fonda goes surfing? That is a good part. And then Snake surfs with Peter Fonda and lands in the, I can't crawl. There we go. And surfs into the back of a convertible that Steve Buscemi is trying to drive away from in. That's good. That's good stuff. That's good, that's good cinema. I need to add that to MediaTek. Has Solid Snake, have any of the snakes <sighs> ever surfed as part of an infiltration? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, Bond has. Not equipment. It's never equipment. Equipment is would be the word to describe it in any other video game, but it's not here. Ugh. Uh. 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 Shit. Fuck you. Oh god, I thought he was gonna turn around.
Is it seriously random? Jesus. Oh, I'm standing. God. At least they let me crawl to the center of the room before spawning dudes on the left. That was nice of them. Okay, another elevator. That's good. At least I... Oh, God. Never want to do that shit again. Mm-hmm. What we got? Lay it on me. You can reach me at... The main base. I have some important information. All right. Our adjacency to Jennifer is increasing. Oh, I'm up here now. Okay. Barrel. Barrel. I like that barrel. That's a good barrel. Oh. Ammunition. Yes, the rock drags itself back. Yes, it does. Yes, in fact, it does. How has Rebirth been? Good. Yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, pretty, pretty astounding video game. I, uh, I am at the point now where I have to earn bathing suits for Aerith and Tifa, and I've never wanted to do anything more in a video game. <clears throat> Excuse me. up walls again. Oh, mines. Huh. Can't believe that Rebirth was made in four years. Yeah, that's like, that's AAA when everybody knows what they're doing and it's produced like tightly. What, what baffles me is it was made in four years and it's still like fun and impulsive and silly. Like they managed to, to keep the spontaneity despite adhering to what seems like a pretty, uh, pretty regimented production cycle. I'm sure Japanese work ethic helps too. I don't know how many people are sleeping under desks, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, am, I have a half-formed editorial in my head about it. Basically, like, on the back of all these American megacorps laying off hundreds and hundreds of people, basically going through, because I know Nintendo said it, um, Square said it, Capcom, I don't know, has commented on it yet, but essentially, like, Japanese firms are now realizing the benefits of fucking, like, keeping a continuous staff through multiple projects and cultivating interior knowledge. Ah, shit. <laughs> so essentially, I want to make the point that, like, Japanese games are, are in a golden age now, and Western games are about to suck ass massively. Like, I think Modern Warfare 3, at least the campaign, is a good indicator of probably where where creatively big budget Western games are headed. Just like the absolute minimum spend for the maximum return. And that affords absolutely no uh, luxuries like, like whimsical creative output. Mm. <laughs> More holes here, okay. Guess I gotta bomb it and then drop in. Hopefully I picked the right one. Boom. Where do Europeans fit in this theory? I think. Well, so this is me speaking with the greatest of stereotypes. Oh shit! Fuck. Both these. Uh, both of these are bad. Rocket men. Actually, never mind. This is sick. Look at this. Shirtless rocket dudes. Oh, okay. I guess the other ones. 
Is this another... Is this another elevator? It is. Okay, so the elevators are somewhat plenty. I guess this is an exit door. Ah. Okay, and this other one did open. Okay, well, I can try, dr try dropping down the other hole. <laughs> Although I'm going to run out of plastic explosive here in a minute. The biggest question 7 will have was, is was 3 plus games as profitable as one game that sold 16 million, even if there's a lot of diminishing return on nostalgia? Uh, maybe. That's the thing, though. I... I to some degree, and, and I may be romanticizing too much, Lord knows Square as a business is confusing and weird with what they consider like good rates of return, but it does seem like the, the Japanese games production industry is not driven so much by return on interest. Or sorry, return on investment, my bad. Whereas ROI has been the peak thing that every studio in the United States at least that is laid off, or every like AAA studio that is laid off is kind of cited as a reason that they have to trim the books. They 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 saw a plateau uh, in terms of like game buying versus investing in projects. It's funny too because I remember I can't remember if it was Herman Holst. Uh, I think it I think it was Jim Ryan actually who talked about the virtuous cycle of PlayStation Studios, how they were in a really good a really good place because. The more their games sold, the more that it allowed them to invest in the next game, and then that game would sell even more because of that investment. That's really weird that that doesn't explode. And it's also the harder one to get to. Uh, but it seems like that cycle has broken down finally. With like, specifically with Spider-Man 2 and I think God of War Ragnarok, Sony invested a shitload of money, and they got like, good sales. The same, same amount of sales they would have gotten four years ago without investing an, an extra hundred million, that kind of thing, so. So as far as like when, when margin is concerned with European companies, I think it just comes down to a lot, of, a lot of European companies don't seem as fixated with ROI either, which is a good thing. Some European studios have tried to, to hit scale, but even companies like CD Projekt or um, I mean, Ubisoft, I guess, is already kind of an, on another on another planet, but I guess Deep Silver, 505. Wait, 505 might be American. I don't know. Europe has always been a little bit more about just sustainably doing business uh, and then living life uh, around. Yeah, <laughs> Arrowhead. Wait, Arrowhead is, uh, yeah, they're Helldivers. Yeah, yeah. I was th For a second, I was thinking of Ascendant Studios, which is the... Mortals of Avi of devs. But. Are there more independent studios in Europe? I don't know. Um, it's tempting to think so, but I have no clue. I don't know. Like, there's the true, the true landscape of game dev is, is actually pretty vast. Oh, it stood up a little too early. Pretty vast and and interconnected. There's a ton of studios that aren't aren't like lead developers on any given project, so their names aren't very well known, but they do a ton of work. Who knows which like where in the world most of that business is located? Maybe census bureaus or something. But yeah, um, I don't know. I think. Uh, I think the the like gaming's biggest companies and and their products and franchises tend to dominate the conversations, which makes sense. They're the most popular ones. They're the ones everyone knows. But I think I think there needs to be a bit of a sea change in gaming and like in perception of not looking to those products from those studios as being progressive in any way. Market forces have deemed that they need to not be. Oh, I got shotgun shells. And I have a full weapon roster now. That's pretty cool looking. Hey, loof box. I don't mean socially progressive either. I just mean even artistically. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, walk in. Uh, absolutely, a paradigm shift in really understanding them as a business. And, and not looking to the performance of products as a validation of any kind of anything. 
I don't know. That 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 bites off a whole other topic that's a little a little weird. But people that use capitalism as like a scorecard for which virtues are fundamentally better. Come on. So I just get to deal with this the whole time. God damn it. How do y'all trim your nose hairs? I have a little, I have a little pair of scissors. Some nose hair trimming scissors that I got on Amazon. Works perfectly. Using capitalism to value art misses the point. Boy, is that true. Yes, I agree. That's why it's that's why it's just frustrating to see those kind of conversations happen. But the people who have those conversations are so I don't know, media pilled, like they've got brain worms. They're they're too their head is so far in the like capitalist consumption game that they think that's all there is to life. So of course they use consumption as a metric of value. Consumer pilled. Yeah, media pilled. Definitely a borderline TMNT sting right there. Suspicious screen. Was able to like duck on the first frame I guess shit I couldn't couldn't go prone because the rocks were there what the fuck these dudes remind me of the, like the dudes who barf up the spiny balls and throw them in Mario another elevator booyah that was like uh Bomb Blaster Jack, or whatever, Metal Gear 2. Alright. Oh! The Jennifer? Jennifer on the phone? You can reach me at the main base. Oh, right, it's the same screen. Mm hmm Everybody, every young-blooded male in the U.S. Uh, young-blooded, whatever. Yeah, that works, whatever. Every young-blooded male in the U.S. wants to get a, a codec call from Jennifer. What the fuck? Oh, tank time, okay. Wow, look at him go! Holy shit! Okay. I have mines. So that's good. Maybe, maybe somebody on the radio could say something. Nothing. The fact that it can like hit the top of Snake Sprite makes it really bad. I don't know how. Mm. At least it's the short mercy. Man, could you imagine? An unexpected bit of mercy from this game. So let's see. Fuck! 
Can the tank only shoot in eight in like four directions or three directions? Because that'll make this really easy. What if I just like stand here? You can't shoot my ass, can you? How did I get tagged by this guy so many times? shy. Ah! Not that shy. So you're just, you can't stand in those areas at all. I guess I just have to wait at the bottom and then like throw some mines and hope that he run. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna come all the way back down. That's weird, he flat. He flashed when I changed screens, which was weird. I didn't know if it like somehow warped the mines onto him. I died before it, it like loaded the next screen. I heard the death before it even displayed the sprite of, oh, whatever. Uh, what do I do? I guess I just wait at the bottom to see if he'll come back down. I like that the game over screen is longer than I'm alive. So if he doesn't drive... Mm. You can fall in the water. That's cool. <laughs> All right, sure, fuck it. Why not? You got it, you got it, Metal Gear. Oops. Okay. 
I just realized. I have a I have a thing for this. Right? We all saw no tank. It was there. But hold on a minute. Let me check again. No tank. Oh, you can look more than one screen. Okay, so there's no tank on the whole bridge. Yep. I thought so. The uh, binoculars do not show you enemies. Because it can't render them. So actually... Oh! I guess you just wait. It would probably be faster to get into the middle. Because then at least if the tank's moving back and forth, like you're more likely to to get some cross cross tanking action as opposed to being all the way at the edge. But I guess there's just a there's a moment of unavoidable danger when you have to approach the edge of the screen. Or maybe I just wait on the bottom screen. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I wonder... Uh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. God. Every, every like, menu I need to get to is far away. I don't know why they put transceiver as the first option when you're coming out of equipment. That doesn't make any sense. Transceiver is the thing you use the absolute least. I don't think it's safe to be there, so I just have to stay on the bottom screen. Alright, alright, I did that. That was me. I walked into that. Hey, Jay McCraw. I am, I'm doing well today. This game is, is putting up some fight. This is a beef, a beefed game. A very mean, angry, be ah, beefed game. Mm. I'm excited to defeat it. I think you can get in there if you don't get stuck on the corner. I remember getting this game from a local store as a kid and loving it? You loved it? Jeez, I did the same, except it was it was baffling and inscrutable for, uh, for me. How do you beat the tank, Jay McCraw? <laughs> if you loved it, tell me. What are the what are the tank strats? Mm -mm -mm. Snake is so big, he absorbs every shot. He's Im so impossibly girthy. That there is no bullet that grazes Snake. Nothing but full, full-on hits. Fuck you. I'm 
only have three mines out? Okay. I think this is a safe spot, sort of. But I'll have time to react if it's not, I think. Got this in codename Viper on sale. Yeah, those are those are some pretty good games to get used or on sale. It's codename Viper the Rail Shooter, where you're like kind of side scrolling across a, a jungle. I guess I just wait. I guess he moves randomly. Does it take 18 mines, Purpin Gold? So you can only miss with two mines. Which means if he doesn't run over at least one of these mines, I cannot win. If that's true. Oh, I may be thinking of Operation Wolf, yeah. Codename Viper, Operation Wolf. Kind of similar, but yeah, I think I absolutely am. What was codenamed Viper? Do missiles not work? Probably not across screen. I also can't change my weapon now because if the tank doesn't run over at least one of these mines, unless missiles work, but missiles don't help that the tank is just randomly moving across three screens. Oh, the door opens again. Yeah, as soon as it leaves the screen. It's not making it flash. God, it just does that drive-by shot. You... Uh, I can't think of any way to not just get domed with that immediately. that the tank doesn't go to the bottom screen if you just sit there. Shut up. Or maybe if there's mines out, the tank won't come onto the screen. When I was a preteen, I played this game. I'm 47 now, so my memory of this is long gone. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we'll rediscover it together. God, fucking shit. I was worried about that. Okay. I think I think there's there's some there's some things I might be able to use to tell when it's gonna fire. I think it just fires at a rhythm. So if it, like, if the gun's pointed at you and it just fired, then I need to, like, s move perpendicularly. But I'm not, I'm not sure that that works. <sighs> I 
Like, I think it'll still just shoot me and I'll die if I'm standing on the bridge. Okay, that kind of worked. Oh, nerd pause, that's a good point. More missiles together means it's moving towards you. Missiles spread out means it's moving away. Shit. I accidentally put a mine on the wrong side of me, which meant I could not move to dodge the cannon shot. It does seem to be, it does seem to be op operating by that. bitch of a tank. times I've done that. Well, if this doesn't kill it, then too many times. Hey! Still rank three. But we did it. Now, is there going to be an elevator right away? Hey! The classic sneaking music. That's cool. Does this mean... Oh, no, wait. Never mind. this is the Metal Gear 2 music. It just starts kind of similarly. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And I didn't get to an elevator because this game f fucking sucks. I have to I have to fight the tank again. Because I missed a knife. Because oh, it actually counted that. What the fuck? So it can do it when it wants. Which is one of those like, I'm happy it- I'm happy it happened now. I'm annoyed. Okay, shotguns make noise. I'm annoyed that it, uh, took, it took this long. Uh, thank you, game. I was convinced. Oh, here's an elevator. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Kojima. Perfect angles on these assholes, always. Whatever, progress. Just fanatically clawing away at this damn game. Red goggles. What do they look like? Whee! Night sight. <laughs> Whee! Okay, okay. That's kind of cool.
okay. Well, that's kind of that's kind of cool. That's it. That's it for this floor. There's no other doors. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Hmm. I think it's time for a little boy. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, man, they're moving fast. Ugh. Is this the roof? Gondolas? Paid for a ticket. Oh, there we go. What was I thinking? <laughs> that was the edge, I guess. Maybe you have to get on the other one. All right, uh, I'm gonna go use the restroom. I'll be right back. Oh, wrong scene. I ate a protein square and a turkey stick. So my humors have been calmed. The storm within has been sated with a small allowance of high protein calories. Therefore, my mood has retracted somewhat. I'm looking forward to a calm gondola ride. <clears throat> Maybe I have to get on top? Maybe we have to call somebody. Signal's jammed. Interesting. When's the last time you had a big, greasy, delicious meal? I ordered McDonald's not too long ago. I went to that McDonald's pop-up and had McNuggets there. But as far as like a big, like, just completely hedonistic, indulging meal, it's been a few weeks. <sighs> Shimungi, I tried to enter from the bottom and died immediately. It does, I thought, it kind of looks like a door, right? But <clears throat> no, no such luck. <clears throat> but about one day for me. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, like a, like a big ass steak or like pasta and butter and something really heavy. It's been, a, it's been a while. I did try the side the first time, yeah. Oh. Okay, the top is a platform. That doesn't make any sense for the perspective of it, but we're good. Moogle Bard, thanks for the sub. Awesome, I was hoping there would be like a side-scrolling part. I thought it would be in the gondola and then like dudes might be jumping out. Oh, you're not supposed to be seen. Snake's Revenge. Look how the gondola stops. And it keeps going, all right. Nice stars in the background.
That's the same screen layout, though. Is this the same? This isn't the same building, so I need to go check it out. But it looks like there's another gondola, so this is almost like an elevator? It's the same distribution of lasers, too. It's gotta be a different building. <clears throat> I mean, thank God for elevators. I always like seeing one of those. Yeah, different building. You're kidding me. If this were any other, like, responsibly designed game. Ah! I would say that like they don't want you to get to the point in the, at the end of the game where you have the like the stealth figured out. Uh. We'll see if that's true after you huff some gas. Some of that sweet sweet gas. Oh, I ranked up. Fuck yeah. Metal Gear 2 is seven times more powerful. So Truth Gas is kind of like rescuing, huh? Then Metal Gear 1. I didn't know I got rank up for Truth Gassing dudes. <clears throat> seven times more powerful is what this gentleman had to say after huffing a little bit of that copium. That Kojima gas. Kojima breath. That's what Truth Gas says. Having a longer life bar looks cool, but functionally, I swear to God, bullets take, like, take the same amount of your health. weird because there I haven't passed any doors I can't open yet so they're only giving me a key card for things I'll run into in the future oh antidote okay huh. oh thanks for your help that's it all right So this building had a... Well, I guess I, I'm going to need card six. Just assume that. Losers. Okay. Card six and some hostages freed. <clears throat> and got to hit a... An elevator on the way. That's a pretty successful visit. Okay, now on to the next one, I guess. How come I don't have card five? Whatever. Fuck it. Thanks, Revenge knows what it's doing. <clears throat> so I guess I, okay, so they were peeking out. I thought they were aiming at me like I was already under alert. So I just have to not be above the thing when they look. Another floor. Ah, that was silly. This should, I mean, this ought to be an elevator, though. Yeah. 
I'm in. Whee! I don't get it. Why did he turn around? Should have been silent. Well, whatever. Who cares? Probably gonna be six. I hope it's six now. What if it's not six? Oh, ooh. Not six. Ow, fuck you. Ugh. These henchmen know how to hit them walls. Like rescuing hostages. What is Metal Gear? I have never heard of it. Metal Gear 2, however, that's a whole other story. How? Fuck you! God! They just do so much damage and they don't ever stop shooting and there's no way to not get hit. It's astounding. Fuck. What? Saw me. Ugh. Yeah, they're starting to just like turn in random directions. All right, it's fine. Take a little more time, I guess. All right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. I got a high sensitivity antenna. Okay, do I have to equip it? And then maybe I can use the tr transceiver? This is not the one on PC loop box. This one explicitly is only on NES, Nintendo, Inter Nintendo Entertainment System. door that only works one way. Interesting. Ninternder. Alright, well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nothing. Oh no, oh, I should have picked up more antidote when I had the chance. I, th I assumed it was gonna be like uh, MG1. Well, whatever. I shouldn't pretend like poison isn't gonna kill me 500 times anyway.
can't knife as fast when I'm standing on top of the thing. Okay, I made it to the top. Anyone want to say anything yet? Nope. <sighs> okay. A castle. Awesome. Awesome. That's what we needed right now. A big spooky scary castle. <laughs> Lieutenant, Nick is coming to us ahead of you. Follow him. Alright. Who's us? They always say, don't shoot, I don't know anything. Let me see. Oh, it's not a weapon. It is equipment. Truth gas. The commander holds the key to this secret weapon. Metal Gear 2. love how beefed out Snake is. Revenge has given Snake so much muscle mass. Great. Or I don't know how many I can carry now that I'm four star. Let's see if I can go up to ten. I bet it's probably nine. Oh, it's seven. All right. Hey, whatever. Whatever works for you, baby. Yeah. Yeah, there... There seems like... Oh, interesting. Okay. There seems way less of a focus on, on like, a proper Metroidvania experience here. There's a couple of times where you can sort of, you have to like, pick a path to go, or like, what floor to go to. But it's, like, this floor is still just a tight loop with one door on every screen. So it, oh fuck, that was, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad, 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 bad. Fuck, 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 damn! Oh, I, 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 fuck. When I got all the air, I was like, man, I should I go back to the stupid elevator just to save all my air? No. No, I don't need to do that. Fuck! Whatever. I just want to see what's in here. Okay. 
Shit! What is Metal Gear? I have never heard of it! Is Metal Gear not real? Genuinely annoying how they keep like changing all the doors around. Metal Gear at least had some consistency, like doors tended to be grouped based around the, the cards that, that you got around them. But no, this is just like any door could be anything at all times. So every time you see a door, you have to rotate through everything. Alright, so there was a hostage on this floor. There's Plastic explosive in air. Kojima's brilliance shining again. Okay. Elevator. Interesting. Huh. Okay. There's just gonna be three, and I gotta go down each one. Oh man. Okay. I guess I actually have bullets? Some? They did give me air and plastic explosives. Ew. Give these people an ear. Damn it. Fuck. The transition is not exactly at the edge of the screen, so we keep wandering into it. Yeah, that's about right. Do, do, do. At least I have full air, which is kind of what I was hoping for. That if there was going to be an area coming up where I needed air, at least I could ha set the checkpoint where I had it maxed out. Cool. So if you... Wow, really? They are really enforcing it. If you get one alarm, you are fucked. So this, this is legitimately a platforming challenge, then. I have to try to jump through all these fucking mines. I guess I can crawl through the mines. I'll take damage, but I probably won't set off an alarm like these floaty dudes. I don't think you can stab mines, which sucks. Also just turn around randomly. Oh good. 
glad all my boys are here. Fuck. Oop, oop. Okay. David, I haven't seen rations in... God. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I think plastic explosive might get rid of the mines. Well, I could maybe do that. Yeah, if you use air and, and plastic explosive, you can just kind of bomb and crawl your way through. Yeah, that's probably why they gave you plastic explosive, too. It doesn't do shit. Never mind. I thought I saw the mine disappear, but... Nope. Nope. Maybe you only have to do one of these- one of these routes. And it's like... No, that's- that's unlikely. You snake! I had to land and crouch and then stand back up. Fuck you. <sighs> yeah, you like you have to pop back up. God. There's a there's a there's like a gap of time there when you land. Ugh. They change direction. Makes me uncomfortable. I don't care for it. This is not canon Metal Gear, no. Chimungi. Not directed by Hideo Kojima. Uh, I don't know if you can jump over them when they're rolling away from you! God help you if you crouch too close to the goddamn wall, because you are stuck. <sighs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. No one said this game was bad. Alright. You see how big Snake is in this game? There's a lot to like here. Oh 
Okay. It's worth it to take a mine or two if it means I don't set off an alarm. At least then I can go forward. It does seem like it does seem like some of this shit is random, which is bad for a stealth game. No! I got fucked again. Accidentally crouched too close to the the wall. The wall. Good times, good times, good times. Good times. Good times, good times, good times. We're having good times. Crouch! Crouch! Why can't you crouch faster, snake? What is your problem? Yep, had those short range bullets. That's all I could bring on a in a tactical infiltration mission. <laughs> Digital melancholy, it is a good time for a gamer stretch. Ugh, I'm gonna do a squat. No, I'm not. My legs are sore. I'm just gonna rotate my shoulders. That's nice. Ultimate Zane writes, I'm in the hospital with my brother right now with the sound off. Just assume that everything is going great and the game isn't bullying you. Yeah, that's that's all true. That yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Everything's going great. And I'm not getting bullied at all. Why can't it be like that every time? Huh. No. Is it based on on the direction you're looking? Why are they moving like that? All right. I'm still not following my strats though, which is it's okay to take a mine. I'm just baffled. Ooh.
Mm -mm. I guess if that happens, the only thing you can do is, is exit the screen and come back and hope that the pattern's different. Maybe that's what I need to start doing. I thought surely they're gonna let me walk up behind this guy, right? Joke's on you, Buster. At least I get to see past the screen. Oh, wait, no, I already had. Shit. I don't know if that's gonna get him. Good. <laughs> this is fully like a Kaizo game now, right? That's just trolly, dude. <laughs> uh. Mm. So I have to make it through with some health. Maybe I try a different path. Who knows? Maybe another path will have like fucking scuba gear or no. This is all it lets me use in this in this scenario. If it's on the side scrolling part, I can't use my equipment. All I have are rations, bombs. Maybe another path would have a bomb or a ration. It feels like they change direction when I do sometimes. It feels like it's something I can I can manipulate, but the nature of it is very bizarre. I'm only gonna try this a couple more times and then I'll just check out a different. Try this one just for fun, just for variety's sake, just to mix things up a little bit. Why not? <laughs> the first screen had a dude looking directly at the screen transition. Dude, stealthy this time. to this, huh? Oh. 
We got a tunnel. Okay. <sighs> These tunnels are peaceful. I cannot be attacked in a tunnel, right? There's no way they would do that. Oh my god. I mean, if this is just a test to see if I have enough air. Oh. on this screen. And there's mines. Did I have seven tanks? Yes. There's probably some part of that I could have done faster, but... Maybe seven isn't the max, but it feels like it is. I thought I, I thought I validated that. machine SRB thanks for the sub yeah um, this is this is a, a retro throwback that's a good description of it oh fuck it's mean man this is a mean game They swap the fucking buttons and it drives me crazy. Mmm. Ah! The, the shoot and stab buttons are legitimately swapped when you're in the side-scrolling section because there's a jump. It f Ugh. All right, well now what? I don't know. They're all bad is the answer. All right, well, let's try this again. Stowaway, hello. Look at that, backwards jump. You fuck you, fuck you. What do you want? What do you want, game? What do you want? Forgetting that if they turn back there, I have no choice. <sighs> Seems like I can I can s 
sneak in there, but you really can't. You have to wait a little bit. Like if uh, if if you're on plane with them, it seems like it, mo it changes their movement. The fuck is your problem, dude? Ugh. I only got to take one, at least one. One more screen of this bullshit. What? What the fuck hit me? How dare you? Uh, I was even trying to be like maximum gamer and changing the sc screens to try to get a good pattern. Nothing. Fuck off! What are they doing, man? Tedious. could it mean though because there's the two other paths i haven't gone down i don't know we made it maybe i'm worried though i'm really worried that i'm gonna have to backtrack through that and do the others unless it really was just like all of them went to this floor you just had to get through one of the paths Fuck off, dude. Oh, the little, the Robo-mans. We got Robo-men. There's cyber guards in this, in this castle. I don't have the knife equipped because checkpoints, forget that. They straight up just run into you and explode. <sighs> you know what? I could use some words of encouragement. I'm gonna guess that this is probably the exit for one of the other elevators. There might. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna guess that. I'm gonna guess that uh, is the third one. Whatever. I think that just means I can go to the northeast. Expect there to also be a maybe I got a uh, plast plasty plosy it. Let's see. Oops. Shockingly, no.
So are these doors? I, yeah, Frank, I have no idea how far I am. I'm, I'm half expecting to get just totally soft locked at some point. But yeah, no, unfortunately, no clue. Oh, it is a door. A hidden microphone. Why would I need one of those? I have a normal microphone. Yeah, I found a bug. I am worried about this game's ability to telegraph properly when I need to use that and how. it then. I have a hidden mic now. But yeah, this door didn't open, I don't think. Which means I'm probably gonna have to do the, the, the run again. But with less air. Who do I even talk to? Who do, who do I use the mic on? Uh, I use Firefox. Yeah, it sounds cool. It supports some kind of diversity of internet browser. But I mean Chrome, whatever. Chrome's fine. Dude. The very first pla place you stand. Wow, that means I have to come back, too. That means I have to come back. Because there's doors I don't have the key for. Which means I have to probably go through and back the other... Dude, you spawn on a, hurt, a hurdy square. Fuck, man. Is it possible to avoid damage at this checkpoint? Barely. You have to be holding a direction. I didn't think you could use plastic explosive when you had the knife. Oh, it's if you're crouched versus if you're prone. Ugh, all right. I think I get it. Spontaneously change direction. No, ah! dude. <sighs> I have. Because 
guess I'm gonna have to back all the way out and fill up on air again. Does that mean I have to be jumping when I ugh, change screens? Or I'll just walk into this mine? I do anyway. made it back. I made it back, and I have the fucking mic, so that's cool. So let me go up to floor one, stock up on air and plastic explosives, and try the water tunnel. Actually, before I do that, let me, uh... I think this is where the air was. This might be a door I can't open yet. Let me see. Yeah. yeah, let me uh let me go check on something real quick. I'll be right back. She's about that. Uh, Steph had a bit of a headache, so I was checking on her. Getting some Tylenol for her. Which also means... So she didn't have a headache before. And her, her headache now is not related to my intense gaming. So don't make that connection. But it does, however, mean that at this moment... I need to... Relax. Keep it calm. Keep it steady. Keep it level. Keep it chill. I agree. Advil does work better. Certain drawbacks to Advil, though. We need Gamer Calm. Yeah, I used to use ibuprofen for everything. And then, yeah. Advers Advil's less taxing on your liver? Is that true? Shittier on your stomach, though. Listen. Oh. Because people can do whatever they want, but... We'll be alright. We'll be alright. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You know what cures a headache? Snake's Revenge. The immaculate gameplay production of Snake's Revenge. So seven tanks. Seven absolutely the max. It is, for now. I also, it's conceivable that I was meant to be a higher rank by now. Even though I only recently got four, so that doesn't feel quite quite right. Too. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got more explosive. I got more tanks. This. Well, I sh I need to kill myself <laughs> so that I can get more health. But. I have the sneaky microphone. Yes, of course. It's, uh, it's just like, I don't think there's any greater evidence of this game's bullshittery than like having, having gunshots do two damage instead of one or two HP when you actually get a longer health bar. Are we really back at the water? Yes. This is a different side-scrolling stage though. Alarm. I fucked it up already. 
This is the really long water tunnel. Different water, yeah. I may need my full health bar for this. Shit! I keep for fucking getting, God! The game punishes you for doing what anybody would naturally do. Repeatedly. All right, fine. I kind of, I kind of owned that. One. I'm gonna have to rememorize this whole part. Yeah, the game hides soldiers off frame, staring directly at the screen transition. having a good time. We're understanding that it's all part of the process. The process we enjoy. That process known as gaming. It's the Dark Souls 2 of Metal Gear? Yeah, actually, yeah. The game is designed to fuck you over and over. It's, a, it's kind of aggravating. <laughs> oh! They swapped the buttons. They swapped the buttons! The buttons are swapped. We're having a good time though. It's fun for the buttons to randomly change and also to hit the wrong button and have a, severe, a very severe consequence. That's what's fun about games and gaming. Got him. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? So I guess the I need to n to s spend as much time out of the water as possible. Okay. Okay. I'm getting further. Okay. Want a gamer tip? Yeah, I'll take a gamer tip. I'll take a gamer tip. can shoot and kill the floaties. Oh, that is a gamer tip. Thank you. They give no feedback when you shoot them at all, so I just assumed they were invincible. Did we all see what just happened there? The soldier turn around randomly and arbitrarily, see me, and have iframes while alerting. Advanced AI. So the AI can really just turn around arbitrarily whenever it wants. On one frame. <clears throat> see you and instantly become invincible. I guess the only time an enemy does not stop and turn around is when they are walking away from you. That's the only time. I think. Fuck. It's all fine. change direction while you're jumping over them. Oh my god, it's not even that many shots. I don't have that many shots, but it's not that many. Alright. Uh, 
here we go. You can't shoot while you're laying down, but you can knife. Maybe you can knife the mini mines. So you need, you need all your health and seven tanks of, of air to largely make it through. back is gonna like that soft lock territory if there's no air on the other side. Okay. Yeah, you might be able to stand up between the mines. I was wondering about that. Look at that ass though. Snake's ass is so banging it gets its own little pixel shine on top. A little light glint. Shit. Shit! Ah, well. Yeah, doing better, doing better. the first game that accurately depicted snake's massive donk i think so it's definitely the beefiest snake is pretty much ever he's pretty thick in in five but uh he's definitely beef way beefed out here and i love that that, that gets a lot of points with me earns earns this game a lot of patience other developers take note Not solid snake. Let's try a pixel perfect stand up. Oh, it still hurts you though. Whatever. Ugh. Since there's no sound, I don't know if I'm shooting it or not. Ah, yeah. further though progan progan i need bullets but i don't think i've ever there hasn't been like a, a farmable drop in a long time wait is that true though i think mm, no i think that's true <sighs> i forgot he wasn't walking yet The O2 bar we said if you go back to the last screen. I don't think so. El Dog Pound. But I haven't actually, I haven't observed the O2 bar at all. It seemed like it just drained and that was it. No, d don't worry about it. I'll, I'll check. Well intentioned uh, questions and. Ah, uh, fuck.
All right. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the bomb despawns if you change screens. I was thinking more like if, if it refills your current tank when you change screens, that'd be awesome, but I don't think I noticed that. All right. I remember now. Snake must crawl. This is a tactical sneaking infiltration mission. And it means crawling, always crawling. It's like Helldivers. You're invincible as long as you're on the ground. Unnecessary, unnecessary. Doing this. Okay. Fuck, I thought I would land on that step. Is it five? I think it's five bullets. Okay, no knifing the... I tried plastic explosiving the small mines too and that didn't seem to do anything, so... But maybe you need more than one? Maybe more than two? Okay. I was, I was, I was getting intelligence there. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Tactical time. if I crawl off the ledge? I still fall down. Okay. The whole way. Shit. Six bullets. Okay. <sighs> okay. Yeah, you definitely don't get your O2 back when you change screens. Nope, I think it is what it is. That matters too terribly much. Uh, fuck. It's such a long wait. To crawl through that whole, that whole tunnel, man, just just to try that that part of the the level again. Ugh. Just got to get consistent, I guess. Oh no, I'm standing. Fuck. I think enemies can drop items if you don't use a knife when taking them out. Oh, do you like take them out with your hands? That would be an interesting little mechanic. I would be delighted to farm rations or... You know what? Let's try it. All I gotta do is go up a floor. Because that could be the, the uniting factor. Let's see.
Oh no, Space Basement. Uh, the incident that Snake talks about in Metal Gear Solid, Zanzibar Land, that is from Metal Gear 2, colon, Solid Snake. It's a different game. And it's better than this one. A lot better. Oh, it's 420. Congrats. Hey. Okay, that worked. It wasn't it wasn't the best drop rate, but I, something happened. Holy shit. And every time I duck in here too, it's gonna it's gonna add it to the checkpoint, basically. Like, guards called on alert can also drop stuff. Every morning I wake up and open palm slam and listen to the slide. It's chronicles of Riddick and Riddick and end up stuck in the moves alongside with the main Fuck! Riddick and Riddick and move and I do every move on. And I can always sing sounds when I slam them some negro bastards or even when I mess up technique. Many can't say they escape the gallows. Most statues prison I can. I say it and I say it. I put every day to people in my college class. And all they do is prove people in college class can still be in the two checkers. <sighs> I should try to run that again to get the whole quote in there, but it's it's pretty nice as is. Two hours every morning. Then I left. Thank you for the top tip, because I certainly have knifed a ton of guards and they don't drop shit. I was kind of curious why punch was even in the game. If knife is exactly the same thing and does more damage. Okay, this is this is great. This is fantastic. Snake's tactical pouches are growing fat. With bullets and rations. I mean, I, I gotta admit, I am cool with some farming right now. Something that's kind of mindless, low stress, something that's ensuring <laughs> lack of stress in the future. Uh. Yeah, Snake's, Snake's Fortnite model is pathetically unsexy. You're gonna tell me Snake's crawling around in the in the shrubs all day? And he's not gonna have mountains of thick ass? Give me a break. Get real. You know? Get real, Buster. Some of us live in the real world, where Snake's ass is huge. It could crush a watermelon if you shoved it in there. It can, it can hold nine rations. You think Snake's ass isn't incredible? Give me a break.
Yeah, that's true. It was probably difficult to sneak up on other players with his character model appropriately asked as the clapping of his cheeks would alert any player with a de pair of decent headphones. Uh, that's so good. Nine food. Let's see if I can get one more. I don't know if I can get it get above nine. Now that I'm all grown up. Yes. 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 This is delicious. You know what's weird? I was I was curious about the first appearance of the the Metal, Metal Gear Solid mechanic where you can pick up and like drop enemies for items. It's not well, maybe that is how Metal Gear 1 or 2 operates. I never really thought about it. No, I punch dudes all the time in Metal Gear 1 and 2. So this to me this is the first game that does that. Or it's like hand to hand is linked to item generation. The basics of CQC. I can probably get one more ration. And I will. faster to just like get to 12 rations and then walk through the game as fast as you can just hold right and and use your iframes to run through everything let's see all right now it's go time 200 199 bullets Remember the buttons. Fucker, swap them. Uh, that was dumb. That was dumb. I did that. I. Uh... Cheeky, cheeky plays. Why does Snake jump like that? Because he's cool. Because Snake is cool. He's a gazelle, yes. Powerful American thighs propelling him forward. Well, you're technically Solid Snake, like you, the player. Like in the ma in, do you mean in the manual for Snake's Revenge, or? <sighs> Kojima got me again. They have a blank spot for you to write your name in it. That's awesome. That's so dorky, I love it. Oh! 
ultimate snake gazelle jump. Such bold and powerful plays. Only Snake could bring you this kind of dynamic action. changed. Fuck you. Fuck you. Damn, man. Uh. Oh, okay. Nope. Pitfalls. There's probably pitfalls. Oh, I thought about that way too late. Okay. Made it to the other side. But still, just like two rations. So I guess what you should do is probably stick with the punch until you're at max ration. Oh! I found the plans for Metal Gear 2. The enemy's commander is going to launch nuclear missiles all over the world. Hurry up! All right. Oh, another golden tampon. So I'll need flares soon. Nah, Matthew, I wasn't really planning on playing Battlefront. Kind of more inclined to check out Tomb Raider than, than Battlefront in terms of classic repacks. And then I gotta enjoy the, the majesty of Snake's Revenge. Yeah, there's multiple doors down all these paths that I can't unlock yet, which is uh, a little scary. Pretty useful, actually. No, that was dumb of me. Whoa. Dude. Also, it's hidden mic like the name, not hidden MIC like a microphone. Ah. Oh, rank five. Thanks for your help. Damn it. Ah, oh, that was silly of me. Sort of. I don't know. The, the buttons swapping back and forth when you are in the side-scrolling sections and not is still tripping me up. Fuck. 
That, this has got to be max rank, though, right? Oh! This is key card seven. Did I just I just never got five? Okay, so you cannot cross that. I thought I thought you could run across. You you have to do that in Metal Gear One. Oh, I think I'm. I guess I just missed five. you put that in your game though a va an extremely valid question i don't think i could open this one that's annoying that's annoying Clearing alarms is so annoying now. A lot of these screens have like multiple little compartments where dudes run around in. It's really just like the menuing and the switching all the fucking time. Anytime any circumstance in the game changes, you have to like change your equipment. Ugh, right, I keep forgetting that's all that's in here. Pitfalls are a necessity. Yeah, it won't be fun. Don't you understand? Ah. I don't know why I put up with the likes of you. You don't understand the genius of Hideo Kojima. Was it two? I think it was four. It's through here. I should probably go back to the elevator real quick. X-ray does not show pitfalls. X-ray shows bombable walls. Or at least... Yeah, no, it, it, on the train at least when I experimented with it, it, just, it sure didn't show pitfalls. That's not seven? No. Man, they're really going to have you crisscross... Back and forth across these terrible, like, pathways to, to just crisscross across. Ugh. Okay. It's gonna be like that. Uh, unless there's a way to get to the left side of this. Oh shit. That was dumb.
Dante Super Green Miner. Thank you for the sub. I think if I go, yeah, if I go left from the elevator, I think that's how I get over there. Uh huh. I wonder if I wonder if you have to kill them with your fists without them being alerted to you, because it doesn't seem like things drop when there's an alert on. get to that side of the map, it seems like. That's nice, though. So do I have to take key seven <sighs> somewhere else? I don't know. Shit. I get to go back through these tunnels that I, I hate so much. But at least I can, uh... At least now I can farm rations and shit. Yeah, I don't think there's another floor or another door. I want to go and check through this pattern or this hallway down here. I think that's it. Wait, what? Is there another one? There is! Okay, well, that's not a big deal. I think all I lost there was like a one ration. Okay. All right. Oh, it can't go up a floor. You're right. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. I hope that wasn't the case in the other building. I don't think it was. The commander is located on the top level of this base. story, bruh. Okay. It's a good thing I brought along my power armor. And card seven? Awesome. Wow. Okay. I lost two rations. It's kind of sad. That's a lot of plastic explosive. Probably enough. Aha. I don't trust it. This is... Something evil's happening here. Huh? Anyone else hear a helicopter in the background? I hope that's like a D's nuts setup or something, Bruiser. It's also LA, so who knows? Maybe there was a helicopter. Behind D. Thanks for your help. That's it. That's all you got to say. All right. Glad to help.
surveillance camera. Every time I get exactly one pitfall, you know, next. I haven't had to use the antidote at all. down. This isn't big enough for a pitfall. Ah, you shit. <laughs> you shitter of shit. got a defiant man but what if he gets gassed our weapons are ready Great. thanks buddy I'm gonna guess that some of these are kind of like overflow in case you didn't uh, in case you didn't get to rank five Yeah, night sight. You're right. Nope. Doesn't work here. Nice try, though. This <laughs> is too dark for night vision. Only a trusty flare will solve this problem. I think if I go down here... I assumed there was one there last time, and now I know. Six stars? Could it be real? I guess maybe the truth gas is sort of also deprogramming them or something. It's because it, the game treats it as like rescuing them too, which is kind of interesting. Alright. Here. And then down. You have to be to the right to the box, go down and then left and then down.
just have a lot of calm right now. That's what's great. I love the sense of calm that I'm enjoying from playing a relaxing game. Deep in the Kojima zone. Which is ironically not in the Kojima zone at all. go here. I don't know how far south I can go. Fuck! Okay. <sighs> Another door! This is not a strand type game. I don't feel connected to anyone. Aside from everyone in chat, of course. I don't know if I was standing on the right pixel. Try them all again just to make sure. Okay. That sucks. That sucks. I push the box with my power armor? No. Wait, I don't think that means I, I think that means I can't get out. That can't be right. Is there another door that I Okay, that door doesn't open. You see for it. You you could never really see for a door. That's never been a thing. But I can try it. I guess there's a door there, which might be a tell. Maybe there's an, a south exit from the pitfall room. Oh, it turns on the lights. That's interesting. You think Snake wasn't aligned with the door properly? I don't know, I tried it in a couple of different spots. I'm worried that I was supposed to get keycard five somewhere and they let me they let me leave without it. But here's the oh I guess you can always just push it back. Yeah. Fuck. Alright, well. I think I might be done up here actually. Okay, so there's the third the third path, basically. And I have a new key card, so I can go back to the first path that I went down to. Man.
So disappointed. So, I, so it's six shots, but also I think they have some iframes after they get shot. Like, I don't think you can just dump six bullets into them and kill them. You have to be weirdly metered about it. <sighs> Damn it, fuck you. Oh, I can't... Oh. There has to be airdrops or I'm stuck here. I think I could... I guess I could ration feed my way through the whole tunnel. <sighs> oh, thanks, Teeny Tuna. Hopefully you have a good shift. Maybe I'll explore the first floor again? Are there being any thing here? Did I get a new card? I got a new card on this floor. Yeah. Fuck. I guess I'll go try that door again, but well, yeah, there wasn't any air on that floor. rescued all the hostages here. God, do I want to, though? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, I don't, actually. I'm just gonna run through the stage and test the door. There's no point in doing all that shit if I truly can't get in that door. Crab foam, how are you? Let me tell you, I'm doing great. Okay, it's this door. So I'm pretty low here, yeah? Enjoying this great weather and pizza I made. That sounds amazing. Sounds like you got life all figured out. Shit does not open. Oh, thank you, Hi John Toast. The director of the Lawnmower Man is from your hometown, huh? That's pretty exciting. Have that kind of genius close at hand? Yeah, so that's about where you need to stand. So they give me flares so I can light up the floor above. That makes sense. I think this doesn't open. Yeah, even with seven. He's unsurprisingly very full of himself. He spoke at my college and that's all he talked about. All he talked about. Funny you bring that up. Because yeah, I uh, 
I went to a showing where he did like a uh, little talk after, and he certainly described the lawnmower man as some kind of like well-crafted work that we that like the art community all agrees has endured because of its interesting statements about virtual reality or something. Ah, whatever. It's fine. He's an artist. Artists make art. Even if that happens to be the lawnmower man. But yeah, it, it was pretty clear that he was he was thinking about things on a on a deeper level than most people that watch that movie. Okay, so there's huge pitfalls here. And I don't think you can... Yeah, I don't think you can, like... Shit! Fuck, right, there's two. I think... Since those pitfalls are so huge, I think they've kind of intended that you there's no way to run over them before they kill you. But that's where I got the key card. So... Here's the thing. It's like the the only the game balance remaining. It's either that I was supposed to have key card five, or uh, or they intend for me to farm rations so that I can crawl back through the the water tunnel and not die. I'll try to blow up the bo boxes. I don't think they blow up. I have a hidden mic? What do you think that could do? Maybe if I use the hidden mic outside of one of these doors that I can't go inside, it'll do something? Or if I just have it equipped? If I call people on that other floor? Right. On more man told the most important tale of a man who got absolutely swole by diving into cyberspace. X-ray can detect phantom walls? I guess. Uh, I, they, I didn't get it. I forgot to get it. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck this game and it's fucking swapping buttons. Yeah, I could use a, I could use a gamer stretch. I could use a gamer stretch. Let's just roll it back to the elevator. Why not? Let's just roll it back. I need more water. Tell you what, I'm gonna get up and walk around and fling my arms around randomly and grab some water. I'll be right back. Let me let me enumerate the possibilities here. Oh jeez. Oi. Um one, there's a bombable wall on this floor that will let me cross over to the part of the floor that I need to get to for progress. Two um, the, the door that doesn't open on the floor above. <sighs> Fuck you. I need to use the mic or something or call somebody. Um, it's difficult to decide what could possibly be the thing. I find it unlikely that these boxes will break.
There's boxes against the wall on this side, though. So it's like, I feel like the telegraphing, they wouldn't break there. It'd have to be here, if, if anywhere. Or uh, is there anywhere to watch or download past media tech? Um, Twitch VODs, pretty much. Every Friday, I run a little block of them with some arbitrary th theme I've picked out. <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of it. Um, and then Friday media text can be extended. Usually I run a sub goal to extend media tech up to 24 hours, often over 24 hours. Oh, slightly good news. Uh, interesting news. So, a while ago, I was complaining about YouTube's bizarre warning policy. This is topical to MediaTek as well. I tried to run MediaTek on YouTube and got a copyright warning, which is not a strike, but it's like the thing you get before you get a strike. And strikes are really bad. Strikes are permanent. Um, and if you get three, your channel's gone. Um, so, that's just one of those, like, things It's just nice and I have. Be clean standing. So they were basically like, you can, don't do anything, don't worry about it. You have a warning though. And if you get another warning in like 90 days or whatever, you'll get a strike. Ooh, that was interesting. Mm -mm. So I thought that it would, would expire. Oh, why? I thought that it would expire after 90 days. And it didn't. And then I contacted support. And they were like, yeah, the reason it didn't expire is because there's no training for that topic. Normally, if you take a training course, then it'll start a 90-day timer, and then you do the training, and as long as you don't violate the rule in 90 days, it will remove the warning, but since there's no training, and there is no warning removal, you just have a warning forever. I was like, ha. Huh. Okay. So, like, essentially, if I had broken a different rule that had a training course, I would be able to take it, and then eventually lose the warning. But since it was this rule, and there is no training for it, it's just stuck there forever. And YouTube Swore was like, that is correct. Oh, cool. So I decided to appeal it anyway. I was like, well, fuck, what have I got to lose then? I was like, well, I mean, I did I did use copywritten stuff, so... Well, maybe here? What about here? So I appealed it, and they were like, no, you used copywritten stuff. So sorry, bud. Sorry, pal. We found against you, but we're also removing the warning. I was like, what? So they took care of it. Um, they, took, they took the warning off. But all along the way, nothing made any logical sense. I had to appeal a decision that I actually agreed with that I thought was like, it's lo like, a, that makes, yeah, I agree. I accept. I did the wrong thing. Whoops, I won't do it again. So there was no reason to appeal it. But appealing it was the only way to get rid of it. But they only got rid of it because they agreed that they were right in the first place. So, yeah, the appeal worked. I mean, it's fine in the end, but it's just like, what? Eh, whatever. We got where we needed to go. Okay. Oh, I guess I could know that there's no point to blow up that wall. Yeah, red tape. Yeah, whatever. That's life, I guess. Dealing with mega corpse. You have GTA VODs with licensed music? Yeah, I don't think that's... I mean, the VODs for sure get, get dinged. I don't care about claims. Every Nearly everything I do gets claimed. But it's like, some of the GTA VODs I had to edit because some of the songs were blocked. So it's weird. There's, um, if you don't spend a lot of time on YouTube, it can be confusing. Copyright is a whole, like, rainbow of stuff. Uh, what's annoying is a claim. And that's when somebody else has, like, matched to part of your video. And because of that, they're claiming it. Uh, so they claim all the ad revenue from it. So in the case of something like GTA, if I play a copywritten song, that music label is going to claim the video, and then they get all the ad revenue. Um, in the case of GTA specifically, uh, like 40 or 50 claims come through on it. So whatever, they all fight over the $10 in ad revenue. Um, claims, claims allow the video to stay up, and ads run on it, but the revenue goes to somebody other than the channel holder. That's a claim. 
uh, a block is when the video is not allowed to be seen. So somebody matches to content in your video, and as a result, your video is not viewable in all these world territories. That's when it's like, well, shit, people can't even see it. Uh, that, then what's the, you know, that sucks. I guess then it's just cloud storage. Uh, and I guess there's a takedown, which is that somebody, like, matches to your thing and wants it removed from YouTube. Or that they find that, uh, the work is so, the work is so egregiously copyright infringing that they want it, like, taken down with malice or something. <sighs> so anyway, it's, you know, like, like somebody said, the story has a happy ending, really, but it's just kind of weird. That's life. That's life out here, slanging videos for the Mega Corpse. Maybe I need to use the hidden mic on, on one of the captive guys? Maybe I use the hidden mic in this one, like, one nook? trying to think if there's any other screens like this where there were like other guards in another nook and maybe with a mic I could hear them or something. I don't know what the hidden mic is for. Alright, well. Here's this annoying room. Nick has something to say. Lieutenant, be careful. That room on base has a trap in it. All right. Captain Cool, thank you very much for the sub. Nick's always looking out for us, and I like that. Scrub to walkthrough found this screen. Do I need card five? Or card eight. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I would I would have gone back to the central area and gone to the third path by now. I do need card five. Okay. So either I'm soft locked or card five is in the north tower. I, I can't use the truth gas and the hidden mic at the same time. I'm gonna scrub and find card five. Eh, if you don't mind, I guess I guess if I'm if I'm truly soft locked, it'd be good to know now. There's I have there's no way to roll back unless I can actually the somehow the the like input buffer is that fuck unless the input buffer is that intense on this emulator. Actually, that's fine. Okay, so, well, that means I need to, I need to backtrack, which means I need to go through the water tunnel with no air. I have a longer life bar and it, it actually drains out pretty slowly. Space Basement. Thank you very much for the generosity. Thanks for gifting five subs. Let's see here. Poison Loaf. Snuggler of Cats. Excellent. LeBron James 87. Lemongrass Skittles. Hey, I know Lemongrass. Pablito. Mighty fine sub recipients you got there. 
Whoa, okay, so it's even less than six shots. Ugh. God, the edge of detection is so ass. Gonna be loud. Going to PAX East to work for the first time since I got into the games industry. Ooh boy! I hope you have a good time. Going to events can be really exhausting. But I feel like it's not as not as intense as it used to be, maybe? Or maybe people are a little more conscientious about things. I wonder if you've been in, if you've had any tips. Oof. Um, to PAX East? I've been one time, I think, so no, I don't really have any tips. Um, it's cold, or it can be cold. Don't, don't pack shorts. Influencer marketing and media is the only way to make it, or can there be both and why? Oh, do you mean like a digital media company? I think it's possible. I think it's possible, but the margins are tough. Um, and I don't think, I don't think a media company can really scale past, like, one or two productions. Because once you do that, I think you lose, like, the, the connective tissue starts to dwindle. There's no reason. I think, I think once you get to more than that, then YouTube or Twitch or a platform holder provides all of the infrastructure, or I shouldn't say all, provides the bare minimum infrastructure necessary for those groups to operate. So it's like you don't need a bigger, that's the exact level where you don't, you start to duplicate function. Now, ideally a bunch of like, ideally a bunch of those channels or, or a bunch of those productions get together and share administrative tasks, you know? They all get to be part of a company Maybe they all have some loose independence, but then they get the benefits of insurance and, and 401k matching and HR, accounts payable, payroll, uh, legal, like a, a bunch of departments that are kind of nice and provide, well, theoretically provide services and protections to their employees. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about that. Um, I think the anecdote that Bruce brought up on the games cast is pretty telling. Um, basically, like, Bruce, I mean, as soon as I, he was talking about it, because I, I would ask him, because I was interested in kicking up a group thing. Um, and I would I would always be like, hey, have you heard, like, heard from anybody? We started Inside Games as a two-person thing, because I think gaming news is a little easier to sell with just two people, and we wanted to do scripted stuff. So anyway, um... Yeah, we were always looking for, or he was always looking, I should say. I was I was very inactive. I'm not a very social butterfly, but Bruce was always scouting, trying to find somebody to, anybody that wanted to bite off something bigger. And most people were totally cool with, with the, with the, like, the, the aspects of streaming. I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know if there's just, I, I can't tell if it's like a generational thing. It's possible that it's possible that a whole generation of people who were born into this kind of media and enjoy doing this kind of media or have found a niche because of how accessible it was, maybe they've just all been burned and for for a while they just don't see the point in trying to pursue anything bigger. It's tough too because like... It's always going to be a tough ask for a digital media company when I feel like the economics of celebrity throw things out of whack pretty fast. If somebody's popular, 
you know, if somebody has an enjoyable personality, they really have all the tools at their disposal to take that to the market directly and earn money from it. So it's tough. Like, this, I think this happens in any medium. You know, the hosts and the camera talent always kind of get a big head. and Sometimes conflicts there can be difficult. But, like, truly, uh, there's nothing keeping people that are draws at a company where entire teams form around that. Yeah, star power. Ideally, you get somebody who uh, enjoys that role, but is dependent on others for other roles. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Why did I... Why did I think I could get away with that? But I think that's part of the, like... That's part of an interesting side effect of... of tech and tools getting better. Is that I, as one person... using an emulator for an old game and free software made by the internet... And a platform that accepts the, this, you know, video stream. Fuck me! Forgot to crouch! Um, I, I can do the work of many, or what used to be many. So that's another factor too, I think. It's, it's way easier to hybridize, to learn the, the minimum skills required to produce the, the minimum complexity of entertainment. One day, one day I'll remember. Good God, that's terrible. Fuck. So ridiculous. Fuck you. That's so dumb that it still hits you when you're crouched. God, it's like the op. Ugh. His little head is peeping out just so he can get hit. God damn, fuck you. Yeah, I, it's, it's something I've thought a lot about, and I don't know the, like, I think we just have to wait and see, which is, is kind of sad. I feel bad for, like, I don't know, I got the best end of the stick, I think, because I get to do this, I get to, I get to experience this layer of it, but I do, I do feel very bad for people like, like Joel who want a, uh, maybe a more formal, traditional career ladder and the, uh, the income that can come along with it. I think that's, that's what really sucks, is like, there's no, it seems like there's no place for like, there's no scale, there's no, there's no career, there's no future. Um, there's just what you can extract and it's, there's, there's always going to be a long push a whittling away of the equitable share of revenue. Um, hopefully there are enough competitors someday in terms of platforms. And maybe even then, uh, collective action and collective bargaining can mean something, but... It's tough because it got... Like, the, the viewership got spread out across so many different actors, all of, all of whom are willing to take each other's place. What is wrong with me? Every time I think I can... This is the screen that I can do it. I'm wrong. Got him. 
got him. What? How the fuck? All right. Okay. Fuck you, dude. Uh-uh. No. No. They can't do this, can they? Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh! I see a boot. I see a key card. And... What? Uh, a room that'll probably kill me a lot. What do you think the boots are? Maybe it... Maybe those make me invincible to pitfalls? What do you think? Is it five or eight? Five! Wow, okay. All right, we're back on track. Boot! I got boots! What? Boots. Boots. You got boots! You want to guess what boots don't do? Oh yeah, hurdy floors. What the fuck? Why am I back here, dude? Oh, I guess there was no elevator. Okay, so I got to go all the way there and all the way back to get key card five. Okay. So you absolutely should have gone this way first, but it was the way I went last. Right. Okay. No. No, no. didn't ask if there were any traps. You're right, I didn't. Fuck, what's wrong with me? Someday. Not today, though. It goes so much more smoothly if I just remember to crouch. Ow. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh. You crouch, do you still trigger the pitfalls? There is no crouch when you're in the, like, overhead. Saint, the Saint Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Fuck you. No, it's okay. It took me a minute to to think about it, actually. I'm like, why, why haven't I done that? Oh, man, that's a good screw. Oh, it's a good eye rub. Oh, shit. Oh, it's one of those eye rubs that's, like, kind of sinful. Like, you know it's probably hurting your eye, but it feels too damn good. Fuck. What's... Watch this. Got him. <laughs> Every time you're about to tilt the unfairness and clunkiness, just remember that Sonic's real name is Ogilvy Maurice Hedgehog. Love you, Ogilvy.
I feel like Ogilvy and I could hang out and probably become very close bros. You're making fun of me, game. So that's what you're doing. Okay. Doesn't this game objectively suck more than the last one? Yes. Yes, it does. No, hi, John Toast. Ogilvy Maurice Hedgehog. Ogilvy Maurice Hedgehog. We love our Ogilvy. That's ass, man. Fuck. It's been so long. Log jammed up in these stupid tunnels. Needing card five and shit. Okay, well, I gotta not die on the way back. Fuck! Hold on. Hold on a minute. It's like a series of traps. You have to... Pause, change to the gun, unpause, and then remember that the buttons are flipped, so now it's B that shoots. And if you... Any of those buttons are wrong... Alarm. There. <sighs> that was my fault. That was that was stupid of me. I shouldn't have done that. I need to go farm some more uh, bullets and rations soon. Great. At least I never have to come back this way ever. Once I get out of here and I hit the elevator, never again. Tell you what, I'll I'll farm up some uh, some vittles here. <sighs> no, Nicholas, this this one was developed without Kojima. It was done at Konami. Um. And I, according to Wikipedia, somebody told Kojima about this, about Konami making a Metal Gear. And he was like, nah, fuck that. So that inspired him to make his own sequel. What's weird is they came out in the same year. So I guess he heard about it while it was in development or when it was starting and then, and then started his own at the same time, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of a, kind of a cocky move, I feel like.
bodes well for the MGS3 remake. I mean, it may, it may, it may not. That was a million years ago. Great. Having rations. And ammo. <laughs> Those are both fantastic things. think are in those rations unfortunately it's not metal gear 2 so we don't get a comprehensive ingredient breakdown just like little little pixelized corns that's what i think oh soylent it's just like one disc it's exactly the shape of the canister and it's just like a brown chunk and you can kind of bite off of it and chew it all right Oh, should I go get air? Air I? No, I shouldn't. Fuck it. Rations are my air. Look at me soar over this section. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shit. Time. Boots. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <sighs> okay. Oh, wait. She said that the boss was at the top. So that's this is probably where the boss is, which means I probably shouldn't be here yet. I should have thought of, through that a little further. Yeah, but for all I know, maybe there's like another door I can open here that has card eight and I need that in the other tower to come back. Who knows? Fuck you. Hey, hey, fuck you, buddy. Hey. Card five. Oh, it's just fun gas. Yeah, more copium. That's fine. I can huff that every time I die. And repeat, repeat the mantra to myself. Oh, what is this? Body armor, finally? Bulletproof vest. Wow, okay. Okay, it's go time. Let's try it on for size. Oh, okay, there's only eight cards, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I don't... Uh, okay, I need to... Go, yeah, right. I'm, I need to get the vest back. Sweet. Oh, 
Why do you need that many cards? Excellent question. Excellent, excellent question. Well said. Okay, yeah, this, this looks like the boss door. Yeah, and I'm gonna guess none of these cards. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. So that's, then that's this tower done. Never mind. Ah. Uh. Huh, unless there's like a secret. The vest is nice. Maybe when Jennifer said this building, she meant like that, that one. Pixel Corn sounds great as an alternative rock band. Dude, I got tickets for Pixel Corn. What? Assholes. Okay, done. Done. Crossed off the list. Now, this tower. Yeah, Card 5 needs to open some of these doors. them both. Fuck yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I only have five plastic explosive. It's not gonna be enough, is it? Shit. have to farm out more stupid fucking guys. Uh, brain's kind of turning to mush. This is when it gets tough. This is when you can't give in to despair. You gotta focus on your training. Shit. Fuck you, training. He's turning inside of me! Not mad. If I could get all of the plastic explosive back I've accidentally dropped, I wouldn't need to backtrack. Uh, okay. Plastic explosive is on this floor, I think.
you're an ass. I think the AI is just like straight up fucked. I don't know, sometimes it just turns around and sees you. Holy cow, it's annoying. Oops. Yeah, bullet did one health of damage. Oh, that did nothing. Yeah, it seems like you can't just farm an alert for items. Cayuevo says, what's the longest I've held my breath? Yours is two and a half minutes, then I passed out. Okay, that's, that's longer than I've ever held my breath. I remember when I used to swim more, I wouldn't say a lot, but more. I could hold my breath for a minute. Remember that being a... a Pretty easy milestone to pass. I don't know what I don't know what it would be now. It's here. I don't know what I'm getting. It doesn't matter. Hard to get out. I want to clear the alert though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna strap up. Fuck you. There are so many guys. Oh, it's outrageous. Did we figure out what we needed to do? Yes. Basically, I I chose the least optimal way to explore this area. Okay, 30. I wonder if there's anything in there. plastic explosive. What else do I need? I've got a decent amount of food. Could always use more ammo, but whatever. 60 is probably enough. Who's up here? I don't think... I don't think I need to backtrack that much. Yeah, the key, the key mechanic is the worst. Luckily, after, after this game, it's not a problem anymore. In solid, it's like every key just gets added and it's automatically used. So, yeah, it's it's interesting because it it's Kojima himself kind of toned it down from one to two. This game went the opposite direction, which is of all the things to lean into, having to swap a million keys to match a specific door is the worst one. But they are just doing it. Wait, it's not this way. It's this way. I never played the 2D Duke Nukem games, no. I, I started with 3D. Games made me think keys would be a lot more impactful in real life. They are. You just don't find them, like, in back alleyways. Suck my butt. I wanted my health back. 
I hear a fox screaming in my backyard. God. That is a weird sound. Like a yelp. What does the fox say? Scientists have yet to find out. Coinmeister, thanks for the sub. Snake's getting his revengeance. Shit. Alright. Hello, S. Ha. I'm playing this uh, arduous game. Arduous, arduous, arduous game. But the rewards will be oh so sweet, which is Snatcher and um, Police Knots. Both games I'm very, very excited to play. That's the idea, coin. I finally played through Metal Gear 1 and 2 MSX, which was really, really fun. Metal Gear 2 was just a delight. Very few, very few, like, sticking points on it that weren't fully intended and cheekily executed. The swamp was probably the most annoying, like, straight-up annoying thing, but even that was a little, like, funny. you. At least there's no sparkles. <laughs> watching for hours and the game looks no different. Is he progressing or not? I am. I'm closing in on the end, I think, because I'm running out of space for new keys. Boots! Or wait. Oh, this is a pitfall room. I haven't touched the elevator yet. Okay. There. I am close to the end. I'm not huffing truth gas. I may not be close to the end, actually. Here we go, card five. Boom! Oh. Speaking of truth gas. Our commander is invulnerable, period. No weapons can harm him. Okay, that's good to know. I mean, yeah, that's good to know. Still haven't used this hidden mic for anything. door I couldn't go in on this floor, was it? Because it was the pitfalls, but... I, I guess I assumed that that room was going to connect through to something over here. Those are the pitfalls I can't, I can't cross. This is... I'm pretty sure... I can go in here, or I have gone in here. On a card five door. been in there. Hmm. 
What? What are you? Damn it. Fuck, I should have just cleared the alert on this screen. Used grenades. I, I thought that was going to work out differently. Why did they just turn around? Yeah, because this is, it's just this. Maybe if I go up, there'll be another elevator that comes back down. Fuck. Off. God. Ugh. Okay. Well, hopefully that door all the way at the end of this stupid path is, uh, is key five. Did I die or did I shit? I don't know if I if I truth gassed that dude and continued on or if I died and reset to the elevator. Shit. I don't know if I have to go back. Well, I guess I I'm going to go back to that floor regardless. I did. Good. Good for me. Am I fully beefed out now, I wonder? Completely jacked up. Beyond salvation. Wonder how many... How many air tanks a fully beefed out snake can carry. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Ah, uh, praise God. Ah, fuck you. Uh. It's here. Okay, I'm over here now. Alright. gas mask in this game? It's truth gas. What? I think I'm hitting it? Yeah. Kill them both. Fuck. And of course you have to try a fucking million cards. What is happening? 
I'm in a, a room where I'm constantly being gassed. And I have to stab red bricks with a knife a ton until they break. And now I have to try seven cards on this door. Oh. That's- that must be what was in the other, um... The other room. Oh, don't the other blocks go on the other door? Alright, fuck it. Let's see if I have enough rations. Let me just peep over here. Yeah! What the fuck happened? Maybe I waited too long in between punches? Where's it gonna start me from? All the way back here. Uh, oh my god. Well, I'll go the other path this time. Uh, god, that means I gotta... I, yeah, I probably should have just ration fed instead of letting myself die to the robots. The robots are terrible, man. They do so much damage. I don't know what's in this room. Huh. Oh. Oh, I guess that might be easier plastic explosives. game's logic is on hard wait meant to be on hardware with less responsive input oh no it's the opposite the nes was the most responsive doesn't get faster than that like a cartridge to to metal to crt tv It's been a while since I've played on a CRT. Yeah, King Sarah, the I mean, CRTs don't have any image processing. They they gained some as time went on, but yeah. It was it was like the speed of light, basically. Playing huh! I think that's that's a key factor why a lot of people prefer retro games or want to stick with retro games. There we go. I think people miss the the sharp responsiveness that retro games used to have. Now, the games were not always coded well. OLED is close, yeah? That's exciting. chance to tank up on rations. I wonder where this door goes. That's that's the big thing I was curious about. If it was just a ration room, that would make sense, but that there's another door here is kind of concerning. Oh. Ah! I just guessed wrong. That's it. Fuck. It was Dolet is down to sub one millisecond pixel times. Awesome. The important thing is that I remain calm. It's 
That's annoying though now. Now I have like three hostages to rescue on top of doing some other stuff. Is somebody in chat can spoil this if you know it. Is six stars the max rank? Right, right. Is there a reason to keep rescuing hostages after you get six stars? I guess some of them might tell you stuff. But like if I already know what they say. never tell. Alright, that's fair. The question was not coming from a good place. It's coming from a place of malice. Google says highest level six? Okay. Thank you, King Saren. Thank you very much for telling me that information. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's two, I think, isn't it? very outer heaven of you. Heaven for soldiers. It is kind of interesting the the similarities between Metal Gear 2 and Rising. Or, excuse me, yeah, Re Revengeance. The difference is that, like, Big Boss philosophically wanted meaning, I guess. Whereas Senator Armstrong just wanted money and power. Or... I guess, to him, money and power was meaning, in the end. I thought it was seven. Alright, let's see what you got to say. What is Metal Gear? Oh, I knocked over a cup. Never heard of it. You're beyond worthless. faked out. Okay. It's, it's, I guess maybe there was a gas mask I was supposed to get at some point. I don't know. Seven. Okay. Mm. 
me on the first thing I do. Shit, I was hoping it would let me. I don't know what to do. Shotgun will knock him out. Alright. Not bad. Complete the mission. There's nothing but the mission. Soldier. You have been trapped. Ha <laughs> ha. Shit. Suicide bombers, though, that's cool. Very jokerized. Oh, shit. No bloom on the battlefield. That around the corner punch. Love it. Yeah. I don't like that. Uh huh. Guys, is it just gonna kill me? Whatever it is. <sighs> if I detect mines, no. What? They're just little pokies. All right. All right, fine. Oh, it poisoned me. Interesting. All right. And I've used my one antidote. So, hope that never happens again. Start to start. Whoa, what is this? Start at the top and work my way down. Got a backpack. The fuck does that do? Tell me about... No? Yeah, I guess I can keep my snacks in it. Does it expand my carrying capacity? Also, okay, what happens now? There was one antidote in the game, and it was like... It was so long ago. Shit. Well. Maybe it wears off after a while. So wait, how do I get back over there? How do I get to the other side up here? That was the end of the path, and I was not expecting that to be the end. Well, wait a minute. That's not good. That means I still don't know where to go. Got a backpack. What 
the fuck could a backpack be for? like a bombable wall or something. cards, man. Why do they make you swap so much? Are you really just, you're just poisoned until you die. X-ray wall back at backpack area. I was worried about that. I also don't have the x-ray because they let me they let me leave the area without it. Got to go back through this stinky room. in the back room. Okay. This room. Really? Fuck. Fuck. I'm so sick of opening these menus, dude. explodable here. The walls are usually, like, thinner than that. Oh, no. Man. God. God damn it. Here? Where the fuck? had it the first time. I was like, eh. God damn. I would never in a million years find that. That is that is cruel beyond cruel. Thank you for directing me to that. the hidden mic. Oh, the commander's only weak spot is the soles of his feet. So mines. Thank you. Thank you, ghost. I didn't miss it. I just didn't pick it up on the attempt where I beat the boss and it dumped me out and it wouldn't let me go back and get it.
being, being poisoned kind of keeps me in per ha like gives me a lot of iframes, which in some cases is kind of better, but whatever. What the fuck? Let me punch him. It's left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. I think you can kind of run through if you're on the opposite side of where the spike is. Oh. Oh, man. I got to an elevator with, like, no rations. But I can backtrack and... And punch dudes. Oh, look at this! What the hell? Alright. Paul Trujillo, thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. Bathroom break. So back. Mm. Yeah. 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 There we go. I'm gonna backtrack and farm rations off this dude. I have to walk through the spike corridor again, but it'll be good training. I guess, yeah, if, as long as I don't get poisoned on the way out. It's almost... Yeah. All right. This? Nope. how to run this. Can you bait the spikes? Okay. So they'll hit you even if you're on the right side. Now I'm wondering. Now I'm wondering what's going to be more efficient. Do I have to learn how to fucking... I don't know, man. Fuck you. Why did you shoot again? I can't think of any gear that would slow them down. I'm just annoyed that I didn't get a whole stack of antidote when I had the opportunity. Well, that sucks. Rocking a hard place time. Either, either I try to run this stupid hallway and, uh, farm up some more rations, or I try to make it through that other hallway with enough damage to be- or with enough life to be able to stab my way through those stupid blocks in a, st a, s a fog room. So... If 
I can run back, I can save the ammo. Oh, those hurt you too! Fuck off, dude! That doesn't make any visual sense, but okay. All right, we're safe. take long. It didn't take long at all, which is the scary thing. I haven't gotten anything. They can go off the screen and pop back on. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. That's fine. I gotta just settle into it. I tried to rush the rhythm. This dude hasn't dropped anything yet. Like at all. Ah, oh, thank God. Okay, well. That's validation that it'll work eventually. Ammo is always nice. army plays. How are you? in the room north. That's the hallway with poison spikes. There we go. It's happening slowly. Got three food. Now that I have six stars, though, I can probably get even more than 12. Maybe 15? If, uh, if everything goes well, this will be the last time I need to farm this shit. I'll have a checkpoint on the- on that floor. That seems like- that seems like a boss floor, right? They're using unique sprites and there's like new kinds of enemies and shit. Scripted things going on. Once I get up there with- with max rations, that'll be it. That'll be the run. that backpack full of cat food. Battle cat food. Calorie mates. What is the backpack for? Oh, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna make a beeline for the elevator. Oh, they probably don't spawn enemies on these on these rooms. Okay. No oh, backpack increases carry limit of mines and shit. Does that mean you need the backpack to hold enough mines to kill the last boss? Although I haven't, there hasn't been a, I haven't seen a mine pickup. Unless, I don't think ammo crates give you mines. Maybe they do. No, I have zero mines. Oh boy. Wait, why do I have one food? It didn't work. It kept my checkpoint from before. What the fuck? Why does this elevator work differently? What does that mean and how do I fucking make it checkpoint? Maybe I have to write it up and change screens? Yeah, maybe the checkpoint happens when you exit the elevator here for some reason. Because it is spawning me on the other side of the door and not inside the elevator. Wouldn't it be cool if Microsoft considered porting Lost Odyssey to PlayStation? <laughs> They haven't even ported it to their, like, current console. It's backwards compatibility, but that would be cool. Yeah. Even just like a, like a Series X update would be sick. But yeah, probably wouldn't sell much. Still more now than it did before. Gotta be cool. Just gotta play cool. Be cool. Be calm. Definitely not mad. Don't tell Kojima I got mad. Cause I'm definitely not mad. Do I sound like a mad guy? Oh, by the way, Quintonius. Thank you for the 24 months. Oh, weird. Thank you. While you were farming, uh, PS1 cyberpunk game called Project Horned Owl? Oh, I'm not familiar with it at all. Sounds cool though. What's the deal with it? I guess I could backtrack to that, that, like, ration room. There's some alarms along the way. That actually might be way more efficient than what I'm doing. I'm gonna do that. If these walls stay exploded, that's even better. Because it's like right here. That's annoying, if so. <laughs> hey, I had to... Oh, that's right. I had to figure that out so that I could figure this out. I'll accept a tip about this. Is there any 
sm smarter way to get rid of these blocks than knifing them and losing one full thing of health. Explosives? Oh, like plastic explosives? This, yeah, stupid room here. Yeah, there might be. I feel like there's got to be a gas mask or something I was supposed to get. There's like one more blank spot in my inventory. Oh, everyone else just punches. All right. Whatever. If that's the tech, baby. Okay, well, this will work out. Now that it, oh, okay. I blinked. I actually blinked and that was enough. Um, now that I've got the touch, now that I can walk, walk between the spikes. is a room with mine pickups. Oh, crap. Did I miss it? Like, is it behind me? Okay. figure out where the knife is landing to get the double hits. <sighs> okay. Cool. It is ahead of me. I will get all of the mines. In addition to all of the rations. And then uh, prepare for victory. faster and safer to use this door. Did it. We made it to Ration City. Ugh. Oh. Hey Lex, 76, thank you very much for the sub and the extremely kind message. I want to say thank you for sharing your memories and insights and your time over at Funhouse and Rooster Teeth. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, it was nice to talk about.
It's at 15. It's... Ooh! We're at 16 now. No, it's okay. I appreciate it. 18. 18 appears to be the max. That's a lot of rations. Wow, that's a lot of rations. Okay. 18 full health bars. You guys are doing well, and I wish everyone over at RT much luck with their future endeavors, too. As a fan of a long time for RT, hey, me too. For a minute there. Uh, yeah, I hope. I really do hope everyone lands on their feet. I it's hard for me to believe it won't happen. And in some ways, I think a lot of them kind of deserve to work at a place that has more of a definite future. I don't know if I'm allowed to just use, like, or if I can just open half of it. No. Shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, man. I don't want to bite into my precious ration hoard, but I'm going to have to to get through this stupid room. I haven't tried to dance through the spikies going up. Fuck! Alright, well, actually, that's fine. Well, I think it's fine. Shit. If that- that may not be fine. That may not be fucking fine. I realize you can't use rations on the side screen area. Fuck you. Uh, uh, so you can bait them when you're going down. You can't bait them going up. Because it's, it's snakes like, I guess, torso. Fuck this, dude. It's everything that's the most annoying. It's all of it all together. Going up shouldn't be a problem. Like I can I can just ration feed my way in there. I just need to I got totally caught. Once I started going down the elevator, it struck me that I was I was fucked. Like I was too far away from any exit to get out and use a ration. I'd made the wrong decision. Alright, 
We're back in Ration City, everybody. Okay, I need 17 rations. for a leisurely stroll back to the elevator. Fuck! It's not worth it. It's fucking not worth it. Fuck this game. I'm gonna do that, is what I'm gonna do. It is time for a gamer stretch, though. Let's do a gamer stretch. Okay. Mm, that was nice. I don't know, man. Pokemon's boring, Talich. I, I, I don't understand why people like Pokemon so much. It's boring to play. It's boring to stream. It's boring to watch. It's cute. And some of them have good music. I don't know, there are other JRPGs that are far more vibrant than that, and even that feels like it's pushing it sometimes. Yeah, Pokemon's popular, that's for sure. Just using one. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I was on the wrong side last time. Nope. I guess those weren't hitting me. Mm. Okay, should have plenty of health to get to the exit, which surely is where it checkpoints. We yeah, surely. If you can shoot the missiles. There we go. Look at all those rations. Ooh. 
Okay, okay, we are on our way. Fully on our way, completely stocked. Ready for another goddamn gas room. It's even the same layout. Yeah, we got beef jerky, we got Red Bull. We got a stinging sense of patriotism. Dude, they just make you rifle through all the cards all the time. What the fuck is this? This fucker was card one. In a gas room. It's just like... It's, it's shifting away from just being like, we weren't thinking about that, to no, it, you intentionally picked the most annoying thing in the most annoying circumstance. So, Silver Runner, you're you're suggesting that um that it would be possible for somebody to go to the internet like okay you so you say that there's a person in hr who laughed it off i feel as this would count as enabling him as an abuse of power in the hr person's end i want to call them out directly so they never work in hr again to who silver runner why not name managers so they get the criticism the internet's going to be like who's that and so what am I, what are you supposed to do? Post somebody's name and address? Name and photo? Say this person did this? You don't know the whole you don't know the whole story for one. Um they could just they could be like doing their job or just going under orders for somebody above that. Like that's not how the world works, I'm sorry to say. And also the the fundamental concept that I think that's tough to get is that the world is not virtuous by default. There is no there is no one you can run and tattle to if a company's culture is formed around that and accepts that then you you're just in the asshole. So, I don't know. Your your question is is sort of steeped in this belief that if you merely expose misdeeds that the world will swoop in and correct everything. And that is not the case. Usually exposing misdeeds means that the world swoops in to shut you the fuck up. Um or whatever interested parties put the system the way it is and control that um also if the people that are doing the bad things are well liked it's very very easy for them to just like turn everyone against you i mean look at like any anytime anyone goes public with anything against anybody they go through loads of shit um people think they're making it up <clears throat> oh, you farmed this room. Were those mines? Oh, claymores. Oh, no. They mean claymores with feet, don't they? <coughs> yeah, people don't care about misdeeds. Also, <clears throat> in a culture like that, let's say that you do call one person out. Okay. Then the company fires them, and then they pretend like it was that person's fault. Like you, you give the company a scapegoat. When a bunch of people get together and decide they want to be shitty together, that creates like that creates something that merely being a whistleblower can't undo. You have to you have to have like a support network and and a means to dismantle it. Um so yeah, I I apologize. 
Yeah, the, the boy whistleblower. He's trying to do the right thing. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the farmable mines. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I I'm sorry if if my response is condescending. Um. Yeah, he died. He, he's dead. Suicide after two days of testimony. Um. Yeah, I, I apologize. Uh, believe me, I've I I struggled with a lot of these things as well, and frustrations. Um, you want to believe that there's a way to solve everything? The 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 gamer and the virtuous hero inside of you is like, no, you, uh, yeah. I don't know. I I've thought a lot about that. Maybe there is some perfect combination of things to say at exactly the right time and exactly the right way. People to talk to. Uh, I don't know. All you can do is, is your best. And for me, it was like, on that topic specifically, it, it fully galled me that, that, um, I was doing business with and, and enriching people that were a part of that system. In addition to the events themselves that revealed the nature of the system to me. My theory would be by naming specific people, the pressure would cause them to get fired and these people who upheld that toxic culture would be removed. No, it doesn't happen. Nope. Who would remove the people if they're, they're the people doing, a, you know, if they're the people that make those decisions, who's going to remove them? It, like, you have to imagine the actor doing the thing. And then, and then realize that they they don't care or they're in on it anyway, or they benefit from the system as is. So Jorge writes, I work as an assistant editor in reality TV. At the company I usually work at, there's an editor that is an asshat. He openly admits to being one. The entire building knows him by his name and feels sympathy when you have a problem with or request from him. He basically can't be fired because the network likes his work. Uh, the network, like E Bravo Discovery, pays us. They fund the show and have big influence, which on which editors to hire, like 80% influence. Yeah, so he's, he's like, safe. Yeah, some people know their worth and they throw it around. Or they know they're... They know they're protected. People above them, but their bosses would have the same attitudes and be the same, wouldn't they? Or they just wouldn't care. Like... They, they, so they, Rooster Teeth did get rid of some people because they were so problematic. So it happened, but the line was in a, in a depressingly <laughs> tolerant place for a lot of people. As a guy who likes behind the scenes stuff for all media, from DVD commentary to developer interviews, I love this damn stream. Yeah? Am I, am, I, am I finally given some goods? Lieutenant, it was careless of me. I, uh... Did you get captured? What the heck does that mean? Yeah, legal liability is often the line. And even then, um, when you have enough people covering for you, like, it won't even get to that point. So... As a middle manager, always do the right thing and speak up. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, this person's back is about to explode. Oh God, another key card. Oh, fuck you. You okay there, buddy? Is an alien gonna pop out of his shoulder blades? So. Specifically for me in that circumstance, I had already blown out any goodwill I had. I was already kind of known as the annoying guy. I guess I complained about a lot of stuff, which is to say, I was like, I was getting frustrated with the state of things and trying to be like, guys, this isn't right. Like, that's not right. That's not right. Um, I think that that earned me a reputation as being negative or being a shit stirrer. And when, when you're not liked, the last thing that will ever work is trying to blow the whistle on people who are liked. 
that all you've already lost you know all you're gonna do is just make things terrible for yourself um whoa we have discovered that jennifer is a spy <gasps> A life support system is in Big Boss's room. Lead him out, then attack. Ugh. I guess that was the guy on the radio? Yeah. You can try to do the right thing. That doesn't mean it won't fall on deaf ears. One person complaining doesn't change anything. The popular person will always carry more weight. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's why, like, it's it's easy to, like, to you know, roll your eyes at politics. Like, yeah, politics, but, yeah. but, you know, that's, it's not trivial, and that's, that's what makes the world work. All the systems we make are composed of and still run by people. And people are weird and stupid and have a lot of strange ideas about things. And typically go on feelings more than facts. Uh, and that's everyone. Every last human being. They let me in. What the? What are you? Smoke bomb. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So, I, uh... Hopefully, hopefully that's okay. Or hopefully that's a good enough, um... A good enough answer. Also, this is, this is something that stings to hear, but you wanna, you wanna believe also that if you take a wrongdoing to the general public, that they'll be supportive, and that's also not always the case. They either, they either won't care, or will support the more likable side. Wait a minute. That's... Wait, card... Where would card 8 be used? Where, where is there a place I haven't used a card? I've been in here, right? Oh, there's another. Okay, there's another floor. All right. Okay, thank God. I was feeling a sinking feeling. I get it. RT shittiness in HR and management goes all the way up. Even if the HR guys were talking about it and did get fired, their attitudes and apathy are shared widely. Yeah. I mean, so that's like, this is where it gets tough, Silver Runner, because that implies some bad things about some very well-known and well-liked people. Like, how is it possible that things ha these things happened at a company with lovable old, old founders at the top? And yeah, it implies some on... on it implies some things that, even saying that, make me look shitty. But it's unavoidable and uncomfortable, but people, to some degree, almost like when things are in the past and can't be changed and everyone's trying to move on, what's the point of even disrupting people's happy memories? Because, yeah, we love our paraso parasocial relationships. Why go back in time and ruin that for people? It's not like they ever knew any of these people personally, so why does it matter if their understanding of who people are differ from who they really were? If it brings people happiness, and it's not affecting anyone now, then the world can move on and people can keep their good memories.
What the fuck? Metal Gear. Um. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Wasn't expecting robots. What do I do? Okay, they got guns. Oh, of course I can't go up there. Fuck. Half empty, I'm glad as well. I'm very glad as well. It was, like I said, it just got to the point where I could not, I couldn't, in good conscience, continue to work and generate, like, money and views, and I couldn't, I couldn't let my work and my life contribute to a, a company and a culture and a group of people that were okay with some of the stuff that I saw. Well, saw. Saw is the wrong word, but was made aware of. Yeah, I'm in a better place, can share my streams with like-minded people. Uh, I can conduct my business exactly how I feel and in the ways that I think is fair. That door doesn't open! Maybe it's an exit door. It bothers me that there are other people who don't- her who contributed a shitty situation don't get consequences. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yes. Naming managers would fuck you over more than them. Yeah, because it'd just be a name to people. I can think of, I can think of names and attach them to shitty stories, but that's also just my perspective. And and even if I did that, everyone's just gonna accuse me of like, of raking over bad things in the past to get popular or whatever. So the the thing that's the the overarching thing that sucks is just kind of accepting that not everyone is good. Um. And just because someone's likable doesn't mean they're good people. But it's, uh, unfortunately, that whole thing about bad people not getting consequences. That's not going to get better. That's not going to change. That's an unfortunate rule of our world. Justice only happens when people make it happen. And when, when people, like I said, get together and kind of put up some curtains and do their things. There's, there's no light in there. Illuminati. Put on their robes and put on their rings and start doing their chanting. This is the worst, by the way. How am I this deep in the game and they're like just putting me in generic rooms with <clears throat> with a ton of doors that I could use one of eight cards or they don't open at all. Calm and headache free. Yeah, sorry, I was I was raising my voice. That wasn't very calm, was it? Ugh. Four. Can't believe Jennifer was a spy. probably just locked this is trolling man this hat this is just pure trolling <sighs> maybe I should just do the, the top one top one yeah we as the viewers will never know the true the full picture hey neither will I that's life uh, Oh, here we go. This is Big Boss. You destroyed Metal Gear 1. He calls it Metal Gear 1. And made me a cyborg. Now I want revenge. What about my revenge? What about Snake's revenge? Looks like Jason. So I have to lure him out because he has a life support system in here. So that's cool. I get to... Yeah. 
Get out of here. I can take it. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the cheer, Silver Runner. Again, I apologize if I like uh, re uh, responded a little too curtly. Um, it is, it is something I'm a bit defensive about. Uh, okay, so I guess I fight him. He's not flashing. I just keep doing mines? Oh, okay. Oh, you exploded into Robocop! <laughs> I have no weak point. You can penetrate. Damn, he's so huge. Wait, is this the feet part, you think? Because now he was just only now talking about not having a weak point. Or is that when I have to draw him out of the room? Try to keep it down. Steph's gonna have an important business meeting. That means it's time for us to be extra calm gamers. Is it this door? I don't remember. I think it was the middle one actually. I forgot. I forgot the cards. Was it one? Oh. Four and then five, I think. Jacked, I love it. Oh, he does so much damage, man. Shit. I'm never 
never expecting him to do that much damage. I don't remember what fucking card it was. I think it was eight, actually. Yeah. Three, four, five. Huh? Nope. Every, uh, every fucking menu is the most annoying. Okay, there. Okay. Oh, well. Shit, I'm almost dead. Okay, now what? Shit, each one of those does like half my health. Fuck, yeah, it straight up does half. Fuck. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Did like... Did I... Usually you can spam shots and it like all, all counts. So does he have some kind of bullshit... iframes or something? Oh, you done? Okay. Sure. Hmm. Remember there being something about smoke. Something about leading him out of the room. Because he has a life support system in there. But I, don't, I have no idea like what order any of that shit needs to happen in. They want me to like do they want me to try to use keys on the doors? Maybe the door opens now? Shit, man, he does so much damage. Hmm, <laughs> it's time for the hidden mic. Well, the hidden mic told me to use mines, but I just used all my mines. 
but maybe that's what I need to do. There was also the thing is there was some bullshit about didn't about like him having a life support in this room. Fuck, dude. So he can chase me. That's how that works, I guess. Fuck! It's four? Is this the room I fight him in? Maybe the next one? It's kind of cool that he can chase you across screens. the elevator door open no okay yeah i guess this is as far as you need to take it so what was the deal with the smoke bomb then i don't know i can't it's not like using it automatically or anything okay maybe now is when i need to mine him minus toes Oh shit! Warning! Metal Gear 2 is operable! Personnel are to go to the underground shelter. It's probably... It's, it's probably like the door on the other side, right? Or do I take the, do I take the elevator? Yeah, there's a timer, which is cool because I don't know where to go. There was that other door in the boss room. Yeah, I, I have to assume that one's open now. Ugh. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, a babe. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, snake. You can go into the secret plant from this door well wait a minute what if I give her a little bit of the gas she's zigheiling me right now or is she waving she must be politely waving oh, fuck don't you dare okay was that supposed to be Jennifer Follow Jennifer's instructions on entering secret plant. Use copter missiles to blow up the wall to enter. The spot is marked by a flare. You must not fail. Huh? The spot is marked by a flare. Do you think that means this? Oh no, I can't. Helicopter missile? Do they mean like the radio missiles? Smoke bomb? Oh yeah, I guess they said... Oh, the spot is marked by a flare. Ah! That's what they meant by that. Okay. Good moves. Warning! The first attack points are... <laughs> New York, Tokyo, and Moscow. No! I have to save the world from Metal Gear. Another door. But first I have to swipe eight individual key cards. Okay. 
Okay. See? It's useful. This is kind of like the ending of MG1, I guess, with the ladders. We're still trying to be cheeky about it. <sighs> Why are you like this? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh! Ah, oh, huh, okay. Okay. Oh, fuck, that's fast. What do I hit? What do I shoot? Okay. Didn't make the sound. I'm gonna run out of missiles, man. Ah. Fuck. Ah. Oh. oh, 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 well, that's that then. Yeah, how... I guess there was a room... A, a t Do I have enough missiles to kill it, like, at all? I fucked up a lot, but... You just have to run the, like, clock out? Come on. How many, how many missiles does it take? Does anyone know? I need 10. Did I have 10? I don't even know. Bless you. You had 11, oh my God. Maybe I shouldn't run around too much lest I, like, hit another checkpoint or something. With no missiles. Like, you can't- well, wait a minute. Shit. This means you absolutely- there's probably not a checkpoint after the boss because you, you would need missiles. Maybe there's missiles in this room over here. There's not a room over here. this open? I wonder if any of these open now. Because, like, if there's a- if there's a missile room around, it seems like there's actually a fair amount of time to swing by there and stock up completely. open. Yeah, it's 10 missiles. Alright. Oh, 
far back. I don't think this, does this room even open? Oh, okay. I'm just fully fucked. They locked me in. Yeah, you need to go down a floor. I guess once you start the boss fight, you're you're in here for good. I don't think any of these open still. Maybe I'll get a sweet bad ending. Alright, well, I need to confer with Steph about what we're gonna do for dinner. So let me let me see where I end up if I uh I give myself a little plastic goodbye. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, I'll be right back after I get some dinner ordered, and then hopefully we can just uh, wrap up this game and enjoy our sweet, sweet gamer victory. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a hell of a journey. I'll be right back. Okay. Folks, I'm glad to- I'm proud to say that there's a chicken salad on the way with my name on it. I will consume it and it will give me all the proteins and calories that I've depleted uh, undertaking tactical guerrilla combat. Hell yeah. Okay, so I guess there's... Uh, yeah, I have rations coming. So there's like, I guess there's missiles somewhere on this floor. Guess what I get to do now? So many cards. Did I use cheats? Uh, one time. I did a, I did a tactical rewind one time to undo a death. But the death was like... It was just an oversight from from being so loopy from or just bored from grinding or farming uh, rations. So yeah, fuck that. It was a, it was like a, a meaningless, not skill based death at all. And undoing it uh, did not unwind any any beautiful gaming narratives that would have happened otherwise. <sighs> Well, here, I'll just equip it so that I can see how many I have. That's right, Keenan. Six stars now. I'm a fully decorated military tactical genius. I can carry like 70? Well, I'm not gonna fuck around then. 70 missiles. We're knocking this out. <laughs> no more being like, oh, I need like one more fucking mine or ration or anything. After this, that's not going to happen ever again. Metal Gear is humane from solid on. Actually, two was quite nice. Two had had moments of ridiculousness, but it was it was navigable all around and largely gave you all the tools you needed. You can carry more than seventy. The backpack's coming in handy. Like, there's no reason I would ever need to pick up this many missiles. Okay, that seems like the cap. Okay, alright. I'm just gonna run my ass back to the elevator. Cause I... Oops. Don't need 14 rations, really. I forgot that. I forgot the key already. <sighs> Why 
why am I this stupid? This is only getting further away from my beautiful chicken salad. There. Grabbing these missiles so I never have to grab missiles again. Oh. Okay. Alright. Elevator. Boom. Checkpoint. Well, maybe not yet. Boom. Checkpoint. Boom. Checkpoint. There's one... There's one plate... Well, two, technically. Two places in the entire game you get poisoned, and only one that has an antidote. And they are almost on, like, once the antidote's halfway through the game, and the poison is at the end. It's, uh, defies, it defies understanding. Boom, checkpoint. Okay, it's, it should be easy street from here. I got the moves, I got the technique, I know what to do. like shotgun blasting this guy. Woo! I love that he's got a Robocop helmet. This should have been... I guess this is kind of like Solidus a little bit. None of the... Big Boss never turns into Mechano Hulk, though, which would be so cool. And also really not that far off from Kojima shit in the first place. I saw that coming a second too late. I was trying to jam Menu. I forgot that he does like three quarters of your life bar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. No, I have 90 missiles. That's just a weird... Play, that's a weird place for the checkpoint to, to land. Oh, wait, no, I'm... That is what it is. Mm. I thought this part was up here. I thought it was the floor down. It's kind of a similar room. Yeah. Yeah, he just walks into you, and he does three quarters of your life bar. It's super cool. Alright, I got the moves, I got the technique, I got the juice. why I like I like going up the menu and like having it wrap back around even if it's slightly longer and it feels shorter that's shorter I forgot what he says here so I'm gonna let it play out I have no weak point you can penetrate. I have no weak point you can penetrate. Stomps around with his big metal diaper. All 
All right, fucker. Point penetrated! Metal Gear 2 is operable. I like how the, the announcer even calls it Metal Gear 2. Takes your health bar. Oh no, you still have it. Okay. Alright. I got a date with a Metal Gear 2. Gotta get my revenge on that Metal Gear 2. Yeah, there it is. That's the title line. Ah, I've taken my revenge on the uh, enemy leader. Now it's time to take my revenge on Metal Gear 2. Rise of Snake. King, yeah, thanks, Jennifer. I'll... Oh, Jay Axian, thank you for the sub. I think I missed that, sorry about that. Oh, didn't answer the radio. Very cool, like the end of The Rock. Very cool, very cool. Hmm. I think it was seven? It was seven. The Metal Gear theme isn't as cool as it was in one. Man, it was really cool. Really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna love shooting these missiles. Okay, here we go. Get away from her, you bitch! One, baby. Ooh. Two. Three. Okay, it kind of picks up. realize this is the only time you need to use RC rockets in this whole game. They never do the like over floor mechanic, but <sighs> Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, if only that could have done it. Wait, hold on. We're rolling it back. The 69th missile has got to be it. I don't give a shit. Oh, Oh! Oh! Never mind. It's fine. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh. What the fuck? Isn't that 10? Um... Mm-hmm. Right, 14, I guess. Oh, unless some of those missed. Look at its metal gut sticking out. After the completion of Operation 747, the UN declared World Peace Day. Thank you, Solid Snake. Nice. John Turner was listed as MIA and removed from Navy records. Nick Meyer was promoted three ranks after dying while in Foxhound. 
Is it over? Oh. The snake is just left with memories. The smell of gunpowder and cordite. Ah, shit. That was a fucking ride, man. I don't know that I've played a game that's as actively antagonistic towards the player as this, ever. Unless it's like straight up a Kaizo game. Wow. Yeah, the game hated you and made sure you knew it. Look at how, look at how, like, solemn Solid Snake is. You might as well be Solemn Snake. The walkthroughs of a seamless game is two hours long. Yeah, I could see that. If you know exactly where to go, and none of the bullshit... Can I mean PC team? That's interesting. None of the bullshit, like, slows you down or knocks entire chunks out of your play. Aww, he's happy. This is Snake, beholding the World Peace Day. All the children of the world are joining hands and singing. Snake is so pleased. Your your barbarous ways have led to world peace, Snake. It's okay. It's okay. You can rest now, soldier. Is this, is it, does it lock? Of course it does. Of course it does. Of course there's no, nothing. This is all you get. Snake smiling a little bit. Mm. <laughs> we are the world. That's it, huh? That's it. Hitting the buttons, nothing. Well, that's done with. Good riddance. A little bit. I don't ever want to play that game again. But I'm glad that I did, a little bit. There were a handful of cool ideas. I, I'm almost not even against the idea of like a more action-based Metal Gear. Throw it in the trash. Yeah. Yeah. In a way, it's... it's, it's it's essence kind of, ugh. No, throw it in the trash. It is a, it is a good game for people that, that like played Metal Gear 1 so much they got bored. They're like, I just want a game that fucks me. Okay, well here you go. <laughs> there was some fun stuff. You know, they, they tried to do the like person on the radio twisting it on you thing, but even Metal Gear 1 kind of did that better. Jennifer twist was barely intelligible like there's some movements that happen, but they're not very well communicated And that could be a translation thing <sighs> Snake's revenge complete. Thank you Hideo Kojima All right next up snatcher That's gonna be awesome. I'm really 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 excited <laughs> Your drunk eternal merch shipped excellent what an, what an immortal YouTube video. Four years old at this point. I gotta play more Doom. Thanks for watching, everybody. That'll be it for the stream tonight. I'm gonna go enjoy my chicken salad. Chicken. Chup, 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 chicken. Uh, I may or may not be back tomorrow. Uh, Snatcher starts soon, though. Soon. Snatcher. I'm excited for that, too. We're finally gonna get a little glitz. A little glamour. A little, a little wheel and a deal. A little anime. Movie refs. I don't remember Snatcher being hard, um, but it is like an adventure game. It's like a visual novel, so it's easy to just miss things. We'll see. Thank you for watching all. I hope to see you next time. Meet me in Neo Kobe City, huh? Thank you, Kojima. Till next time.